so familiar, part of our sporting calendar, that the inherent madness of this act has become almost completely obscured. It's nearly impossible to win a major. You've got to defeat the best golfers in the world, the course, the weather, and yourself. Every negative thought or bad memory demanding space in your mind. It's all a grind, but especially on a Friday when you know you can make a move. Whoa. You can play your way into it and you can play your way out of it. Making it look easy. It's all about trying to put yourself in position, minimize the mistakes. Someone is going to overcome all that and win this year's PGA Championship. And I think we should all pause and appreciate just how insane a feat that is to accomplish. Southern Hills Country Club has hosted the PGA Championship four times. Each winner was a multiple major champion, and three are in the World Golf Hall of Fame. At the end of this year's first round, a Hall of Fame-bound multiple major champion was again leading the field at the most competitive championship in the game. The PGA of America proudly welcomes you to the 104th playing of the PGA Championship. This fantastic Perry Maxwell design in Tulsa, Oklahoma, is giving the strongest field in the game all it can handle as the subtle challenges and rolling greens have been on display for almost a round and a half already and the weather has changed completely with the heat of yesterday morning gradually giving way to a building breeze that has sent temperatures lower and scores higher as the wind is hard from the south. It's about the same sunniness as yesterday. A little bit of haze today, but much more breeze. And again, coming out of the south, it is a different wind than yesterday, so it is an entirely different golf course. Still, there has been good action thus far today, and here are some highlights from round two. We start with the past champion, Justin Thomas, who started his day two back. His first hole of the day, number 10. This is second shot. Justin Thomas dialed in would make that and pull within one shot. Just three holes later, the par 5 13th. Justin Thomas is third. Trailing by one. But not after that great chip. He'd make that putt and have a share of the lead. He'd drop a shot at 14, but get one back at number five. So at five under par, he comes to his final hole of the day. Number nine. This for the outright lead. And Justin Thomas gets to six under par, a pair of 67s to start his PGA Championship. Young Joaquin Neiman playing well also, also started at the 10th, but began his day at two under par this to start with a birdie. And like Justin Thomas, he does. At the 12th, to get to four under one shot back, and join Thomas at the time. Great second shot. He would make that, but would add a birdie and three bogeys. He would slip back to a couple under. Matthew Fitzpatrick, this for birdie at number 11. Fitzpatrick started the day at two under. He would get to three under, but drop a shot and slip back to where he started at two. That was three behind the overnight leader, but now four behind Justin Thomas after his second consecutive 67. Rory McIlroy goes at 2.36 Eastern time. That's 1.36 local time. Leaderboard packed with big names and many great pairings and groupings out on the golf course this afternoon, including the 103 local, 203 Eastern time, starting time, Hideki Matsuyama, tied for his worst opening round to par at a PGA Championship 72. He's tied for 56. Xander Schauffele scrambled all day long, seven for eight. He shot 68, currently tied for seven. Tony Finau did not break 70 in all four rounds last year. 69 in his opening round today, has him inside the top 20. The 225 Eastern time, Hovland and Zella Torres Hovland one birdie in yesterday's round, tied for the fewest in his major championship career. He made a bogey as well, finished even par. No one made more feet of putts than Will Zalatoris, who's tied for second yesterday with by virtue of his 66 that he shot. No one made more birdies than Cameron Smith. Cameron Smith had seven birdies yesterday, but finished two under par. 
The big group this afternoon goes at 236. Woods, Spieth, McElroy, Woods, six over in his final 13 holes. At 99th, four over par, he's going to need to play some golf to make the weekend. Jordan Spieth only made one putt more than 10 feet all day and shot 72. Rory McElroy's 65 came by virtue of a nice birdie putt on the 18th. His first 18 hole lead in a major since 2014 at the Open Championship. The 2.47 starting time, 1.47 local time, has Patrick Reed, who shot 69, his ninth round in the 60s, to start a major championship. Justin Rose, a tail of two roses, minus six on his first three holes, four over his final 12. He shot 71. Bubba Watson, a mammoth drive on the first, second longest of the day, 405 yards. He shot 72. Taking a look at the practice ground here at Southern Hills. Just a wonderful venue. Not often played, it's seen, it's difficult to get to here in this part of the country, right in the middle of the country as we check in on John Rahm. This is the ninth hole for John Rahm. Second shot out of the rough. Always difficult to hold the greens when you come out of the rough. That applause from where he hit as opposed to where it landed. You always want to hear them cheering for you on the green versus where you started. Rahm is one under for his round. Scotty Scheffler having a bit of a tough day. He's three over on his round. His second shot at number nine. Currently four over par. And he's going to have to get up and down for his par and try and stay at four over. Back to the first tee in Matsuyama. Decky has played well in PGA championships in the past. But does not find the fairway and settles down in the rough now on off the, the team first tee. From As we go about out to Fitzpatrick, his 16th hole of the day, number seven. Second shot. And a good one. Very nice for Matthew Fitzpatrick. Good round of 68 yesterday, looking for his first major championship victory. That putt to try and get him back to three under. Back on the tee at number one, Xander Schauffele. Nice 68 from Xander yesterday. Carves it back into the fairway. Very nice ball striker. He should be able to handle the wind about as well as anybody in this field. Colin Morikawa, difficult position for him at number nine. His third shot here, par four, his closing hole. It was always going to be a difficult one to get on or near the green. So Morikawa at three over has some trouble. The projected cut line will certainly move. It was two over yesterday, but that's just one round, so you might want to double that and add one. Typically, is what they do. So five might be what we'd be looking for. Out at Scheffler's par putt at number nine. Remember, probably the number they're thinking about is five for the cut. So, I don't want to make a mistake on that number and miss it by one. So, this is an important putt. Do it. Scheffler made a world class par on 18 on Thursday night. Unable to save here on nine, and it's a bit of a shock to the system given how consistently excellent he has been, particularly in majors. Hasn't right. played in a great deal of them, but from his very first PGA championship, which was at Harding Park in San Francisco, where he was in the final group, right. he has just been brought his best to the biggest events of the year. Entirely unexpected play with the streak he has been on. 
winning so often and so consistently over the last three or four months. I think the difficulty of the bunkers and the difficulty from around these greens has made him look like a bit of a different player than he was at the Masters. His short game was brilliant there. You see 9 and 18. By now, you've been watching enough, you're familiar. They're immediately adjacent to one another and crosswalks as well. Players giving him a moment to allow those on 18 to play. So now it's Rom. We'll give them time to sort that out and get this back to six. Let's do that. For par, Joaquin Neiman missed it. Scott, I think the sand play has been much improved in this second round, but Neiman's been in the sand a lot. David, when I were talking before we came on the air here about the possibility maybe they got a bit of sand in there after the chatter after round one. Come on. Come on. Matsuyama second. It's dead downwind. Can you yeah. get it to stop no, from no the rough chance. snow shot? Oh. That's why you have to get it in the fairway on the first hole. Not going to be able to stop the ball at all on that green going downwind when, with the green running away from you. Rob for a round of 69 to finish two over. And you see the satisfaction in Absolutely. being able to make that par four. Two over eight off the lead for the moment, but certainly here for the weekend. Here and the dream stays alive. He has a chance to win. 36 holes He's and playing. plenty of time to do something about it. Now this very big putt for Scotty Scheffler. Cut may go to five and will not go to six. This for bogey. To finish at five over. To 36 holes. So Scotty Scheffler highly unlikely to play on the weekend. With a double bogey at the final hole he shoots. A 75 today. Any thought or dream of a Grand Slam like the gone. So first two rounds for the top three players on the world golf rankings. Xander Schauffele at the first hole his second shot you see the beautiful drive. Put him in great position. Number one's a hole when you look at the scorecard. Today, 481 yards. That's, gosh, that's a long hole, but it actually playing downhill plays much, much shorter. Now Fitzpatrick to get back to three under. Remember, he got there with his birdie earlier in the day, dropped a shot. Now he's back at three under, just three shots off the pace. A couple birdies and a bogey, but some difficult holes ahead of him. At number 10, Mito Pereira. Nice putt for Mito Pereira there. Three under, he's right in the thick things. On the tee at 14, this is Paul Dickinson, PGA professional. He's out of the Metropolitan section, an assistant professional at Atlantic Golf Club out in Bridgehampton, New York. He lives all the way out east in Montauk, Long Island, about as far out away from New York City as you can be on Long Island. And a look at the club professional leaderboard. It's been a difficult day for the club professionals. Ryan Vermeer has played in the PGA Championship before. He's made the cut in a PGA Championship. At five over par, he's got to play very well this afternoon to make the cut again. Again, these are all PGA professionals. There are 20 of them in the field. Jesse Mueller won the PGA Professional Championship. Here in this PGA Championship 78 today after yesterday 72 has him 10 over par and not playing the weekend. These are the players that not only can play well but also teach the game protect and grow the game of golf in our country. Keith Mitchell second shot here at number 16. He 
Williams likely expecting the wind and breeze to move that back closer to the hole. He's currently one over on his round as we go to number 10. This is a birdie putt at the 10th. Last week's winner on the DP World Tour. Oh, Sam Horsfield. Unable to get that one to drop. He stays at four over par right on the cut line. Second shot at 18 for Henrik Stenson. And Henrik would like to make that putt to finish at four over. Much better chance of making the cut. Up at the 16th. Back to Keith Mitchell. We saw his approach. This a birdie putt. Perry Maxwell designed this golf course in an age back in the mid 30s, previous century, where there wasn't much in the way of earth moving, things of that nature. But he did shape his greens with big undulating rolls. They call them Maxwell rolls after Perry Maxwell. Difficult to find proper speed going up and over these rolls, back down the other side. Especially on long putts like this. We'll move to his right when it slows down. Again, tough to judge the pace on these greens from the undulations and the rolls that are in there. At the practice area, Tiger Woods. Loosening up. Again, difficult conditions in the afternoon. Yesterday afternoon, more difficult than yesterday morning. And Tiger Woods at four over. Needs to play no worse than one over today to have any chance of making the cut, more likely even par for him. Four over par is what everybody else is looking at. A different Tiger Woods, the way he moves around, but all the same in his head and his heart. One of the smartest golfers ever to play the game, certainly one of the toughest. Will he physically be up to it? Speaking about physically up to it, John Daly. Only two over par, 1991 champion. He got into the field in 1991 when Nick Price, his son Gregory, was late to arrive. So Nick Price withdrew in the ninth alternate. John Daly got in. Brennan Grace at the 18th. Could use a birdie. Not going to get one from over there. Really needs to get up and down to have any chance playing the weekend. Let's go to the 17th. Sepp Strzok a second. Oh, what a great shot. Just can't hold it. Yeah, he saw it the whole way. It looked so good for so long. Born in Austria, Sepp Straka, as we go to the practice tee again. Rory McElroy leading when he ended his round. Trails by one to start this round when he gets going. He's 65 punctuated by that birdie, long birdie on the 18th hole. Two time past champion, won twice in three years. Won at Valhalla in the central part of our country, Kentucky. And on the coast of Kiowa Island. But it's been quite some time since he's been a real factor at a major championship. Won so many early on, including those two PGA championships and Open Championship. And a Masters. Sorry, U.S. Open and a Masters. Now J.J. Spawn, his second shot at 17. Nice shot. At the third, this is Robert McIntyre for par. McIntyre in good position at even par. 
And he stays there. Now to the 11th in horse field for birdie. Coming up short his second hole of the day started with a par shot 74 yesterday. Back to number one Hideki Matsuyama. Hit his second shot over the green. His third now coming back. It's the high road. Pretty fortunate that, that ball hit the camera down. We're down another 20 yards. John McGinnis with this group. We we'll look forward to hearing John's insight throughout the day. And we head now to eight. And we've got Matthew Fitzpatrick at three under par on the tee. At of all of these par threes here this week, what has probably been the most brutal of the four, and that's why. 249 yards yesterday, 220 and change today, and Fitzpatrick in the bunker. Back to one. Shoffley for birdie here. Long range, but you see the kind of care he's giving that. Because of the fact that they were unable to cut the greens with the anticipated winds of this morning, we did watch the golf ball bounce a fair amount in the early going of today's round, and it's only going to get worse as the day goes on. And we head to six. Bernd Wiesberger, who has really played some good golf today. On the way, and a long birdie putt goes down for Wiesberger. He gets to one under par. Back to the first. I mean, he's got a bunch of circles on that card on this very, very challenging Friday afternoon. Now, Shoffley, hit the fairway, hit the green, need your two putts to make four. And that's mission accomplished. To 11. Carrera for birdie for his second in a row. Nice birdie there for me to Pereira. Starting with a couple of birdies puts him just two shots off the lead. You can see the breeze in Hideki Matsuyama's shirt as he has this par putt at the first. Just leaves it out on the right hand side. And that kind of a PGA championship for past Masters winner. On the tee at eight, Charles Schwartzel. Eight playing 224 today. So the approach from JD. Now John Daly for Birdie to get to one over. Playing a lot on the U.S. Senior Tour. Daly will have that left for his par. Good to see him playing in this championship. 31 years after his win. Let's go to the 16th. Second shot for Austin Hurt. Austin, a PGA professional out of the Pacific Northwest section. He had professional at Wing Point Golf and Country Club in Bainbridge Island, Washington. Back to Brandon Grace on the 18th. His second shot. Third shot, excuse me. Got to make that putt to have any hope of playing on the weekend. Now Sepp Straka at 17 for his birdie. That kind of day for him. Yet to make a birdie on his card. Actually made one, sorry, the third hole. This is the 125 starting time. Now on the tee from Norway, please welcome Victor Hovland. Yeah. 
David, up to sixth in the world. The short game has been the thing that's held him back to a degree, but spends a great deal of time working on it. As you just assessed this talented young player, what's the sense that you have of, of his trajectory in the game? Well, I, I think it, it's a good one. Um, he's a solid of a player that has come out in the last couple of years. I'm very pleased in how he plays and swings the golf club. He hits it very solid, has plenty of distance, puts it very well. Getting better around the greens is something that he can easily do and easily fix. And when he matches up his short game ability and talents with, with his golfing abilities, uh, you're going to see him on the top of the leaderboard a lot. Now on the tee from Texas, please welcome Will Zalatoris. Something we mentioned yesterday morning on ESPN Plus. He's looking for his fifth top ten in his first eight major championships. The last guy to do that, Ernie Els, and the fifth one was Oakmont. That's where he won the U.S. Open. So Zalatoris, if he were to win here, would surprise no one. No, it wouldn't. Uh, he hits it as well as anybody in today's game. Figured out how to roll it. Like Ben Crenshaw yesterday, leading the field in strokes gained. That's left. We'll see where he finds that, but as David has described early on here, I'm trying to get it to stop on the green. Now on the tee from Australia, please welcome Cameron Smith. All those birdies yesterday from Cameron, seven of them, so we shot 68. Making tons of birdies on the PGA Tour, but he had three bogeys and a double yesterday. Made birdie here yesterday. It was his tenth hole of the day. Started a three consecutive birdie streak. Takes one hop in the left rough, finds its way to the left center, left side of the fairway. And so Cam Smith in good position. Justin Thomas, second consecutive 67. So the man who's already won a PGA championship is now one shot ahead of a man who has two himself, Rory McElroy. Mito Pereira looking for his best finish in a major championship. Could it be time for him to win one? At the 18th, it's going to be very important putts coming up this 18th hole. As many players are around the cut line, and that one does a 360, drops to the bottom of the hole, and there's still a possibility Brandon Grace will play the weekend. Three bogeys on the front, a birdie on the back. He shoots 72, currently five over par. Yeah. At the 17th. See the flag. All right, come on. Keith Mitchell. His second shot. After input from his caddy, John Lamonti. One over on his round. He took something off of it. You could tell into the breeze. Came up short. Over at the 15th, we'll find Luke List. This big man's second shot here. Luke, even on his round, even though he doubled the first hole. Got to seven over, but he's made birdies three of his last four holes. Over to 14, Y.E. Yang, past champion, took down Tiger Woods. Y.E. Three over.
That's the current cut line, but it will move to four, may even go to five. Let's go to the 17th. To Young Kim, second shot. Tough round yesterday, shot 78. Four over on his round today. Just trying to learn a few things in his final few holes here. This PGA Championship. At number eight, tee shot for Eric Van Royen. It's caddy Alice Gogare telling him to take it right up the middle. Just turned it over a little. Looked like he was trying to keep it out of that breeze from right to left, but that punch hard to keep it from turning from right to left itself as we take a look at downtown Tulsa. A lot of oil business and all related businesses to the oil industry. Whether it comes to refining, processing, the actual methods of drilling and the oil rigs themselves. A lot of that business in this part of the country. This is Sean Nor Norris for birdie at number 11. In good position, just one over par. Not many players under par and fewer and fewer as the day goes on. Having started the 10th tee, Norris just getting his round underway as we go to 16. This is Chan Kim. 16 difficult long hole, especially if you're coming out of the rough. And he finds the bunker. Chan's just one over on his round bird at the previous hole. At the second hole, this is Matsuyama. Two is 487 yards today. Sky high second shot. Landing short of the green. Just what you have to do with these Perry Maxwell designs, but you need to be towards the center of the green, otherwise it'll nice. propel you away from the hole. Is Alan Torres is second at number one is a beauty. And the amount of putts he made yesterday, this one's gonna be basically given if you could do such a thing. So Zalat Torres, great start to his second round. Second shot for Xander Shuffling at number two. Xander drove it past the tree, had less than 150 yards in with that wedge. What's that tree, John? About 240 off the or 340 <laughs> off the tee? Yes, indeed. Uh, apparently, it's not in play. <laughs> Position A for. Cam Smith. Well, there you are. Really doing some nice work here at the opening hole, Scotty. Got to control your flight downwind. Or was all but forecasting that as he walked down the steps. He hit the wedge up there and then rolling the putt. But now hobbling now. A lot of work to do to get inside that, Billy. Well, he dearly loved to join the party. <laughs> 85 yards. All depends on this first hop. And kind of soft and grab. Still okay. We got about 400 off the tee. I think Roms was uh, 409. Uh, there was another 401. Crazy. To 12. Mito Pereira in the right rough at 12, where we have seen many tee balls end up today and just barely cleared the penalty area. But this will probably catch this slope and head well off the green. So this will be a challenging up and down to a front left hole location. And oh, that settles all the way back down to the deepest rough. Let's go to 10. Matt Kuchar. A string of solid play heading into. Tulsa Cooch looking to start his round with birdie but will settle for par.
So it's par four on 10 for Matt. He obviously beginning on the backside and we work our way back up now to one T. Remarkable galleries all week long from the moment we got here on Monday. And it feels like most if not all of them were out here on Thursday and now Friday to follow this group whose round has arrived. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen welcome to the 104th PGA Championship. This is the 1.36 p.m. starting time. Now on the tee from Texas, please welcome Jordan Spieth. His good buddy ate clear of him, David. Do you start thinking target score on a Friday at all? Well, I don't want to know when that process would begin. With where he stands, eight behind Justin, I would imagine he's looking to just get into the red numbers for headed into the weekend. That's obviously left. We'll see if he catches something similar to Zalatoris. Next on the tee, the 2012 2014 PGA champion from Northern Ireland. Please welcome Rory McElroy. How big an advantage, David, is the club he has in his hand right now? Well, it's a massive advantage. We've seen a dr several drives in excess of 400 yards. I think if he catches this one and has it in line with the green, he could come up some just 20 or 30 yards short of the green. <laughs> That looks pretty good. Look, I mean, almost 190 mile per hour ball speed off the first tee. You better go to the right with that camera. <laughs> Quickly. Pan, pan right. Did you catch the rough? Oh, sure did. Next on the tee, the 1999, 2000, 2006, and 2007 PGA champion from Florida. Please welcome Tiger Woods. The only player to win this championship four times. Hagen and Nicholas have each won five times. That's Walter Hagen, one of the founding members of the PGA of America. Tiger needs a good round today, and here he goes. Perfect. Towards the end of his round yesterday. Saw some reactions to that right leg as he walks off the first tee. At the third, Mackenzie Hughes. This is his second shot. Three has a front right hole location. 459 yards. This is Ju Young Kim for par at 17. Kind of a week for Mr. Kim. Again, 78 yesterday. He's going to drop a shot here. Five over on today's round. One hole remaining in his 2022 PGA Championship. To the 10th, difficult stance for Cameron Davis. Again, grainy sand. The ball releases typically a lot. Very difficult stance for him. Very, very well done there. Really an exceptional job. Great bunker play there. He is two over. That's his first hole of the day as we go to Y.E. Yang. His past champion, fellow past champion, John Daly looking on. Second shot here at 14. They started on the 10th. On the tee at 11, Kuyo Hoshino. Hoshino made par on 10, his first hole today. He shot 74 yesterday.
178 yards this hole today. Stretched out just a little from yesterday. And tough to hold these greens, but that was a nice tee shot. At the 16th, we have Maverick McNeely looking at a par putt. Even on his round today, shot 73 yesterday. A couple of early bogeys. Decent round since then, though he drops a shot here to go to four over. We go quickly to number two, Matsuyama's third shot. And a nice one. So Matsuyama make par here at the second. Cam Smith for birdie at number one. Both in three of Thomas. Made a bunch of them yesterday. Makes another one today. Eight birdies on his week. One hole ahead, playing alongside Matsuyama. Xander Schauffele for birdie. to these greens you're not thinking birdie from that distance you're thinking two putts which is exactly what Xander's going to accomplish here. We saw that great second shot from Zalatoris here at the first. Was in trouble off the tee. Great recovery and a birdie for Zalatoris which moves him into a share of second with McElroy. Mito Pereira third shot at 12. These are difficult coming out of that Kind of rough. It's boy's got some heat on. It's got to slow down. And it'll roll off. Just get caught up there in the collar. Tiger Woods missed his drive at the first to the right. Missed the fairway. Missed the primary cut outside the rope line. Now as Jordan Spieth is across the fairway. Yeah, thank you. Some rough of his own on the other side. Looks like Tiger will play first. You see the big tree right between him and the hole location. Looks like he's going left, going to try and cut it back around. Hard to put spin on the ball, either to hold the green or to make it spin in the air. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that to be was able a clean. spin that, David. Yeah. That was amazing. That is not anywhere near a single shot we've seen so far from the right side of the first fairway. That goes to show. I, I talked about it yesterday with Curtis. The ability to play out of the rough is, is something I've never, never understood. So here you see the location. Just 383 for McElroy, but we'll have to play out of that rough, which will be a challenge. Now, Spieth will try to do the same from about 50 yards further back. He's got a much more difficult shot. He's got to take it in between two of these big trees. It's got to be low, and it did catch the tree. And he's going to be about the same area that Rory will be playing his second from. Not the start that Spieth was envisioning. See, Roy's walked all the way down, Andy, to take a look at things, and now works his way back to the ball. We'll get back to them as we move ahead to 12. Pereira trying to save par at 12. Oh. So a costly miss with his second costs him a bogey, and now we go to 10. And Stewart sink. I have to throw this out towards at least the right side of the green off of that lie. Spin oh. like that. Oh, what a golf shot. What a, what a cool second act or whatever act you want to call it for, for him. Son Reagan on the bags, won a couple of times with him there. Really cool. And it's back to one. Happened to one of the good people in golf. I've always admired Stuart Sink. Fellow jacket. I think it's got a chance. I can get a lot of ball first. I don't 
this guy down there. It's, I get clean access to the ball, but it obviously hits a lot of rough in front of it, so I'm not exactly sure. That's the other way to jump, you know? It's not going to jump, but it, well, it's not, but that, it may not spin. I'm 75 times? Short time. Yeah, 75, 101. Pitch it at 70? Yep. You've got one tree for each area of the outfield. It's going to be hard to stop this one on the green. He's got to land it short, I think. That's what he's trying to do, and it came out really soft, but still, it's on the dance floor. We heard, heard the dialogue between he and Michael Grella. They're always very, very collaborative, and you heard them describe what they attempt to do, and there's the results of a very lengthy putt to try to save a par. Now, Rory from 97. I'm not sure he can hold it on the green if he carries it more than five yards on. He's also going to try to bounce it short. And it hit softly. Wow. You see that juxtaposed with what we just saw Zalatoris do. It just makes you realize just what a remarkable play that was to three. Second for Xander Shoffley. That was from 160. Oh. Went quartering in from the right. Well played, smart shot. Flag stick right up against that fall off on the right to 10. And Stewart sink to two under par. To three. Now Matsuyama at the third. This from 146. He hasn't hit a green yet today. Flag stick on the right edge. Second shot almost in. He's hit the green now, Curtis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that, John. I was just saying, now he has. Almost didn't need to putt it. Now, a whole lot of work, Andy, for this group on one green. <laughs> well, Rory's, you know, basically a yard or so short of the green. He's taking his sand wedge and he's going to try to carry it. Oh, probably a third of the way onto the green and trying to have a little bit of spin on it so it can control the speed as it goes down this hill and everything goes away the second half of the screen. McElroy. Just one back of Justin Thomas is Rory McElroy. Playing the first hole safely, though, a little more to his putt remaining than he would like. Vito Pereira, rarefied position for him in a major up inside the top five. Cameron Smith, everyone's waiting for him to win a major championship. Same with Abraham Anser, the youngster from Mexico, Davis Riley, solid player. It's going at 309 Eastern, just about 20 minutes from right now. Local Taylor Gooch with a 70 today. That's a good number. We'll move you up the leaderboard as we go out to Matthew Fitzpatrick for par at number nine. Very satisfied with that. Yeah, another solid round in good position headed into Saturday's third round. Veteran of these competitions knows that's just where he would like to be back to one. Jordan Spieth will be the first one to hit the long putt here at first the first probably 40 footer fast particularly the last 10 feet and it will be breaking from his right to left. And Tiger is a very interested bystander. You see he is standing in to take a look at that line. It'll be a drop shot for Spieth. Yeah, wonderful touch though, and, and did, didn't do, do too much damage by getting down in two from there and making his bogey. Andy, how close to the line that Spieth was on is Tiger's putt? Uh, he's probably six or seven feet toward the center of the green more. 
but he was looking at the speed. Oh, that's the key. After that great recovery, just get the right speed. This has a chance. What a putt. Excellent two putt. Means Tigers round begins with par. Ahead to three. And a tap in for Matsuyama after that really great second shot. It gets back to plus two. You never know. A couple of birdies, you jump many, many players. Back to one. And Rory giving this a look. Fairly straightforward, isn't it, Andy? Yeah, there's not a ton here. It's just, you know, be solid. The wind gusts are going. One thing he's got the wind behind him, which helps. It's a nice start for McElroy. Par is the first. Going to a stretch of holes that some difficulty in there, though it's an easier start than it is a finish at this golf course now. Jordan Spieth for Bogey to start his round. That current cut line will move from three to four. As we take a look at the top of the leaderboard, Justin Thomas is second consecutive 67. Has him leading by a shot, looking for his second PGA Championship victory. Rory's got two. He started with a par. At the 13th, this is Dean Burmester. His birdie putt to get to red numbers. Just dives away at the last moment. Dropped a shot at the last hole. Shot 69 yesterday. We go to Lucas Herbert. This round for him. For much of the day yesterday. But today a little bit different. Bogey the second and third holes of the day. Dropped another shot at number five. Pretty much even par since then as we go to 11. Stewart Sink on the tee. Just stayed out of the bunker. Chris Kirk has gotten a two under, trying to get to three under. Misses a birdie putt right there. Chris, all pars today as Y.E. Yang in the past champions group has a birdie putt at 15, playing alongside Sean McKeel, who won it. Oak Hills up in Rochester. And Y.E.'s birdie drops in. Again, the only man ever to defeat Tiger Woods after Tiger held a 54 hole lead in a major. And that double at number 11, but got one of those shots back here at 15. Plays some on the PGA Tour champions. Senior Tour on. In the U.S., we're looking at the 17th green. Looks like Shan Kim with a bunker shot will be next to play. Chan just tiptoeing on that cut line. Again, it will move to four, might move to five, won't stay at three. The cut line. Looks like it might be a slightly downhill lie for it.
That's an excellent bunker shot. The consistency of the sand has been something that's been discussed quite a bit this week as we go to the T at 11. Padre Harrington. Last time the PGA Championship was held here, Padre Harrington had won the most recent major. He won the 2007 Open Championship. He would not win that year's PGA Championship, but the next year in 2008, also the most recent major champion, he would win that PGA. Now number two, Will Zalatoris. Quietly making his move even closer to the top of the leaderboard, made birdie at one. If he makes that, he'll have a share with Justin Thomas. Excellent major championship player early on in his career. As we go to check in with Justin Rose at the first, his second shot. Again, an up and down round for Justin yesterday. This was the part of the course that was not kind to him yesterday. On the tee of two, Rory McElroy. And just misses the fairway. Into that primary cut as Tiger will be next to play. First, we're going to meet to Pereira, who's playing well. His third shot at number 13. Great shot there. Mito Birdie, this first and second holes of the day. Big bogey on three. Now Tiger on the tee at two again. Quick right. Lots of cheering for Tiger, but not much to cheer for off those first two drives. Now, Rocky Neiman for Birdie at nine. Joaquin makes his birdie putt at the ninth, his last hole of the day. 71. One under par. Come on, red numbers halfway through the PGA Championship is not a bad place to be. Number two, Jordan Spieth. Also to the right. That wind, Andy, should be pushing that one right, too. Three players in the right rough. 18 was the hardest hole yesterday. So far in this second round, number two has been the toughest. Here's the birdie try for Zalatoris. Just not quite enough. Led the field in strokes gained putting yesterday. Now back over to 11, the short par three, Stuart Sink for par. I think that's the key to his, as Scotty says, his second chapter in life. He's putted very nicely, has his age just a bit. Good start. Birdie par to two. Hovland's par putt. He'll hit it in the left greenside bunker. Nice save there. Really nice. Ahead to the third. Terrell Houghton out of the middle of the fairway. You'll see most of the shots in the middle of the screen coming from that angle. Little dog leg to the left. And the wind coming from the right. And. <laughs> We saw Stuart sink a moment ago. He's in his 21st PGA Championship. This is the 20th for Justin Rose. Oh, that's criminal. That's robbery there. Oh, that's so gross. I'll settle for four. Well, Andy was talking about how that wind is coming so hard left to right. McElroy, Spieth, and Tiger Woods all in the right rough. Off the tee at the second. Andy Tiger first to go. Yeah, pretty decent lie. I think he's got to land it short and just get it somewhere in that right front of the green. Oh. 
came up short in the bunker. Yeah, the wind didn't take that one to the right like he would have thought. Now Spieth. Yeah, trying to do the same thing, and his was about four yards to the right of where Tigers was, and it's a terrific shot. To get it to there, he had to land it way short coming out of that rough. We saw off the tee, Rory was a good bit ahead of those two. Yeah, he's in the 156 range, and this is one of those shots that he's got a pretty decent lie. If you go in there and hit just a normal shot, he could get a jumper. And over this green is a lot of trouble. You'd imagine he's trying to bounce this one in as well, Andy. And he's down here far enough, David. He might be cocky enough to think he can carry down the green and control it. But I like your idea. Just put it in the right front corner of the screen and move on. Begging for it to sit, they just don't sit on these greens. Certainly not out of that rough. Very hard to get any control on the golf ball. One of the hardest holes on the golf course, the par four second. Presenting a challenge to the world's best. Four to four, Matsuyama second. Gee, this is a green light, isn't it? Just a wedge up the hill. They're done. Oh, played right in the middle of the pack yesterday. The short par four. Mm. Yeah, what a reaction he thought to himself. Thought it'd be a little closer than that. Mm -hmm. Terrell Hatton now for birdie, number three. He's kept his emotions in check thus far, which is half the battle for Terrell. But thus far is the key there. <laughs> Heck of a player. Sanders shot played a four second shot. A lot of talk with the ball in the air. Thought it was headed towards that bunker. Brings it back towards the other. So there you have it. One of the better players in the world. Wedge in his hand. He's missed the target by 30 feet and then he's now missed it by 30 yards. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at some. Players near the top of the leaderboard. Justin Thomas, second consecutive 67. McElroy's through his first hole with a par as Alatoris birdied his first part, his second hole of the day. Hoagie gets going here pretty soon. Nice 69 from Matt Fitzpatrick. Mito Pereira from Chile is also playing well. Matt Kuchar, Stuart Sink out on the golf course. Davis Rowley about to get out. Kevin Nah has started but not posted a score yet. As we go back out to second hole, Tiger Woods third. We discussed after the round yesterday just how hard he found the bunkers. He's been able to adjust. He has. It's a different type of sand. It's a coarse sand. The reason why they use this coarse sand is because the winds are so strong here so it doesn't blow out of the bunkers that the fine sand typically does. But the player cannot spin the ball out of it. And the players have had to adjust and Tiger's done a very good job here. They sure have. So you'll see here that the the bounce on the wedge, they've actually had to grind them down this week, change the wedge bounce so the ball can come out a little higher, a little softer than what it typically would because they can't impart any spin. Tiger Woods, four time pass champion. And the last winner of a PJ here at Southern Hills. Yes, he was. 2007. Now McElroy. Difficult stance, difficult shot. This is, you don't want a gust of wind here. A lot of green to work with. Just going to make sure you get some kind of solid contact. Looked really solid. Almost too solid. So he'll have that left for par. 
And back ahead to four. John McGinnis out there. This is a tough one, John, for Xander. Yeah, this is one you could leave right back at your feet if you don't hit it hard enough. That's pretty well done. He'll have about five feet for his par. Let's go to 13. Mito Pereira, birdie putt. Hmm. He'd like to have that one back. Mito. Playing well. One under for his day. And John now Matsuyama for his birdie. He hasn't had a putt more than about two feet today. These greens are considerably slower. This one downhill, though. And he still couldn't get it there. Let's go back to three. Second to Cam Smith. 167 yards. Actually trying to hold it up against the breeze a little bit, but. Even though it's a pull, it's on the putting surface. Solid player, relentless player. Go back over to Jordan Spees birdie putt. That was not what Jordan saw. Now over at three, Zalator second from the left rough, coming in low. Yeah, maybe caught that a little thick. And he'll have a lot of work, Billy, get Ooh, that up and in. You bet he will. Solid player. Good driver of the golf ball. To Roy. To say par. Up the hill. If anything, should go a little bit to his right. Just didn't quite hit it hard enough. That was on a good line. Now that's a drop shot for Rory McElroy. Takes him to four under par, two shots behind Justin Thomas. Par bogey to start his second round. Now Jordan Spieth looking at his, and you got to believe that. He's not going to hit one offline like that very often. Completely fooled by the read. Hard to be fooled by the read of a putt this short. As Jordan tidies it up. Really has struggled with confidence though on the greens, uh, not just this week, but this season. Yeah, when he was in his purple patch, he was making everything for fun. And Tiger makes par. And again at four over. He's outside the cut line at the moment, but that is likely to change here any minute as Justin Thomas's lead is now one over Zella Torres. McElroy has dropped back a shot. Tom Hoagie has yet to begin his second round. Patton Kazire found the water off the tee. This is third shot at 17. A decent angle, but he's got overhang of the branches of that tree in front to worry about. Might have to punch this low. No, he gets to go upstairs. He'll have that left for his par. Go kick it in. Good four in the end. What a shot. Up at the 16th, this is Y.E. Yang for his par. Inside the cut line, if you don't mind. More than a few holes to go, though. Great effort for a man who's barely been sighted on the world stage for, let's say, half a dozen years minimum. Play some on PGA Tour champions. This is Sean Norris for birdie at seven, 13, excuse me. South Africans that likes the broomstick. There's a few of them using it. Justin Harding. We've got Charles Schwartzel who's gone to it. Get in there. Oh. South African John Bland Woo. popularized it years and years ago. Why not use it if it's going to work that well? Oh, yeah. Norris back to even par. To the fairway at 18. This is Tyler Collette. 
We saw him a fair bit yesterday, one of the team of 20. Uh -huh. Big rip up the hill here. Strong effort. You know, 10 over for a couple of rounds around here, given that he'd be playing you know, limited at best. Not bad at all. Works at Johns Island, South Florida, as we go to the T at 11. Matt right. Jones, he won't take too long to pull the trigger. It's about a three beat count. He's right on the cut line. I'm watching this intently. Mm. Oh, they got that heavy, or it was a club light. At the 12th, Padre Harrington, second shot. Three major championships in about 53 weeks. And that was a golden run, wasn't it? Oh, it was. And more like 56 weeks. Yeah, won two opens and then the PGA in 2008. Mm -hmm. That's we've seen that of late, haven't we? So Kepka picked four up in a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. Tiger on the tee at three, missed the first two drives to the right. Goes quickly to the tee. Ideal. Hopefully, build some confidence off that. Now, at the third hole, Zala Torres' third shot. Those shots give you the heebie jeebies. You know, out here, there's nerves around that, and you've got to be so precise. Speed playing alongside Tiger on the tee at two. Started right at Tiger, but then drew his back to the left. Finishes just to the right of Tiger. Two ways to get it done. Up at the green, Cam Smith for birdie. The right line, working hard on the speed. Isn't that interesting to hear they didn't cut the greens overnight because the forecasted winds, but they've laid down a bit. They have. On the tee at five, Xander Schauffele. Sounded like it snuck into the bunker. Now back to McElroy on the tee at number three. Started to the right of both of them. Averaged 332 yards off the tee yesterday. Uh, just a distinct advantage, but it doesn't help when you drive it there. Look at that. He's flown them by some 30 yards, but that's a tough spot to hit it. Yes, it is. Hobby Tower, Long Easy, 316 Delta Bravo, flight at 25 North Carolina. Well, this is what we're talking about. This is this the little air traffic mile. control, exactly. Yeah, it goes on around here. Uh, you see the second green, the fifth green, the sixth tee, the third tee, sixth green, seventh tee. They all, it, it snakes around, and, and trying to just navigate the field around here without considerable delay has been a real challenge for Kerry Hagan, the PGA Championship. Did a good job on day one. Certainly did. Not a, a blade of rough in that area, which I love. That's so good, the way Gil Hans has restored this vision that Perry Maxwell had 90 years ago. Doesn't help your maintenance costs if you're the golf course superintendent, but it is a beautiful sight. Now Zalatoris is day one back. Look at the confidence he's got in the putter now. Certainly be a nice one to get. I'll tell you something, that was a nice flip of stroke. That was good. Pretty smooth. You know, we talk about his short stroke not being as smooth as his long, but he likes the stage. He seems to make him finish second to Masters. Now in second here at the 2022 PGA Championship here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Out of the 10th, Bo Hostler. 
going along nicely, just uh, one under for the championship. Real shift in attitude for Bo. He came out one of those really prodigious young talents that didn't feel comfortable on the big stage. Now found a way to get it done. Adri Arnaud at the sixth. Player the Spaniard. Quite a fiery customer as most Spaniards are. Done well in Europe. That landed a lot softer than what we saw in day Same one. Too. It seemed to. Talk about the apex of the ball flight. If you can get that ball to come from a higher trajectory, land softer. So Justin Thomas's lead is holding up, and Will Zalatoris with that hot putter could be a difficult task for Justin in the clubhouse. Sit there and watch Zalatoris play this afternoon. Rory McIlroy going in the wrong direction. One over on his round. Taylor Gooch with a nice round today. Burn Beastberger, how about that 67? Not too many players shooting sub 70 rounds today, but if you do, you move up the leaderboard pretty significantly. Brooks Kepka managed to do that to get through to the weekend. Big move by the two time PGA champ. Chan Kim at the 18th, his third shot. Well played. Chance to save his par. So 72 players plus three or better as Sean Norris approaches his tee shot at 14. Like most South Africans, very strong. Doesn't need to do much to generate a lot of power. J.D. is right on the cut line at 17. Here's his second shot. Good to see him playing the second round this year. It does. Yes, very good. Look at that. I love J.D. Still giving to the fans. Well, when your pants match your bag, that's always a good thing. Good sign. 13th, Cam Davis third. He too right at plus three. You watch this swing, just how technically correct it looks. He's uh, perfectly ambidextrous. He can swing the golf club left-handed just as fluently as he does the right. Like that. Good young player out of Sydney, Australia. Uh, Khan Pull and his coaches over here with him this week. And he laid to rest a legend of Australian golf, Jack Newton, right. just a couple of days ago at a memorial, thinking of Jack's family back home in Australia. Rory's second shot at number three. At the tenth is Tom Hoagie for par. So Hoagie drops back to three under. Yeah, that's some playing by Justin Thomas, a pair of 66s, uh, 67s in those conditions. Tiger Woods now, second shot at number three. In the center of the green. That's certainly not what he wanted. A little long, a little left. Max Homa for birdie. A slippery one down the hill to try to get to even par for the championship. Oh, just curls left. So he will remain at plus one. Seven. And back of our leader, Justin Thomas. We get back to three. Jordan Spieth. Yeah, 140. He'll be a little bit more aggressive. This is headed just left of the hole. You know, Andy, he's hit some good shots. He's playing very well, but his club is laid off so far to the left at the top of his swing. It's uh, it's almost like he has to get it back and manipulate it to get it back on the inside of the ball. Take a look at our headlines as we're 
here in the afternoon on Friday. Storylines start coming into some focus here as Justin Thomas shoots 67 67. Salute to Brooks Kepka. He fought hard and matched Thomas with a 67. Scotty Scheffler will not play the weekend. That's a, a, a shock to everyone. To three. The third for Rory. Well done. You know, we talked yesterday. He lives and dies with the big tee shot. Drove it so well yesterday. Actually, was in control of his whole game. But Andy, today maybe just I know it's windy, um, but it's still so much an advantage to put it in the fairway off the tee. Well, absolutely. You just see that that it's a struggle from the start. Once you put it in the rough, you just are guessing the entire time. Bubba Watson birdie putt at the second. Rare birdie three at number two today for Bubba, who's only one over par. Back to Tiger. And after a good tee shot. Solid iron shot, but just wind coming out of the right. Sometimes it's just tough, tough to judge the distance. What exactly is going to happen when the ball peaks at the top of the trees? And he's left himself with a pretty long approach putt. It's a little bit downhill to start with, and then as he gets close to the hole, the hole's cut right at the bottom of the hill where you've got a little bit of the hill from the bunker on the right of the green coming down. So I think he'll flatten out and maybe lose a little bit of speed at the end of this putt. This is all about the pace. Get it down there. Look at this. Well done. Good start. Solid to his to his round. Curtis make pick up one up on the short fourth par five fifth. Just kind of pick apart the golf course as you go along today. Well, at a major, that's I think that's the way you play. You have to take advantage of those few opportunities, and even more so when the wind's blowing and swirling like this. There's not going to be many opportunities out there today. <laughs> I hope they weren't the dance moves. <laughs> kind of look like you. It was better than me. <laughs> to four. Cam Smith's approach to four. 111 yards. Up the hill into the breeze. Really nice line right here. Needs to stay up. Ooh, ooh, that thing started ripping back. Will just grab the first cut of fringe and stay up on the level of the green. Xander Shoffley had his trundle all the way off down in between the two bunkers. Back to three. Jordan Spieth for birdie. Even when he misses, David, it looks good. That it? one looked good the whole way. Yes. Finished second last week in Dallas. Currently plus three. And Billy back ahead to four, 105 for Zalatoris. Yeah, I think he's going to throw it a little bit lower in there. Ooh. Maybe an overreaction to what he just saw. And that will be a tricky one. We have not seen many putts read accurately on that green from there. Back to three. Roy for par. All right. A minor escape there. He will remain at minus four. Matt Borcher from Isleworth Country Club in Windermere. And I'm not sure this is one that he has given many lessons <laughs> to try and emulate. Just trying to stay as level as you can. I guess one foot in the bunker, one foot out with putter. One of our team of 20 club professionals, and it's just that easy. Oh. 
There's, there's, there's the lesson, Bob. Just, just do just that. Just do that. Yeah. His fee just went up. <laughs> <laughs> Today's price is not the same as yesterday's price. Here's Abraham Hanser at 12 to try to get to four under par and within two of the lead. And bends it right in the middle. So Answer climbs the leaderboard with a birdie at 12 as he is getting his second round underway. They're chasing Justin Thomas. Back to back 67s in the wind here in Tulsa at the PGA Championship. At the 17th, this is Y. E. Yang for bogey. Ooh. And there you have it. Going along nicely inside the cut line and then a double from nowhere. Well, going to four over is still virtually the cut line. Next person to three over to make a bogey will move the cut line. But you don't want to spend shots like that when you've still got nine holes to go. And Chan you really Kim's, don't want that. Right. Chan Kim's just followed suit straight after. And, and that's why the cut line is moving. These short parts, there's so much subtlety to the greens that the, the players just can't read them. As we go to number 10, Bo Hostler for par. They're not used to greens running as slow as this back up the hill so they just don't Correct. have the ability to hit it as hard on the right line at number 12 second shot for Thomas Peters good to see him feeling more confident about his game again at the 10th this is Ryan Fox for his part yeah, beautiful there's a big hitting Kiwi Nice hands as well, spends most of his time in Europe. Really nice player, his father. Legendary All Black. Ah. And if uh, people know their rugby, that's the highest honour in New Zealand and in the sport of rugby. Sure is. Siwoo Kim has a birdie putt at number 11. When Siwoo's in control of his emotions, he plays superbly well. And when he gets outside of his own mind, he can go awry quickly. This is second hole of the day. Nice right, birdie gets him back to even par. He's feeling pretty confident about his game. Caught up with him earlier in the week, and he just, I said, "You're playing well." He just nodded his head. I'm good. On the tee at 14, Rukuya Hoshino. Great contingent of Japanese players in the field this week. A lot of them get here via big efforts on their Japanese golf tour. Get up the world rankings. A couple of special invitations as well. Mm -hmm. Now at the 12th, second shot for Richard Bland. Boy, did he have a dream summer last year. Been able to maintain the rage this year, but at 49, just stoked for Blandy that he got that win, that elusive victory. Had a phenomenal run at the US Open at Torrey Pines the month sure after, did. didn't he? Had the lead going to the final round. At the 10th, Pablo Larath ball for a par. Now Tiger on the tee at four. He's trying to control that three wood in the right half. Don't want to flirt with the creeks around here. It's not a bad spot. Let's take a look at his lower body as he comes through. Had some flinching in that right side, that back leg. Well, he said he couldn't put any pressure on it. He couldn't turn through it. He couldn't use any part of his right leg yesterday afternoon. In the latter part is, parts of his round, he looks to be moving a little better today. Now up on the green, Salatoris for a share of the lead. He made a couple of bombs yesterday. 
looks like he's done a really nice job of reading it. He continues to roll it really well. Back to the tee and Rory. Hang on, boys. <laughs> this is launched into the wind. Keep panning right. Keep on there. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's inside of 60 yards into the wind. That's what he did the practice round. That's what he did yesterday. And up on the green or just off the green. Here's Cam Smith. Oh. Good effort there. Let's go to five. Sanders. Fourth, not a lot of room to work with. And that's going to roll away. It's yeah. down the wind and it slips away from you. Way better than I thought that he could do there. So now back in the fairway at four. How about, Andy, this angle for Tiger to that front left hole location? It, it couldn't be any better. He's on a flat area on top of one of these knobs, 119 yards. This one's going to have some spin on. He's got to take this 15, 20 feet past the hole in the center of the green. Everything will be spinning down toward the hole. Lands at about hole high. It stops right there. And you can tell that every step for Tiger Woods is a tough one as we go back ahead to five. Matsuyama for Brody John. A uh, slow one up the hill. He's hanging around, hanging around, isn't he? Wouldn't, wouldn't take much for him to get some momentum and find himself squarely in the mix here. No, oh, not on a golf course that requires excellent ball striking. Uh, if he can get some putts to fall, his consistency will be there. To four. 88 yards for Jordan Spieth out of the rough. Yeah, decent lie. He doesn't have to worry about overspinning it. Terrific shot right over the top of the flag. So very makeable at four for speed. And Rory McElroy's drive compared to most of the rest of the field in parts unknown. Only a couple of other T balls today have gotten out to that zip code. Here's the approach. <laughs> He's not happy. And maybe Andy just not able to get that much spin on the ball, almost too close to the green. <laughs> now Xander for par here, stay at two under. Just hate to waste one on a hole like this. That's a great save. And so it's all pars on a day when if he ends at two under, he's going to be right in the middle of it. I'm in good shape, yeah. Those little saves like that throughout the course of the week are the ones that give you the opportunity to be there late Sunday afternoon. See this group now back at four. And Andy, it looks like it's going to be Rory first. I think it is. Just inside of 30 feet for McElroy after he drove it within 55 yards of the green. And again, normally this putt is so fast, but because they didn't mow the greens this morning, the guys have struggled getting the proper speed going down some of the hills. You spent three, four days in a row really understanding the, the speed, and now all of a sudden it's a little bit different. But this is also downwind. So this should be pretty quick. Certainly had the speed well judged, but not the line. So it will be looks like a routine par for Rory McIlroy, and now Tiger Woods will have a chance.
I have to tell you, this is all about feeling the speed. He's been really good so far judging that. You got to be careful not to over plan on this braking. The front part of the screen flattens out a little bit. It's still going to break right to left, but it may not go the three or four feet that you think it might. So I'll just picking your line, getting a feel for the, the speed. Everybody seems to be having a good laugh. I think uh, Rory McIlroy dropped his golf ball into the bunker, the greenside bunker. Well, there's a very good chance that the cut in the not too distant future is going to get to plus four. That's where Tiger is right now. A couple of nice long putts his first couple of holes. That went okay. But see what they were talking about with the speeds of the greens because they're a little slower. The players got to hit the putt harder. So when they hit the putt harder, it's got more chance of going off line quicker. And overread it like that Tiger did just then. At the 17th, Troy Merritt. Go in zone. Oh, How big's that for him? Entered the hole plus three. Walks away with a little extra buffer on the cut line. Mm, certainly take that. He's worked out how to play out of the sand here at Southern Hills. He has one under on his round almost halfway through. Back to Jordan Spieth. Isn't that a lovely spot to come and watch a marquee group? It sure there? is. He needed that. He did something he can feed off to start getting so much momentum going. And he will need some. But at two over. I'm sure he's got a number in his mind. He's thinking if I can shoot 67 today, maybe 66. Well, it's going to be, what, four or five back going into the weekend. I would think 67 would have been the number he would have thought. 66 bonus but again that gets him into red numbers as you mentioned tiger for his paw Let's go, and here we are some 27 years into it one of the all-time great careers and people are still just desperate for a glimpse Trying to wheel him on every single cheer. It's only for pass, but they're going off like he's just made a huge birdie. Yeah. They're trying to carry him through to the cut line. It's a heavy carry with his physical shape, not just physical conditioning, but just the change to the golf swing because that right leg is not allowing him to do things that he's done his whole life. But again, he's got the head, he's got the heart. Well, my word, he's got the heart. There hasn't been a golfer who has a tolerance level for pain. Like him, yes, Ben Hogan endured what he endured back in the 50s. He did superbly, but Tiger's next level. And Rory makes his par. Disappointingly, really, hit it the furthest and had the longest birdie par. Justin Thomas posting that 67 as a one shot lead over Zala Torres, playing well, one under on his round. McElroy won over today. Plenty of golf left to be played here in the second round. At the 18th, this is John Daly. At three over. David might come to some surprise, but he posted on his Instagram yesterday after his round. He went to Hooters and had dinner and then went to a casino and had another bet. <laughs> Neither of those surprised anyone who knows John Daly. John now inside the cut line not just on the cut line as the cut has moved to four over got to get to four over as Higo is at four over playing the 12th just went off the boil after a phenomenal couple of months 
in the early portion of last year. Had that incredible breakthrough victory on the US tour. As we go to Chris Kirk for birdie at 16. Right, He's going along quite well. Couple under yesterday, all pars today until that one right there. Just three back. To the 18th, Y.E. Yang playing alongside Dale. He's got a birdie putt as well, just about half the distance of J.D. He's trying to bounce back from that disappointing double at 17, the short par four. You would made a rare birdie at 18, but he'll head to the final nine looking for a little bit of magic. This is Takumi Kanaya for birdie. Yeah, he struggled on day one, a real surprise. Phenomenal talent. Following in the footsteps of his countryman, Hideki Matsuyama, by winning the Asian amateur title. Played in the Masters for the second time this year. Growing in stature as a professional. Deadly for par now. No clarification how he, well he did at the casino last <laughs> night or at Hooters. Um, That's right. But he was there. Very few people love their life as much as John Daly loves his. At the 10th, this is Munoz for birdie. Let's see how far left he's aiming. Quick down the slope here. Sebastian shot 74 yesterday. Yeah, just happy to have the kick in power and move on. The talk is that the greens are stimping around 10, uh, but the downhill putts are more like 12 and a half, 13, aren't they? They sure are. And that was the danger with the strong winds that were forecast today. They just couldn't risk it. Over to the 13th, Kramer Hickok, his third. Jordan Spieth's roommate there for a little while. University of Texas player. And spin, spin. Had a baby! Almost won there at the Travelers last summer. Had that air pick eight-hole playoff, didn't he? Harris English. We mentioned the proximity of some tees to one another, some tees to greens. And the portion of the course that really is congested. 5T is part of that course. 73 is your top. Yeah, I like my and like right there on top. A little help off your left. Abraham answer. And he, this is his shot too. This is his absolute wheelhouse. Golf at the University of Oklahoma. He knows this part of the world. We remember that final round at Kiowa last year where he just went on a great birdie streak. Finished in the top 10. Climb it up the leaderboard here on Friday. Par 3 sixth out of the bunker, Hideki. Uh, David, remember what you were saying about the bunkers? Right, there's one. <laughs> more reflective of what we saw yesterday. You know, it's interesting. The stats say the sand save percentage hadn't changed much, but it sure feels like it's been improved to the fifth. And you see the issues for Hovland here. Uh, no, to the bunker, it's uh, 216. Well, he's actually cleared the gallery and left of the big oak tree directly in front. I would have thought that kind of takes it a little bit to the right, but he's not. Meanwhile, on the green, Denny McCarthy. Last man in the field. Just comes up. A roll shy. Denny playing well on this Friday. Back to six. That was for par. Had a little chip. So that's going to be a drop shot at the par three sixth for Hideki. 
Par threes here are really difficult. It's a beautiful hole, the sixth. And there have been a few more birdies there today, percentage wise, than yesterday. All right, back at five. Second for Cam Smith. Now from the bunker. Kind of just grab as much yardage as you possibly can from here. And that's going to be a lengthy third shot. No surprise, it's the second easiest hole on the golf course, 13 being the easiest. Though so they're 600 plus on the car there, the two opportunities right. you get on a par five out here at Southern Hills. As Alatoris is. Smart play here. 294. Really with this win, even with the good lie. No reason to do anything but what he did. No, just take chase it down the fairway, right, Billy, and, yeah. and put a wedge in hand. Yep. Give yourself an angle to the whole location on the left, which he did. Interesting part of the strategy all week, trying to figure out how to approach that one. To six. Shoffley's birdie putt on the way. Well, it's just a feeder down the hill from left to right after a seven iron into the middle of the green. So Shoffley continues to make par. Not a bad thing. Six in a row. I'm still waiting back there on the tee. They're waiting for Hovland, who punched out. Well, he tried to punch out, Scotty. Clipped a tree and dropped straight down. So, still about 200. I want to say right around that 250 mark left to the, the hole location. Pretty thick lie. Looks like he has a decently long club. Is he trying to chase it up into a front bunker? Oh, no. Uh oh. That's. That's right, and that's got to cool off a little bit. See it there. Not too bad, actually. Yeah, hold on. So Hovland and this group clear the way. Spieth can fire. All right, four left. Pull up. Go somehow, go somehow. A three shot hole for Spieth. Well, after the great approach at 13, Abraham Answer has inside a foot. He'll leave the flag stick in and move to one shot back. He and Zalatoris now both at five under par, just one behind Justin Thomas. Indeed, it was. Woods on the tee. This one started down at the right edge of the left bunker, just peeling off to the right. It'd be perfect. And it is. This should be fun. Hang on, Scotty. <laughs> yep, giddy up. This one's headed left. See how much the wind brings it back. Everybody's looking right and running. You kind of have to keep running. Okay. <laughs> Everybody get the big giant circle right around it. To 16. Vito Pereira for birdie. He's got another. So he is back one stroke closer up the leaderboard. His third birdie 
on his outward nine to begin round number two. And he's back on the first page of the leaderboard as we go back to five. Third for Smith. 116 yards and actually a little, just a little bit of a lull down here in the fairway, but flag stick doesn't indicate that. Keeps moving it to the right. Very well controlled. Ooh. Had to believe he'd give himself a look. And I don't care what the stats say, the make percentage is for him, it's higher. <laughs> It, it's, it's a thing to watch, isn't it? it it's a beauty. That putting stroke is something else. It's like his whole composition, man. I love just it. Never, never, like as I said, unbothered and unimpressed. He's and just doesn't change. This guy's pretty fun to watch hit a golf ball as well as Alatoris. A few yards closer. Man putts. Salatoris will have that for a share of the lead. Hold 150 feet of putts on day one. No one held more overall footage or had more strokes gained putting yesterday than Will Zalatoris. He has the putter in hand and a one shot deficit. Out at the 14th, Padre Harrington. Again, he didn't just win three major championships. He did two things that are quite rare in the game of golf. He successfully defended a major championship title, and he won two majors, not just in a year, but back to back. Mm -hmm. Paul Sergio was the victim both times. Mm -hmm. This is a par putt for Brendan Steele at the 10th. Starts, yeah, starting his day though with a bogey. Yeah, Portrick Harrington's pretty much done within the game. Obviously disappointed not to get the win as a Ryder Cup captain, but he played in plenty of winning teams. Prolific both sides of the pond. And he just had that, as you said, what was it, 13 month dream stretch. Special time. Now Chris Kirk. So the wind's starting to shift now. That the change that uh, was forecast for later this afternoon is starting to come in now. So players are going to have to adjust right throughout the course of this day. They're going to start seeing shots that they've not had to hit so far this week. Well, all pars today for Chris Kirk. Looks like that may end here as he has a short birdie putt at the 17th. That'll bring him within three. He's got a six with Mac, Max Homa on the tee. Oh, look at the crowd around this area. I'm trying to get in position to see Tiger. I know Max would be turning around a fair bit and watching Tiger himself. A huge fan, but a player rising in the ranks of the game. Isn't he? This is Dean Burmeister from South Africa. Had a really good day going yesterday. Posted red figures, but it's a bit of a struggle at the moment. An important little stretch here as he makes the turn. He's bogeyed his last three holes. Whatever feel he had is gone from his body. At the fifth, this is Victor Hovland. The par five is 660 yards. This is Victor's fourth shot. They have a long par putt left. One of the two genuine scoring holes on the course. He'd be disappointed not to have taken advantage, but he hit a wild drive and he's been grinding ever since. At number four, Bubba Watson, second shot, lost this championship in playoff. And back in 2010 at Whistling Straits, those two green jackets are always uh, a treat to put on, I'm sure. Look at this shot. It's more like it. Man has been a shot maker his entire career. 
So here are the drives on the fifth hole of our marquee afternoon group. Jordan Spieth left in the woods. Tiger Woods, great position. 385 yards for Rory McIlroy down that tree line. That's hard to do. Yeah, but he's he's got no shot there. He'll have to just right. sort of punch something out. First Spieth. Second shot here. He's trying to advance it down this fairway. A three-shot hole. Find the yardage he's comfortable with. Try and place the ball there. Make his birdie with the wedge. Up on the green, this is Hovland for par. We saw him in trouble. Long right in three. And just burns the edge with that par putt. So Hovland will drop a shot. I know most of the people around are desperate to watch this man, but uh, plenty of OSU Cowboy fans will be cheering on Victor. Sure. A sawed off shot there for Tiger, left of where he would have expected it. Oof. Lays up into the rough, though it pops back into the fairway. That was almost a very, very unusual shot for Tiger. And because he can't move his body through, he's coming out of the top and trapping a lot, and that's how they'll turn over a bit. Now Zalatoris for a share of the lead. Just gave it too much break, or did he? Not enough speed. Still playing very nicely and well in control of himself. Uh, he's obviously made for the majors because he keeps turning up every time there's one staged. He sure does. Tied eighth in his first PGA. Obviously runner up at his first Masters. Now Shoffley. Second shot at seven. The yeah, creek borders the right edge of the green. And I think we'll see a lot of shots over there today, just protecting. Oh, goodness. He's made nine straight pars dating back to the end of the round yesterday. To five. Smith for birdie. It's the kind you want. Ooh. Ooh. Just slides left. Yeah, that looked good until it missed. Kind of like all of his putts. Your faith in his ability and mine and not misplaced. He's just as good as there is. Now answer. Just one back. You hear a very passionate boomer. And that's a little long. Got a lot of orange and black, a lot of that OU gear as well here. In Tulsa, Andy. And he's forward. looking. He's looking very aggressively underneath these trees, trying to hook it. And gentlemen, this is a heck of a shot. If it gets to that bunker, fine. If not, it's just beautiful. I believe it has. What a play! What a shot! It's amazing. You guys give these guys windows with a good lie. They can do magical things. Now on the green at four, Bubba Watson to try to crawl closer to even par. Yep. And that helps. It sure does. Bubba back to pass one. His old looper, Teddy Scott, who's been on the bag of Scotty Scheffler in this dream run. Might have the weekend off and Bubba might be working. <laughs> As we go back to Jordan Spieth. Third shot at the par five. The skies in the background starting to look a little bit more ominous. It's supposed to hold off, but it does look ominous. Looks closer maybe than it is. doesn't look comfortable. We, we thought when we saw him at Augusta and he missed the cut, he couldn't look further away from where he needs to be. Then he goes and wins the very next week at Harbour Town. He was runner-up in Dallas last week in the Byron Nelson. You think, oh, well, he's one of the favourites here, but he just, again, he looks out of sorts at it happened so quickly. Now Tiger Woods. He's starting to hit some shots now, isn't he? 
This will get him fired up. And you can hear the galleries all waiting to get a glimpse, be able to cheer Tiger. Oh, there's some precipitation there in the not too uh, distant future. That was suggesting five, six o'clock the change was going to happen. Right now it's just gone 3 p.m. local time here. That does not look two hours away. No. And what will that do to the, the nature of the golf course? The changing winds. Often, though, when the front blows through, the winds die down. It gets a little bit easier afterwards. We'll see. Now back to Rory McIlroy. Gee, that was a good shot from through the trees here. It was quite aggressive, wasn't it? He got it all the way down to this front bunker. It was it a punch out? So now he has an opportunity to turn a negative into a positive quite quickly. While we wait, we'll go to six. Terrell Hatton for birdie. Green ahead. A good cheer if he makes it. It's a lovely vibe around here. It stretches all around this back corner of the property. Terrell now in red figures. Now back to Rory McIlroy as Tiger Woods marks his ball. That birdie putt for Tiger. He had a couple of birdies in his first five holes. Tiger did yesterday. But then watching. only one from there to mm. right now. We were watching Rory in the bunker in the warm up and he was flipping his hands through the ball to try and get more elevation. Michael Breed was suggesting come down higher and softer. He might not need that here because he's got more room to work with. See how he flips that hand at the bottom. Shot at six behind the green. To clear. Go. <laughs> Sounded a touch heavy and that <clears throat> fairly indifferent. We, we talked earlier about just how it can get congested back here. Give you an idea of who is where. Holland, Zalatoris, and Smith have worked their way to the sixth tee. Spieth, McElroy, and Woods, as you know, are playing five. Hatton, McCarthy, and Holm have worked their way to the seventh tee. Vermeer, Becker, and Harmon in the fairway of two. And now here's Zalatoris, as advertised, on the sixth tee. Elevated T, downwind, eight iron. To 14. Mm. And a very good shot. Yeah, he's just seems so steady and solid here today. And he's so playing far. smart too. He's putting the ball in the proper position. Now the third for Xander Shoffley. Tough shot up a three and a half foot embankment. A lot of green in which to work. He really puts a lot of spin on those little shots, guys. Yeah, had the club open, slide it right underneath. All right, so now Cam Smith, his tee shot at six. Well, yeah, going with the seven iron. And I think that's about as aggressive as, aggressive as you want to be on this one right here. Well, it's just a smart line again. He, he, he inched it a little closer towards the flag up the middle of the green. Answer has this now for par to remain five under. That peels off. Dave mentioned it earlier. Had that incredible 65 last year on Sunday. And we see that often. Start with Rory, frankly, at Augusta. You go from nowhere to in the middle of it have a, with a great Sunday. And he's putting himself in the mix here much earlier to 17. Chris Kirk, still no bogeys, and now the birdie. He's to three under par. In the middle of that round last year at Kiowa, I, I thought Abraham Answer was going even lower than that. I mean, he was just on fire. Had to settle for 65, huh? <laughs> All right, Spieth trying to make up for a poor third. Yeah, really slow going up the hill. 
Just hard to hit it as hard as you need to. That'll be a five. To seven. This Xander for par. Seven feet, a little bit from the right. Slightly up the hill. Uh, great save. And he will remain four back. Now Rory for birdie. Yeah, much longer than he wanted. And this one's going to be slow. He can give this a wrap, too. Oh, it took a hop. So I take a little bounce there. Seem to send it offline a bit. Now Tiger. Taking notice. a look, go look at first first birdie of the day, Andy. Sorry. Well, and you know, you notice if we've seen him turn a line up putts, he can't get down, and you've you've squatted and read putts for your entire life. Now you're reading it from another angle. It's hard to read them. This would be a big one. Get something going positive. Yeah. Step in the right direction. Birdie four for Tiger. At the par five fifth. Just an ideal start to his second round fighting to play this weekend. But as we talked about mm -hmm. much earlier, this it, line was at three, but un, undoubtedly would back up. And Spieth first to tap in for his five. Rory will follow suit. Now Rory McElroy for his par. A rare hole will all three players in this group had some something to smile about to some degree. Maybe Rory a little less, McElroy at least. A couple shots back is Rory McElroy. Zala Torres just continues where he left off yesterday. Justin Thomas watching interestingly as this second round continues here in Tulsa. Out of the 11th PGA professional Casey Pines third shot. A team of 20 most of them at least potentially all of them. Nearing the end of their. Competitive time here. At the PGA championship. Yeah, we had a couple make the weekend last year but it's looking unlikely this year. It certainly is Kevin Streelman now for par at number 16. Low all the way on that one. You don't want to short side yourself here. At Southern Hills, it's the bad miss. Almost next to no chance of getting it up and down. Pine will have that putt back at 11. It's going to be a drop shot here for Strills. Squares on that scorecard early in his round. But only one over. And if he can just keep within himself, he should make the weekend. Now Munoz for birdie at 12, right on the cut line. There you go. That'll help, no question. Still very early in his round. Again, we've got weather moving in. He shot two 60s this year, Sebastian Munoz. Unreal. PJ professional Nick Ishi here at number 17. He's playing his third, so he must have hit it into the creek there and taken a drop. PGA assistant professional down at Preston Trail. Lee Trevino's a member there. Lanny Watkins a member as well. Down in Dallas, Texas. Speaking of Texas, a Texan, Ryan Palmer for birdie at 10. Mm. Straight shove. He's made some of these in the past. Yeah, yesterday. Zella Torres for share of the lead, never online. 
You can't keep asking for those <laughs> bombs can. to drop, mind you. And now, Cam Smith for Birdie to pull within two. Missed the opportunity at the last. Can he get this one? Just stays out for Cam Smith and gives it that stare. You get the sense that he's ready to just ignite. He's so close to dropping a couple and moving right up there. How about the year he's had? Mm. Just the amount of money he's won. Well, he won the richest purse in golf, the players, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Three and a half million US dollars, close to five million Australian. Game changer. Now, Tiger Woods on the tee at six. Been a while since he's had the honor. 214 yards downhill slightly. Should be a six iron for Tiger. Good looking line. Beautiful. Look at that. Distance control is perfect. When he hits his irons like that, he hit 10 of 14 fairways yesterday and only 7 of 18 greens. It's so unusual for Tiger not Very to strike unusual. his irons that well. Even with these greens that tend to repel the balls away, still higher. Tiger Wood, you figure, with an iron in his hand in the fairway. Find the green at a greater pace than that is. A little smile there by Tiger for Joey LaCarver, his caddy. Dead downwind. Shape one in there. Good work. And now Rory McElroy. It'll be filthy not to take advantage of the par uh, five fifth. But as high as he hits his irons, he can get this to land nice and soft. Turned it over though, trying to rip a seven iron. Did land soft, but like I said, turned it over. Going right to left, and a long birdie putt. So three finding the green here at number six. In this starting time, Tiger Woods, one under on his round. As we go to seven. This is Will Zalatoris on the tee. Well, it looked like it. I couldn't tell if it got out in the fairway or not. I don't believe it did. 13. Tom Hoagie for birdie. He could use one. He gets one. That is a definite birdie hole today. Two bogeys, now a birdie, back to three under and to the seventh. Say it's a tough tee shot because it's dog leg from right to left, slopes from left to right. Awkward. Well, there's nothing awkward about this one, Curtis. This is right down the center. Actually, it's the second time he's seen the seventh fairway today. <laughs> Perfectly placed. 100 yards added to this hole since 2007. 17. Mito Pereira chipping from off the green. Really nice. Over at 15, Stuart Sink to get to minus two. Wow, that looked like it was to a right oh. hole and oh, sideways at the end. Nevertheless, he one under for the day, two total. Solid play. The 43 year old to eight. Xander Shoffley behind the hole at eight for Birdie. John, this is a good shot to get there. Yeah, very good. Just a little slow going back up to the hole there. 
The eighth hole is 25 yards less today than it was yesterday, and it's still playing as the toughest of the four par threes, and none of them are easy. Let's go back to 15. Now after a perfectly placed tee shot, answer second at the 15th. Flag stick back left, flying it right at it. Okay. We'll have a good look. Be just off the edge. Good shot, though. Dead aim. Back to six. Three of the game's biggest stars, all three on the green with long birdie putts. Shoffley made that par, by the way. Well, Rory would be first to go here, and Tiger Woods will be paying very close attention to how his, his ball finishes the last 15 or 20 feet of this putt. He's on very much the same line. And Andy, I that Tiger's long putting today has been beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. He's, he's been spot on with the speed. Let's see if Rory can hit a good putt here. He's coming down off of a little bit of a soft shelf. The hole's cut kind of in the lower part of this green. Maybe the easiest hole location on this green today. Takes a lot of the trouble out of play. Not a bad putt from that distance. Yeah, he's just looking to I'm sure he doesn't have any pressure on the par putt. At the 14th, Gary Higo. Yeah, so he won three times in Europe uh, in the month of March. And it got him a start in that PGA event. It was held uh, the Palmetto Championship down at Congaree. It was supposed to be the RBC Canadian Open. And he got a start and he turned it into a win and it's changed his life. Now inside the top 100 in the world and playing full time on the PGA Tour. Really good putter, good competitor. Now Jordan's going to be able to give Tiger a bit of a read here. If not the line, certainly the pace. Just ran out of steam. Fifth. Third for Bubba Watson. What a shot. That's impressive. We yeah. talk about hands. Talk the about hands are incredible. It's just a joke. The imagination, yeah. the guts to try it, yeah. and then the ability to pull it off. It's a hell of a combination. Well, let's see if Tiger Woods can give all these golf fans in Oklahoma a thrill here. And there are definitely a lot of them down here in this end of the golf course. If we're to go in, it will be a cheer like you haven't heard for a while. I'd like to hear it. Well, he's gotten two good looks at the speed. One really good look at the line. Not be surprising to see this one go in. And, whoa, it just stayed out. Oh, man. Just dove left at the end. Cam Smith's kind of ducked by on that same side. The one hand finish. A little quieter than it would have been. With just a couple inches difference. <laughs> he had a really good putt. All three make par at the sixth. And they don't have long to go to get to the tee at seven. 
it's right there. Ahead at the seventh. Zalatoris left rough. Got to be careful with this, Curtis. Whole location over there and this working left. Well, uh, Billy was said, if you don't drive it well there, you have to protect from the right creek, which is mm. just off the right putting surface. Yeah, there you 100%. see it. 14. Tom Hoagie on the tee at 14. Six bunkers surround this green. That's dead center. Fantastic <laughs> shot from Hoagie. Can't expect to see much better than that. I wouldn't think so. To seven. Second for Cam Smith. Just Perfect tee shot here, 169. Win pretty strong out of the player's right. Easy. That's that's quality line, but it's okay now. Right. Very aggressive play. Quality shot though. Kept it underneath yeah. the hole. Got a little away from him to the right. It's a bit of a formality, but Watson, three birdies and four holes, gets him to even in this championship. Seven. On the tee, Tiger. Wind straight right to left, Curtis, and it's still blowing pretty hard. He's cutting it up into it, it looks like to me. Should be good. 300 yards to the top of the slope there. Carried it about 290. Trundling over, perfectly placed. Now back over at 15. Abraham answer for birdie, just over the back edge. When he's not playing golf, he's a bit of an entrepreneur. Part ownership and a tequila, tequila brand. You think I've been drinking it? <laughs> Fletcher <Zool. laughs> That's exactly what I was A thinking. clothing brand, Black Quail Apparel, so it keeps him busy. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy's not drinking because he's driving it down the middle of the fairway. Come on out. No nope. missing. Tough tee shot here. Tough bunker shot here to the seventh. Yes, can't go long. No, doesn't have the wind into his face. That is very well done. So it's Alatoris again with putter in hand. So we go to Rory McIlroy on the tee at seven. Not surprising, he's going less with driver. He's got too much power here to take. Out the big stick. That's ideal. So the tee's been pushed back 50 yards, the green's been pushed up 50 yards, so it's added an extra 100 yards of length. But the most important change is moving the green closer to the creek. As we go to the sixth, back one hole, Bubba Watson on the tee. And making a move. He's already a couple under in his second round. It's not going to be straight with Bubba. And he just got it over that bunker. That's a big difference. At the 15th, meanwhile. We'll make it there eventually. <laughs> Justin Thomas at six under par back to back 67s for JT looking for his second PGA championship. Will Zalatoris playing so well. Roy McIlroy still trying to get his second round going. Here's Cam Smith Curtis just left it in an ideal position directly below the hole. Yeah. Just a little outside 20 feet Curtis. He's had a lot of good putts so far. One birdie at the opening hole. You know the green speeds are 11 and a half to 12 uphill with all the slope 
they're quite slow downhill with the slope quite fast now back over at 15 answer for par. All right. Solid play. Minus four for the young man finished eighth last year so he knows what the PGA is like. Second here on nine for Xander Schauffele. Trying to turn it over. Pretty good shot here. Come back down the slope. The fear of going long on some of these greens really, really gets into a player's head. Uphill, into the, uphill into the wind. Especially the uphill into the wind. Trying to gauge it correctly. To seven. Victor Hovland. Not a long putt, but not an easy putt either. No, a little downhill, Curtis, but probably two. He was in the same bunker that Zal Latouris was in, and, and uh, probably two of the better bunker shots you'll see from that bunker. Interesting. He has three PGA Tour wins, but none of them in the continental <laughs> U.S. <laughs> Puerto Rico and twice in Mayacoba, Mexico. He's doing some nice work right now because he's missing a few grains, which is unlike him. Yeah, but that's that's part of it. You have to fight. There are stretches where you're just not going to quite have it going. After a beautiful approach, Hoagie. Played some great golf earlier this year on tour. Got a win at Pebble, his third PGA championship, and playing his best golf in this championship four under par. Now back over seven Wills Alatoris the young man who's come on the scene so so quickly in the last two years. Second last year in the Masters. A lot of talk about it this distance. Well you know he works at it very very hard. Yeah. Keep your speed up. Really good iron player and right now putting nicely. That looked good. Back and through with a nice rhythm tempo. Back one to six. Nice. Justin Rose, two over par. Don't want to sneak too far over to the right there. Yes, he finds himself on the green. What a great shot that was. Uh, we've just seen two of the marquee groups come through, and that's the pick of the litter. And now Tiger, after a long awaited birdie. Almost no wind as you spoke of, and this dead calm moment before the change happens. So try and take advantage here with a couple of really good shots. He's made birdie at five, all but made birdie at six. Stuff. Look at his gesturing. Just didn't come out the way he wanted. See the smoke that's drifting across there? There's the barbecue that's being cooked. It's a very tough part of the course to stand <laughs> without being hungry. How about Patrick Reed? One over on his round at the sixth. This is right at it, too. Gotta get left a little. Oh, and it does, at right at it. Brilliant shots. When Patrick Reed is shaping his shots like that, that's when he plays his best. Oh, that's a big miss for Rory. That's going to be a difficult putt. He's lost the feels, hasn't he? He was, he was striping it and hitting it close yesterday, making putts today. He's just wayward on approach. We saw it at uh, four when he hit that short wedge well long. Again, that's been the problem for him. He struggled with the wedge. It's put, put problems with his putting. Just one over and on his round as we go to Shoffley for birdie at nine. Mm. Left the putter cover on. Wow. You don't see them come up that far short very often. Not Sandra Shoffley.
Spieth ready to go with the seventh, his second shot. Trying to land it short and bound it up. Yeah, that was the play. That was the play. Oh. So close. Some sun shining, but we see some rainfall in the distance, clouds gathering here outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma. We are in Tulsa for the 104th PGA Championship at Southern Hills Country Club, where Justin Thomas has gone back to back with 67s and leads by a shot over Will Zalatoris. Let's go to the 16th, Jason Duffner, past champion for par. This will be at Oak Hill next year. Looking forward to seeing the recently restored Oak Hill gym. It is certainly a gem. Tough day for Jace Duffner. Four consecutive bogeys, as you saw now at the 14th. Siwoo Kim for his par. It's been the speed of the greens. It's really impacted the players. Hard to build any momentum on the surfaces. It really is. Couple of birdies, couple of bogeys in his last four holes. Siwoo Kim has either missed the cut or withdrawn from PGA Championship, except from the one year that he made the cut, tied for 13th. Burmester now for par at 18. Well, Siwoo is quite enigmatic, isn't he? When he's on, he's awesome. When he's off, he's horrific. He is. How about this scorecard, though, here for Dean? Started par par and then just made fives the whole way home and these plus five. Nice run yesterday of 69, but given all of that back as we got a Sean Norris for par at 16. From one South African to the next. <laughs> and Michael Breed was saying on our pregame show that if you're not a comfortable putter, typically these surfaces will make putters become better like Rory, like Zalatoris. People aren't as confident because they can be a little bit more aggressive with their stroke. Mm -hmm. Alex Noren now three over, second shot at number 12. Ooh. That caught the lip, didn't it? Looks like it did. Gosh. Thinned it into the lip. Now he's got more work to do. Fish eye lens look. From the clubhouse. It's the T to the left. Uh, first T, 10th T, then you've got the ninth green, 18th green. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It sure does. But those clouds look anything but cool. Mm. Threatening. Long range birdie putt for Bubba Watson at number six. And here's another player who typically um, slick green struggles. Without here getting a little bit more comfortable. It's good to see. Let's move forward to seven. We're Jordan Spieth. Third shot coming out of the bunker here. He is 0 for 3 so far this week in sand saves. Nice shot. He chips the ball as well as anybody in the game today. To six. Here's the birdie putt, Justin Rose, Patrick Reed inside this. So two great birdie chances in this group. Rose converts the first of them. Double at two, but back-to-back -back birdies now for Justin. Tiger. Al from just off the edge of the green. See how the master chipper does it. Just like that, Curtis. Nearly perfectly. <laughs> To nine. Xander for par. Bit of an unforced error there. I heard him say, I played a left edge, left it out there, and so all pars up until then drops the shot. One under. To six. Well, you figure this one's going down, Patrick Reed. Indeed, it is. 
he's now one under par. Bogey start, birdie gets him back to one under. Now Roy from back left on the seventh green. Pretty big breaker from left to right, Curtis. And from here downhill. Maybe protecting a little bit too much, but he'll have plenty left to save his par. Let's go up to 16. And Abraham Answer has this left for par as 16, 521 yards. The par four that runs parallel with the 13th. So playing downwind, but still very difficult. And that will be a bogey for answer that will drop him three shots behind Justin Thomas. Now back over seven. There you see the grandstands, the people. There are a lot of people out here this week. Couldn't wait to see the best in the game. Just a little downhill from the right. Well, he's he's spectacular from that distance. It's looking pretty solid for Jordan. He's he's got a decent round going today. Just hanging in there, hanging tough. That's the way he plays, David. It uh -huh. doesn't bother him to miss greens. Well, it wouldn't really bother me either with that short game. <laughs> Date. Now, uh, Will Zalatoris long. At the eighth. Well, that's pretty well done right there. On Wednesday, that wouldn't have been possible. Somewhere back there, Tom Hoagie at 15. Yeah, from the right edge, up over the edge of the trees. That'll get it done. You know, it looked probably looked a whole lot worse than it really was. He had a wonderful angle from the right to the back left. Now Roy over at seven. This for par. It's kind of wiggled hard left, a foot yeah, off the putter. I think he pulled it a little bit too, but as precise as Rory was yesterday, he's that little bit off today, and that's what major championship golf exposes. Magnifies any little mistake. You're going to have these stretches. Got to fight through them. Tate. Back up to the green here at eight, and Victor Hovland long range for birdie. And that had to be hit right on the bottom of the putter right there. That's that's going to come up four and a half feet short. That's a complete power outage for Victor Hovland, who is at even par, playing alongside Zalatoris and Cam Smith, who are both inside the top ten right now. And Billy, they have shortened up, as we've said, this eighth hole. It was playing 249 yards yesterday. They moved these guys 25 yards closer, mm -hmm. and still only 40% of the field has been able to hit this green today. Well, with the strength of the win, I, all three of these players hit four. As Alatoris probably hit flag high and then released over the green. It just takes a, you know, Almost perfect shot to hold this green. And you can see Cam Smith got things started yesterday with a bit of a roller coaster ride, but started to hit better shots. The putter is always there for Cameron Smith, and well, he's got to look here. You ever get that feeling? No. <laughs> but Billy, isn't that what we want in major championship golf? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. you the want, demand of, of, of precision and excellence. You want shot value and shot quality. Precisely. So that should be an easy par for Smith at eight. Let's go to ten. Hideki Matsuyama second. 131 uphill into the wind.
that will give him a good look for birdie. Yeah, it doesn't. Just keep feeling like there's going to be a nine hole stretch where he's going to put something together and, yeah. and, and join the party. Well, he's that kind of player. He's that caliber of a ball striker. And if he can get a few putts to go down. Speaking of which, to eight. And Billy, this is a big one for Victor Hoblin. He's, he's been okay to this point. No reason not to make this one. Zalatoris has been terrific from this range and really from any range with the putter as Tiger waits back on the tee. Yeah, I, I think when you look at putters and, and you look at a transition with the stroke, I mean, that's pretty solid right there. I mean, back and through, nothing hurried. Now at 15, Tom Hoagie for birdie. This to get within one of Justin Thomas. It's been quite an impressive comeback from his opening few holes. A little bit flustered, made a few bogeys, now buries the last three holes he's played. And here's Cam Smith to clean up at eight. All threes for this group at the eighth hole. And that is pretty good work. I'm going to get one of those putters. It might help. I don't know if it'll <laughs> help you. I like it. Get some, te some tequila, too. That tequila might help, too. Help you know what? That will help. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Andy, back to the tee here with Tiger at the eighth. Yeah, the group in front all with four irons. Tiger's going to go with three. I suspect he's going to try to take it in the middle of the green and just hold it up against the wind, not get it riding the wind. This has got to get down. This was just nuked. That's way over. Yeah, that flew the green. Stay here for Jordan Spieth. Yeah, I feel like that five's in the arrow is part of the green. I know it plays for Well, that's where I'm trying to hit it anyways. Yeah. I just feel like it goes. All the computations and conversations are done between Michael Greller, Jordan Spieth. Just hit it 30 feet right. He will draw into the breeze. Should be ideal. Just felt uncomfortable, obviously. It started on a decent line, just didn't have the direction it needed to. Nah, it's, looks like that's come out of the heel of the oh, yeah. club. Handoff is not good. Only four birdies here today. Well, it's a good indicator for everyone watching at home. They're like, ah, just couldn't find the green. These are the best players in the world, and the proximity of the hole is 50 feet. It is. Shows how tough this hole is, how tough this game is. Not just the 224 yards of this hole, but the green also. Does not allow the ball to sit very easily. Moves it away from the hole location as Rory McIlroy's tee shot's on the way. And he's not within 50. He's hit it through the wind. He hit it too good. So McElroy now three back of Justin Thomas. Two players within a shot of the lead. Will Zalatoris and Tom Hoagie with that very recent birdie. Mito Pereira just two shots back.
good in the ninth. Terrell Hatton, his second. He's a long way up, isn't he? He really is. Oh. So close. And at the 17th, Padre Harrington, second. And Paddy's in the field this week by virtue of his dive for fourth last year at Kiowa Island. Got him a start back in the Masters as well. It was one of those, a bit like Phil Mickelson. Where did that come from, performances? Mm -hmm. At the 18th, this is Sean Norris for birdie. Get back to level par as well. This would be big. Couple of bogeys in the middle of this nine. As we go to the 16th, Richard Bland for his birdie. And needs them. Needs cut, a few. Cut line currently plus four. There's 81 players inside the cut line at the moment. Uh, that's going to put more pressure on him. Got a bunch of holes remaining, but still needs some birdies. Discussed it not look. I mean, it's highly unlikely that it goes to five. It could go to five. Highly unlikely though. So it looks like four will be the number as Finau gets ready to hit tee shot here at number 11. Yeah, a nice round yesterday. One under 69. Isn't really kicked on after that victory, Liberty National last year. Really thought he would after that and the Ryder Cup, but it's been a off colour here for Tony. That'll help. Not just that, there are so many players with tremendous skill early in their career, just winning tournaments, majors, etc. as Terrell Hatton. Just off the green at number nine, this for Birdie, his third shot. Stretch. Oh, didn't think he was going to get there when he left the blade. And for a while, I thought it would end up on the right hand side, now it slides behind the left. Difficult when it's going that slowly. Now, Kevin Streelman, first part 18. that don't get reflected upon at the end of a round because it's just a bar, but it's mm -hmm. an important one to say the least. I know his remaining couple shots between him and the cut. Now Hago for par 16. And he's lost a couple of shots since we last saw him, so coming unstuck a little bit for the South African. That club goes awry for him. He's got little left to fall back onto. Obviously, a world class player, but the putting is his main key. He doubled 15. As we go to Spieth at eight, his second. Ooh. Got a grab. Look at that. Not bad. Phenomenal bunker shot at seven. Got that up and down. It looks like he's going to do the same here at eight. Hang tough is the Texan. Tiger is toweled off. Look at how wide open that club face is. And, and I wonder if he's had to drop it there because the obviously the grandstands, he would have got relief if uh, that would interfere with his swing. It was either a perfect spot that he finished or he dropped it there. Because that's about as close as you can be without getting relief. Control the spin here. Try and get it as high as he can. Get it released into the hold of oh, and he's opened up that 60 degree lob wedge. It's a very tricky shot. Anything can happen here. Lucky Tiger! And that will not make the green. A moment ago, there was a roar at seven. Here we are, Justin Rose. Flopping it up in the air. Bottom. A lot of ways to do it. And he has birdied two of his last three. It's not back, back to eight. 
Back to the green at eight here in Andy. We've got Rory. Little mini explosion, beautifully done. That's how you play it out of this deep Bermuda. Check in at six. Yeah, on the tee, Sam Burns. He's all the way up to number 13 in the world golf rankings. Sam has won multiple times this year, and he's climbing the leaderboard today. That's a good shot at the sixth. Two under par for his round, one under par for the PGA Championship in the fairway at 17. Abraham answer. Let's see if he can steady himself a little bit after a few bogeys. Just wedge in hand, staring it down. Got a good bounce. That's good birdie range for answer. Cam Smith now second on nine. Well, not much yardage, but oh what a shot from the crosswalk. <laughs> <laughs> Even have the guts to try that shot because you're Cam Smith. <laughs> this generation is fearless. Well, they all grew up watching this guy. To eight. And this is. Dry up only a couple of inches left of the hole. Terrific effort from Tiger Woods, but that will be a tap in bogey at eight. Davis Riley. He's playing with Sam Burns at the sixth. Going along quite well. A couple under par. Very well executed. Yeah. He has played really well. He did just bogey the par five fifth. That's Alatora's similar situation, but a different angle. Yep, more towards the 18th fairway, but nice job. Well. Yeah, a little more sensible. He'll have a look. Try to match the birdie he made to close his round on Thursday. Time for the lead to eight. Jordan Speeth for par. Solid. That's a great up and down from that right hand bunker. Here's the birdie try for Abe Answer. After back to back bogeys. Really shouldn't be much in this, maybe ever so slightly to the right. Good call. Three birdies, two bogeys. It's only been eight holes for Abraham Answer. Mito for birdie on one. Just runs out of pace. But he remains two under in his round, four under in this PGA Championship, just a couple back of the lead. Back to eight. And Rory McElroy makes a par. And he will head to the ninth. Two over through his first eight. Now three behind Justin Thomas. And we go back up to the green at nine. Where Zalatoris is taking a look at this. Yesterday, Billy, he made four putts of 20 or more. This is <laughs> this is one that he'd love to get because so far today as he plays his night the longest putt he's made seven feet. What do you like on this one. Well you have a little bit of a shoulder coming off the bunker on the left but um, I still think it's going to move to his left as it goes up the hill. He steps in and fires quickly. It'll be a two putt. I don't know if those can some sort of disagreement about the line but he gave a look and said straight Rory with the driver in hand. Just ready to blast off. 
bunkers in the right probably don't even come into play for him. Nope. He doesn't even see them. The wind has really died down. It's gotten more humid and the wind is starting to die down. See where we find that. To six. Davis Riley, birdie putt. We've seen some players get this one close. That counts as close. Riley will tap in for his par three. Back to Tiger. Very little breeze right now. He's leaning a little bit to the right. He'll be in that same spot where we just saw Cam Smith. And rolls out a Taurus. We showed you on one. He did make his par to stay at four under. Smith with this to join him at four under, tied for fourth and two off the lead. I think maybe off center left, only because of Salvatore's. His putt went a little actually in the opposite direction, I yeah, thought. Being influenced by that bunker, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But really just straight forward, knock it in. Yeah, just kind of wasting daylight with that ninth putt for him. <laughs> He's played 27 holes. He's got nine birdies. That's tied for the most in the field. To six. Sam Burns, his birdie try. He wants to keep climbing that leaderboard. Man, that wasn't close. Very, very talented young player. At 16. Issues for Hoagie. That is his fourth shot from short and right at number 16. So he's trying to get up and down for bogey just to stay within two of Justin Thomas's lead. The wind has been a major factor. Round two here at the PGA Championship. At the 17th, this is Kramer Hickok for birdie. Love to take advantage. Firm up the hill. And those happy days for Kramer Hickok. See how much that bobbled on the way up? The grain in the greens are really wreaking havoc. Got to give them a firm hit. They certainly are. We've got 18, Padre Harrington. Got to be in the Hall of Fame on the next boat, no? Yeah, it's only a matter of time, isn't it? Still making a man with three major championships. All the other things he's done in the game wait. Does not seem Hall of Fame like. Gary Woodland on the tee at six. Again, a very congested part of the golf course. Gary, even on his championship. And feeling. The vibes that took him to that US Open title 2019. It's taken him so long to be healthy again and get the confidence back in his game. Hope he hits a nice one here. Right where Tiger hit it. Good chance. Very good chance. Let's take a look at this par three sixth. This plays slightly downhill, uh, around 215 yards. That creek that meanders right through the property. More a visual aspect than a chance to rinse your ball, although we did see that young Korean hit it in there yesterday. Uh, firm in front of the green yesterday, but players were bouncing the ball on today. They're able to fly it onto the surface. And the seventh tee is literally just behind it. As we go back to the tee. Lee Westwood. Playing with Hickok. Lee getting a little out 
of sorts. And that pond or water we mentioned comes into play. Unexpected error from Lee Westwood, a noted ball striker, but he's struggled somewhat of late. He goes forward on 17. Here's his second shot. I know you were desperate to see him. I was. See how this fares. the gun. Mm -hmm. That's more like it. Good shot there. A lot of these South Africans are so desperate to play their way under Trevor Immelman's team, but it seems at the time that they need to step up, they're faltering. Now Patrick Reed at the eighth, his second shot at this par three. Well done as it rolls out. Well, he made the birdie at the other par three on the front side at six, hit that gorgeous tee shot to about five feet. He'll have a chance to stay where he started the day, one under par. And right in the mix. At the fourth, John Daly. This for par, he was at one point one over after birdie at 11 today. He misses that par. Wow. Colorful guy, and for all of the eccentricities that he's had throughout the years, he's really only ever hurt himself with anything he's ever done. Now McElroy. Trying to manufacture something. That's pretty impressive. Shot, really. Through that gap, very little margin for error. And holding the green. Hasn't had his best stuff today, but he's hanging tough. Sam Burns at six for par to stay in red numbers. Mm. Did not expect that. Uh, he's one of those nothing fancy player, but does everything very well. Oh, Hoagie with a missed putt as well. Hoagie with the double bogey. Mm. That'll put an end to that birdie streak, jarring halt to the streak. Back at the ninth, Tiger Woods, second shot. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, we, uh, we saw Cam Smith hit the flag stick on that shot. Tiger, 15 feet right, beautiful. And I thought Rory's shot was great. Let's go forward one hole to Guillermo Pereira Hinke, better known as Mito. Are both in contention here at Southern Hills. Second hole's been playing very tough. That's an excellent approach shot. Two of them in that group. Now speed from the fairway. Now this is sort of normal. 69 yards. Just one big skid he's hoping for to get up on top of that ridge. He loves that club. Just like that. Just like he planned it. Just in the last, what, 45 minutes or so, we're seeing the golf balls get closer to the hole as the wind is dying down. This is the first tee ball that we've seen since I've been sitting here, David, with you on 18. Gets a great look at this challenge. Yeah, they that moved the tee up today a little bit. Well done from Answer. Creek can come into play. It goes rolling down the hill, and that is perfectly done. And now. Matt Kuchar looking for birdie on 18. On a great line. He knew it. <laughs> Walks that in and Kuchar's been playing well in the last month. He's two under to eight. A chance for Justin Rose. A rare birdie. This would be at the eighth. It's like picking up a stroke and a half on the field. A two at number eight. Yeah, Rory's putt was on the way on nine. There's a little housekeeping there, Andy, trying to determine who is away, and it looks like it will be. I think Spieth, you're, Andy, you tell me. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. Nor do I. We're going to find out. Someone's going to find it here in a second. And they're waiting for Padre Carrington over at the 18th hole where he just putted a 20 foot or 20 feet by. So it could be a while.
There you see Michael Greller. This has become a pretty popular technique. <coughs> Caddies and players trying to feel the undulation between their feet. Trying right. to get his, you know, they got numbers. I was asking about it during the practice rounds. I don't understand. I, I don't. You don't either? I mean, no. That's the, well, that's not any way I grew up re reading greens. Um, <clears throat> it's become a bit easier for the players and caddies to do it with the rules changes. But uh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Sounded like the old guy. Uh, you know, we <laughs> getting there quickly. I was gonna say, <laughs> man, <laughs> stick around long enough, you become that, right? <laughs> anyway, Andy, as we, it's going to be Jordan now, obviously, right? Harrington has finished three putting 18, so now it's Jordan's turn. A little bit down the hill, should drift off to the right. When he's got it cooking, these are the kind he typically pours in, but that slides past. Jalator is second on 10, having to try to punch it up there. And Oh, oh boy, it's just hit a going rake. all over the place. <clears throat> Face of the bunker. Back to Spieth will finish up. <laughs> Cam Smith, his second to ten. 54 yards. Location right in the center of the green. This starts left, though. He doesn't like it at all, and that's why. And then he shouldn't. This is going to be a lot of trouble now. Going to go some 30, 35 yards off the green. Won't stop till it hits that. Then pot luck on the yeah. lie. I tell you, fellas, it's amazing. You, I just turned around and looked at that American flag that's been starched all day, and it is just hanging limp. The wind is done. Incredible, considering the way it's blown all day. To two. Pereira pours in a birdie. Mito Pereira is one shot out of the lead. Yeah, currently the best round on the course this afternoon. Woods now for birdie. Early walk. So two good looks for Woods and Spieth. Neither able to cash it in. And that cut line currently sits at f plus four. I think it's more the number of players that make the cut at four. It's not going to go either way at Correct. this point, with, especially with the conditions. So three pars for this group as they head to ten. <laughs> Walked their way up the hill. They head to their back nine. Andy, you're out there. I mean, how, how, how noticeable is it that it, and it just feels like in the last few minutes, right? That this in sort of last, it, it, it's kind of switched around on the eighth green, and okay. then it's just absolutely has died, and it has gotten so humid. It's unbelievable. So with this front is coming in here, but it's dead calm right now. Hey, David, you've been that guy that goes out early like Justin Thomas did. You're sitting there watching, relaxing, and you're seeing that the wind dies and just one to ten. How 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 do you run it? <laughs> you understand it's a part of the game, but I'm thinking to yourself, you've got to be kidding me. Well. Here's the good news, Justin. You shot 67 67, and you know you're squarely in the mix, just a matter of what group you go off in late yes. on Saturday. Here's answer second on 18. Perfect drive. Club twirl, and that's why. Right at it. Beautiful shot. Yeah. He's looking quite comfortable, isn't he? That he is. Just two off the lead. Ooh, this is tough. 
Zalatoris' awkward stance. Very. Green going away. Wow. Routine. He, yeah, he's probably hit two of the best bunker shots I've seen in these first two rounds. That's spectacular. Kuchar now, his third. That's beautiful. That's got a chance, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> Nicely done after getting a little wayward and after your birdie on 18. That's perfect. So McElroy first to play here on 10. Actually, second, uh, Scotty. Beg your pardon. Jordan just went ahead and hit it. He's literally one inch from the end of the fairway. Absolutely perfect. Without the wind blowing, you've got to be careful. Maybe hit it through the fairway right now. Look from our Rolex top tracer. Fairway is enormous. You're Rory's in perfect position. Yeah, you're, you're, you're almost certain to hit the fairway. It's just a matter of your angle and how far down there you get. So Tiger last up. Yeah, this is this is where the morning waves just like they're they're got to be kidding me. <laughs> All the wind speeds had twos and threes in front of them. Very different weather weekend. Tiger Woods trying to play these nine holes to be part of that storyline and conversation, and he finds the fairway here on 10. And just again, a salute to these golf fans here in Oklahoma who have come from all parts of the country to support this championship. They're a passionate bunch. They're a lot of fun to say hello to folks from all over. Great fun out there, folks talking playoffs, both on the ice and in the NBA, <laughs> and you got major championship golf, fun time of year. Now Cam Smith trying to save par. Well, bogey for me up to this point. That second is what cost him, Billy. Yeah, no longer though. Still in really good shape. Yep, though. I would agree. Yeah, especially with how he's playing. It's, it's just been so consistent and very few mistakes, very mi few misfires. All right, 17. Tom Hogan coming off double, flirted with the creek at 17. Instead, had a pretty good look. What, maybe 15 feet short or so. I'll have a birdie chance. Zalatoris here for par and Billy from from that lie from that <laughs> spot in the bunker I mean this this would be a 10 out of 10 wouldn't it pretty close Scotty and uh, what I love about this kid right here is the fact when he got in there and he started trying to fiddle around and trying to get the stance he looked over his caddy he says this is going to be fun how about that emotional <laughs> intelligence uh, I say attitudes the one thing in our life we can control right right and optimism cost the same and it was rewarded there with a beautiful four now rose in the hole justin second shot at number nine justin even on his round and a nice shot there absolutely dead calm justin thomas was playing in 30 mile an hour winds this morning had more difficult conditions yesterday afternoon than this wave found in the morning yesterday. As Hoagie misses his putt, trying to bounce back. Well, based on that, even if Justin Thomas isn't leading going into tomorrow, he's got to be the favorite because he's playing better than anyone else. Sure. Just depends on how everyone handles the changing winds because they're now going to get a north wind, which is the complete opposite to what they've done for the first two days. Taking a look at the Woods group. All three players have found the fairway. Again, Jordan Spieth, as we heard Andy North tell us, is one inch short of that creek. Tiger right in the middle of the fairway. Rory left side of the fairway. All will be able to show off their wedge games. 
trying to think Rory will be first to play. 16, 19, 35. In the center, three, four over yeah, Looks like it'll be Tiger. Drove it further down the hill yesterday. It was his opening hole and knocked a wedge to about three feet. Started with that birdie and you thought, okay, he's dialed in and ended up shooting four over. Remains there after missing an opportunity back at nine. It's currently the cut line too, so this is an important stretch. 10, 11, 12, some opportunities will present itself, even 13, the par five, but after that it gets pretty tough coming in. It sure does, those final five holes. Only one we really have a scoring opportunity being number 17. Yesterday those final five holes were all within the top six most difficult. Sorry four of the five holes were in the top six. Today a little bit different. Not much different though still very difficult. But the one thing in everyone's favor right now on the golf course is they've got no wind. It's just simply hitting golf shots. Two hours from now, what will they be experiencing? Hopefully they're not still out. Well, maybe just finishing up in two hours. The Tiger 136. Second shot here at number 10. Playing more like 140. There we go. Get another look. Forward to the 11th, Zalatoris on the tee. Curtis just right in the flag stick. Oh, wow. Get on that birdie bus. Back to 10. <laughs> <laughs> McElroy would like a seat, Andy. Yeah, he, he spins this a lot. He's got to get it past the hole to the right. It's going to come down left some. Not bad. Not his best. Two decent looks at it. Been just 15 birdies here today. We saw the approach for answer. Looking to make birdie here on 18. As he makes the turn in his round, and that's disappointing. It ran out of pace there. Now speed from the very end of the fairway. 109 yards. I would think this would come in here low off of this lie. But he, he could really spin this one too. He's got to be careful. Sit, sit, sit. This should come back. Yeah. Uh, he's asking for it to sit. He really gave it a firm strike. That's going to hit Tiger's ball. So they'll have to sort out the specifics there. Tiger's rolled about a foot backwards. There it is. Cam Smith. Another one hander from Cam. Yeah, that's two in like four or five holes. Yeah, that was just a driving range nine iron for him, and it's a wild miss. Now short sided. You can see with those approaches on the green there, the tee shots at least, a lot of them. Players are hitting closer to the hole now with just no impact as far as the weather is concerned. Nothing to deal with from that perspective. They can go on out there and play their games. Justin Thomas still leads by a shot. Now to 17. See Will Kim for birdie. a fair bit today. Players just haven't been able to get the speeds right. A little slower than day one. A bit defensive there. At the 18th par putt for Thomas Peters.
tough nine hole stretch shoots. 39 on that nine four over par he's got to watch where he is three over par right now as we go to the eighth Von Tonder for his birdie. Yeah. Trying to get inside the cut line. Dan Von Tonder has had a good run in Europe in the last 12 months. Won on a, an event in his native South Africa. His wife on the bag. Energetic style player. At the 17th, third shot for the ball. Not easy. Chipping into the grain. The gra grass is growing down towards him. Very hard to be confident with a shot like that. Get afraid that grain will grab the club, stick it into the ground, not be able to hit the chip the way you want. Now Y.E. Yang. This for birdie at number five. He's right on the cut line. Ooh, looking to get just a little bit of breathing room. I was hoping he'd give us a Y.E.S. call. <laughs> that was uh, very cool, wasn't it, back in 2009? The only player in the history of the game to chase Tiger down at a major. With a 54-hole lead, that's for sure. Now Ryan Fox for birdie at 17. He's hanging around there. Foxy, he's got uh, what, still 10 holes to go after this one. Just pulls up short. Had that double at 14. Bogey at 15. Birdie at 16. Now par here at 17. Let's go back to 16. This is in a Mori for Birdie. Yes. Inside the cut line going well. Young man from Japan. This be a big birdie to make here at 16. Right, get there. Shot 72 yesterday. One over today so far. A lot of holes left. He could use some room between him and the cut line. Clearly does not want to be on camera. <laughs> there we go. At the 18th, Richard Bland's third. So pretty nicely. Stop shorter than I thought it would. He was one of the players who was very vocal about going to the Live Golf Tour. He said, I've to toiled in this game for 30 plus years. Why wouldn't I try and get a bit of financial freedom for, for my family? Now McElroy to pull within two. You give it enough. Oh, oh he just didn't. Tale of two days. It's golf, isn't it? Yesterday. He looked unflappable. Bombing everything, making everything. But today it's just the opposite. He just can't get anything to go his way. Six birdies yesterday, none today. This man's made as many birdies as anyone in the field. Camp Smith, second at 11. Yeah, nine through 27 holes. Well, he saw it wide open, a lot of speed. I think that was the key, the speed through the strike. That was beautiful. Now Spieth. Very fortunate on the second shot that it hit Tiger's ball. It would have been another 15 or 20 feet away. Exactly. Take advantage of it. Exactly. Right. Just like that. There we go. Those little things, though, the opportunities to take advantage of that can really <coughs> kickstart your round. Got to cash it in. Tiger certainly got a look at the line. He'll putt next. Meanwhile, ahead on 11. Hoblin for birdie down the hill. Get some red numbers if he makes it. It's a good example, Billy. You were talking about this. Let's go back to 10 first. Yep, with Tiger on essentially the same exact line as Spieth. Get there. He's ten for the second straight day, and Woods one closer. 
and one safer in relation to the cut line. So both Spieth and Woods head to 11 T with a bit of momentum. Now let's see if we can get a tie at the top of the leaderboard. For a second birdie of the day, birdie the first and all par since. Not much in it. This is one tough customer, isn't it, Curtis? Well, the word was, well, even when he was at Wake, he was a really good striker. He just struggled with the putter. He's learned how to de develop a, a way with his putter. Look what's happened since. It's over the third hole. Vito Pereira. It's on the Olympic Chile Olympic team years ago. He and Joaquin Neiman were the team. There you see his card. Five under. One back. A solid start to his PGA Championship. Now back to 11. So many holes, hole locations more accessible now with the absolute lack of wind. 178. Jordan's going to hit an eight iron. That's a stone cold shank. What are you doing? Well, so that's unfortunate. unfortunate after that birdie. It's just a no man's land over there. On the tee at 12 now. And this is a completely different hole as well as Billy players all day today were trying to just fight to keep out of the right rough. Yeah. You can take a different line without this win now. You certainly can. Unbelievably easier. And that was hit right on the button. I mean, that was just absolutely slaughtered. Yeah, I would say he took advantage of the improved conditions again there as we go back to Tiger now on the tee at the par three. Smallest screen on the golf course. Tigers right. take eight iron Curtis. I don't know if he can get this all the way to the hole, but it takes over the green out of play. I doubt he's trying to. Unhappy with that one. Just pulled that, flipped it at the bottom. Uh, watch for this. Oh, There's a creek over yeah. there. Goodness. Not a lot of water in that creek, but it is. It just got just inside the, the line. It should be okay. Now the grass is much, much deeper inside the red line. Well, and it could be an incredibly difficult and awkward stance with his right leg. Now, Rory. He's going with nine iron. Shot there at number 11. Certainly better than Tigers. It's a big miss for Tiger Woods, so Rory can stroll comfortably to the green. We're going to 13 and shot play second. Third shot, excuse me, at the par five. Been a little off kilter with these wedges today. That's more like it. Almost hold it twice. Look at that pitch, mark. Three inches left of the cup. They are just getting perfect conditions. Now. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. I think it's this. Stewart Sink. He's kind of three under par. Not long for the Champions Tour, and he's having a red hot run in this PGA. This could be the experienced championship. Those for on the Champions Tour or 48 years old, like. Sink that Justin Rose. Pots are falling. Justin Rose is now under par. It's 33. Yeah, and, and went four birdies in the last five holes, too. Mm -hmm. At the fourth now, Mito Pereira. I don't know why he's just chosen the iron. We saw one of the players hit a big drive up there, have just a wedge in, but there we go. Playing up to a nice number. Typically, it's just all out of tack now in conditions like this. So I'm hoping the 18th, his second shot. Look at this. 
this. Look at this. It's turned into a darts competition. Everyone is taking dead aim. It's not been something you've been able to do throughout the first round and a half here. Now that the conditions have lied down, the weather has lied down, you're able to take aim, but Tiger Woods, bad miss here at number 11. Let's see how bad what his opportunities are and the options. Well, he got a fortunate break, and we'll get to see it in a moment. The ball is inside the hazard line, or penalty area, if you will, but he's got a brutally tough up and down. Let's see if Jordan, his short side himself on the other side, can do something wonderful. Well done. Gee, that takes some courage, doesn't it? It really does. A mere mortal's blading that across the other side. And but there you go. That's Tiger's ball sitting well down. The one thing he's got in his favour, he's got a little bit more green to work with than what Jordan had. And he'll need it. Can't get any spin off of this. Mm. I imagine dumping it in the bunker in front of him is an easier up and down from there than going along the other side. Stairs. There's Needs the danger. There's the danger. Mm. Before people get concerned about grounding a club inside the penalty area, that rule changed last year. But uh, that doesn't matter to Tiger, who's now got work to do to save his four. So as quickly as he built a buffer, Dave, now he's fighting just to stay inside the cut. Tough to stop that bunker shot around the hole, but Tiger Woods is a man who can do it. Xander Schauffele for birdie at number 13 to go to two under. Yeah. Does so. Four shots back for Xander. This is the go zone here at 12. The way he's putting, he has the potential to raise the bar here by a number of shots going into the weekend. And just a reminder, this is the fifth time a PGA has been held here at Southern Hills, and the winner has either had a share of the 36-hole lead every single time. As Tiger's bunker shot comes out, leaving him that bogey putt. Mm. Remember, he shot 62 and a half on that uh, Friday. He did. In 07. Very unlucky. And that putt on 18 not to drop it. That was the difference for him. Now Bubba Watson at 10, second shot. With his second. Right at it. Watson three under on his round. It's tied for the best on the golf course. That to get to four under through 10 holes today and two under in the championship. Now back over 11. Decent chance for Rory to get one back. Currently two over for the day. I agree, Curtis. I think this is one of those you can make. You just kind of throw it out to the right of the hole and judge the right speed. Coming off the shoulder a little bit of that bunker, Andy. Yep, yep, absolutely. That's just going to throw it left. Making this with his ability to drive the ball on 12. He could get it down there. Just a wedge. Good putt, but difficult to throw it out that far from such short distance. It's just a little bit slower as you see there not running out. They did not cut the greens this morning because the forecast of high winds. You just, I sit here and wonder the, the, the pulled eight iron there was it. 
Was it lack of competition, David? Was it right leg? Was it uh, just a lack of execution? Entirely uncharacteristic. Yes. So you, you start there. I would say it, it, you'd have to fall back on two things, the, possibly the leg at this point. He's, he's gone through 10 holes up and down this golf course side hill. And then lack of lack of reps, lack of competition. If he can't push off that back leg, yep, it's going to go to the left. It's going to create some over the tops, isn't it? That's for bogey. And this is really a big putt. Bogey here would be a good save. Well, I just completely take all the wind out of your sails. Plus five at this stage, one above the cut line. But the backside has played easier than the front this week. Now Jordan Spieth. After that marvelous shot from well right of this this green. Curtis, I think he gets more spin on the ball from inside of 20 or 30 yards than anybody around. It's been all world up and down. Oh my. Boy, two costly mistakes on the shortest hole on the golf course. That quickly could change to 12. Earlier, Cam Smith with a little bit of tree trouble from one away to 12. Even I was nervous on this one, buddy. <laughs> I guess he managed to avoid distraction pretty well. Sure does not want to hit that one over. <laughs> he caught a little bit of leaf on the way back and then certainly threw a branch on the way through. But maintain his concentration and probably got the ball to a spot where he could easily get putter on it. That's always an advantage for him wow. as we go to one. The ability to avoid the distraction on the takeaway. That's that's remarkable. a big one. Yep. Remarkable answer for par on one. What a nice save. That had beautiful pace. And he remains four under two off the lead. As you can see later in this this afternoon of the second round with the. Lack of cutting the greens, the ball's kind of dribbling a little bit more. To four. A good look for Pereira, and he converts at four. Well, the wind lays down, and the best players in the world start making birdies, and they're coming after Justin Thomas. We now have a three way tie. And if I'm, if I'm Thomas, I'm chucking the remote of the TV at this point, <laughs> man. I mean, you gotta be joking. Hoagie. Disappointing to not cash in that brilliant second. He's still three under par. He's still right here. Squarely in the conversation. Late Friday afternoon, Southern Hills in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Out to the 17th, second shot for Zach Oakley, PGA professional. It is so meaningful for these club professionals to play in their championship. He's out of the Philadelphia section. As we take a look at the club pro leaderboard, 20 on the team of 20. Matthew Borchert, the only one with a shot. Yeah, yeah, he's still got a genuine shot here with the conditions. He might be able to pull this off. Be a big, big effort if he can. Jesse Mueller won the PGA Professional Championship. He's a 10 over par. We had a couple of them on the show before uh, earlier today. One player qualified for it and spent the next four weeks basically giving lessons the entire time. He said, I only picked up a club on Monday just, just to get ready for this championship. And so it's a mighty effort during tough conditions just to post anything. In. Going against the greatest players in the world, it's your second job, so mm. it's difficult to do. See Will Kim at 18, his second.
not going to be easy. Any player that's missing the target by that fast, just a straight pull. Now Sebastian Munoz for birdie at 17. Such a streaky player we mentioned earlier. If you can shoot a couple of 60s in the same season, in fact, it was only about three months apart. 60. At the 16th, Robert McIntyre's second. It's a tough golf course for Bobby McIntyre. Doesn't hit it a long way, but he's got a crafty short game. He's going to need every bit of it there. Now Gary Woodland for par at eight. Great save. I was thinking back with Bobby McIntyre. He's probably one of the only players in the field that's disappointed the wind's laid down, being from Scotland. <laughs> exactly. Gave him an advantage. Yuki Inamori at 17 for birdie. More positivity to the stroke, but just off target. On the T11, Justin Rose. Something put him off back in the gallery. He's still in his early 40s and just grinding and grinding and grinding on his game. He feels like he wants to continue to be at the elite level of the game. He even had his team put together a bus that had a, a plunge pool, massage table. He's gone to every effort to stay amongst the world's elite. Been there for a long time. Just misses the green. Not that difficult bunker shot. Let's talk about the cut. 79 players. Plus four or better. That means nine players who are out on the golf course would have to finish at five over to move the cut line. Currently, you've got five players at four. You've got another six players at three. Just a moment ago, Cam Smith. Third shot from just over the green. Unable to drop that birdie in. Still nicely positioned. Got a couple of uh, scoreable holes in front of him. Gets in the house at three or better. He's going to be delighted with his first two days' work. Absolutely. Bubba Watson now for birdie at ten. And bubble within four. With that, four birdies in his last seven holes, five birdies on his round today. One drop shot. And now Zalat Torres, this a moment ago for the outright lead. And here we go. He's on a charge. He's got the par five next. He could start to move this lead to a couple clear here. And the confidence in the stroke is there. He is deadly. Now Rory McIlroy at the 12th, his second. Almost hold it here yesterday, but from 82 yards. Yes, He'll be putting from just about the same spot Salatoris just made from. The entire morning and even early afternoon, everyone on this hole fought to keep the ball out of the right rough. But it's a totally different world for these players with the wind laying down now, especially at 12. Yeah, Tiger only 109 yards. And just a beautiful drive right over the bunker. Probably the, the best tee shot he's hit all day. Maybe it had a little bit of extra heat on it after the last hole. Really use a quality shot here, couldn't he? And he take has advantage. to make a birdie here. If he he really does. Here, then with the par five coming up, maybe string a couple of them. Wow, he is just in pain on every shot. Man, that wasn't good at all. Almost the exact same shot he hit off of the 11th tee. Kind of over the top pull, Curtis. 
You know, not so much over the top. I think the body just stops and the hands and arms take over. Just get a little ahead of everything. Abraham answer at the second. He's at four under par. Beautiful hole, long par four, and an excellent shot for answer. Billy, I would imagine Will Zalatoris has got the adrenaline pumping. He's going to let this one fly. And letting it fly, he did, and very, very straight. Perfect with a capital P. Jordan Speed, only 108 at 12. And that will work its way back down the slope to about 12 feet or so. Up ahead at the 13th, the par five for Birdie, Terrell Hatton. Come on. Hatton to two under par. Easiest hole on the golf course today. No win. Will Zalatoris back to back birdies sitting in the middle of the fairway on that par five. Now Zalatoris now one clear of Justin Thomas who played such great golf today through the heavy winds. Mito Pereira also at six under par. Abe answer three shots behind Zalatoris. Rory McIlroy seven birdies yesterday still hasn't made one today. Not yet anyway. Shoffley just made a birdie so did Hatton at 13 to the 11th and Bubba from just over the back of the green going with the putter. Well we've seen every club in the bag just about used from around these greens and Bubba makes a easy birdie with the flat stick. Was it we were talking about yesterday, Curtis? The thing that messes with players the most, the wind, wind. and it's gone. And right, see some balls go in the hole, shots get closer. Hit it. We're going to see some birdies the next couple hours. Unfortunately for Tiger, we've seen some bogeys and a double on the last hole, and he'll have that left for par now to 13. On the smart play here. Look at that. 292 to the hole. You just toss it down there. You put a nice little wedge in your hand. You got a back hole location. Perfect layout. Interesting. Well, just with that lack of breeze and that's gone away, there's just not enough. Of the full yardage of the holes being felt now. Back on the green at 12 and this about 15 feet Andy for Jordan Spieth a birdie look. Yes yeah, coming down the hill. This is the, this is the length when he starts walking them in and you can make a bunch of them. Over the third, other side of the golf course. This is for Bernie. David, like we said, we're going to see some birdies, and that gets cooch. It's just dramatic the change Minus in the weather and also in the quality of golf because the wind is gone. In the slower greens. Yep. Chance for one here for answer, also on that side of the golf course. Let's go back to 12 should be a par for answer and Tiger would sorely love a par here. He has to make this to have I believe a chance to make the cut because with this good weather maybe it gets to th plus three. Still 
alive. Well, the next hole is going to be crucial for Tiger, even though, as David pointed out, the wind is laid down. And it probably isn't as easy as it has been. Still a birdie hole to maybe get back to plus four. That is the longest make for Tiger today. And now Rory with a birdie look. And Andy, the, the longest putt that McElroy has made today, only three and a half feet. Yeah, this one, he needs to get this, get something going. I mean, he still can get under par for this round. Get this one, birdie the next, short 17th. There's still some chances. There you go. Good stroke for McElroy. That was more representative of yesterday's putting stroke. His first birdie of the day, and McElroy back to within three. And that was the hole yesterday, Bob, that started a run of four consecutive birdies. And now he gets a shot at this bar five. And a chance to unleash the driver if there's still maybe a player that's got the length to still go for this green at two without necessarily the wind blowing. It could be him. Zalatoris after laying up, and he laid up to a perfect spot. Beautiful way. Firing away now. Man. Yeah. Perfectly flying high, and now he's got a little right to left putt. What a run he's on. This really is amazing because earlier in the week the thought was that the wind would howl in the afternoon and the thought was if you went late early that was the side of it. If you went late early you got the best of it and now it's a chance to green light. And here's Mito Pereira. His third to the bar five. Even shots like that out of the rough have become exponentially easier to execute without the wind. 13. Third for Cam Smith. Mm. Oh. Right over top. Just a little deep. Just a little bit. Still a great birdie chance for Cam Smith. Three of them on that green. All right, now driver in hand. Here's Rory. Just a smidge of breeze behind him. Not much help, but there's a little. Headed a little right. And that is 15 yards to the right of the fairway. There'll be no chance to reach this in two. But the nice thing, this is one of those holes, you just go ahead and swing as hard as you possibly can. And if you don't hit it in the fairway and get a good run, you lay up anyway. So swing hard, Jordan. <laughs> That's right. Did swing hard, though he missed it right. This was how badly right. Ooh, hits a gallery member, drops straight down. Well, we've already had one player go down today. Aaron Wise got hit by the golf ball of Cam yeah, Smith. Good. On the head, too. This guy doesn't look 100%. No, he does not. But that's the danger, isn't it? You think, OK, par five, just send it. But the moment you get out of that rhythm, that's when the wild ones come. I'm interested to see what Tiger can do here because he looks like he's in a similar position to late yesterday where he just has nothing left in that right leg to be able to do anything. If you can't push off, you've got all kinds of trouble. He's trying to throw his body forward to cover it. And it's all heart now. It worked out for him. Oh my gosh, that's a long way down there. But in a major championship setup, you just can't continually be doing that, throwing your body out of the cover up like, like you mentioned, and have it be successful. Unless you're Tiger Woods, maybe then it can happen. Will Zalatoris has claimed the lead three under on his round. Justin Thomas shot three under. He's finished up with his second consecutive 67. He's the leader in the clubhouse. Looks like Bubba Watson on the move. Five under on his round today. Out at the fifth, long range birdie putt for Chris Kirk. Who at one stage was three under, so he's given up a few shots in benign conditions and doesn't take advantage of the par five. So the poor run for Kirk, who was cruising there for a while. Bogeyed 18, made the turn, bogeyed one, then bogeyed two. 
So again, having a tough stretch, though he's even par. At seven, you see three PGA champions on your left, Y.E. Yang. Straight ahead, you've got John Daly and Sean McKeel now for par at number seven. What a great shot he made. There he hit. 72nd hole. I wonder if, yeah, at Oak Hill, that was mm -hmm. phenomenal, wasn't it? Um, shot of his life at the right time. But I wonder if they just spend all day just talking about their victories and the joy that have brought them because it completely changed these three people's lives. It certainly did. How about the 17th by Kim for birdie? Yeah. And he gets one there. There's, uh, haven't made as many birdies here at 17 as you'd imagine. Only plays 370 yards. That second shot so challenging. Now Ryan Fox for par at 17, 18, excuse me. All right, so he heads to the first. With some scoring opportunities in the next five holes. See if he can get back inside red figures. And the cut line moving closer to plus three than plus five at this point. Lovely scene here. I love this part or a style that the um, Southern Hills has. A couple of greens sit side by side. Rarely do they come into play that the ball's on them from the opposite side. But 9 and 18 are exactly the same. Here we're looking at the 13th green at the bottom of the screen, 16th green to the left. And it's quite a cool feature, isn't it? I love it. Some courses like to be completely private or move from one another. Can't see one fairway from the next. I like when there's some camaraderie, some crossover in a more. Now an 18 second shot. It's a lot of club going up the hill here. A lot of club. And the fact that he's hovering inside the cut line and distance is an issue for him. It's a fair effort. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Just a lovely part of this country. A lot of oil businesses in this area. A lot to do with the Arkansas River, golf, many things here in Tulsa, but the entire state of Oklahoma. Not a bad place to visit if you get the chance. Imagine a place that is home to unlimited potential, where opportunity awaits. Imagine a place innovators and entrepreneurs thrive. And with a little grit and a whole lot of swagger, you can be as big as you want to be. Imagine a place that allows you to explore the world that surrounds you. This is Oklahoma, the hub of America. Imagine that. Imagine that just four hours north of Dallas, Texas, right in the middle of this country. And it's a really good food culture and uh, craft beer culture that's emerged here over the last 10 or so, or so years. Um, been able to partake a little this week. It's been lovely. Just a little? Yeah. All right, Cam Smith for birdie at 13. Does he get to four? Get in there. Nice. Oh. That's a misread right there. Got to be. Well, he hasn't been able to take advantage today like some others with the conditions laying down like this. This man certainly on a run. Mito Pereira for a share of the lead. Yeah. Look at him just charging forward. This is so cool. He got his battlefield promotion off the secondary tour on the main tour. He's got very comfortable very quickly. Obviously a winner by nature. Five birdies, one bogey on his round today. So he's four under today. Now Will Zalatoris. Boy, just reads it, strokes them all so well. And Zalatoris regains the outright lead with his third consecutive birdie. No bogeys on his round today. Six under on holes 10, 11, 12, and 13. Wow. Terrell Hatton now on the tee at 14. Justin Thomas must be sitting at home shaking his head going, what on earth is this? These guys are getting a golf course that's so gettable. Look at this. It's unreal. <laughs> it really is. Compared to what we've seen yeah. the first day and a half. I mean, it's just a birdie spree now. Clinic. Isn't it? Everyone's getting a chance to make birdies. Big drive from Tiger in the par 5 13th. Here's a second shot. Look at that. Yeah, doesn't, doesn't love it, though. Well, he's, he's got no ability to be able to move into that back leg, and he's just trying to somehow get the ball down there. I, I don't know 
Yes, he's Tiger Woods and he doesn't quit, but I just don't know why this is necessary to be playing in this kind of play. hundred percent with you. Rory McIlroy now second and 13. Did that. He's going to be perfect. So Rory in the middle there, setting up a wedge for his third. We'll go back to 10. Pay this off for Riley. Roll Tide, the Alabama product. Moves to three under par. Big group there now. I think JT will be giving his his buddy, his fellow Alabama guy, a little grief for the conditions right now. I'll just tell you, I heard from a number of players that played in the morning, and they're like, <laughs> yeah. Here's Hatton for birdie. It's a significant piece of every major championship, the, 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 the literal luck of the draw. I'm not sure we expected such a dramatic I would change. I would agree with that. I mean, it, I mean, the forecast called for it to be gusting still to 20 miles an hour. We're not seeing that at the moment. Hatton 300 leaders this man on the tee at 14. Pretty much complete control of everything mm. to this point. Well, I watched a beautiful round from McElroy yesterday. I saw a good one from JT, and I'm seeing another one with this man right here. It's all going Will Zalatoris' way at the moment. Get that up and down. Fortunate break for not his best executed shot this afternoon. But when he hits him well, it seems like he has those birdie putts and makes them all. Top two on the scoreboard. We've got Zalatoris and this man, Mito Pereira, on the tee at the par three. From the same country as Joaquin Neiman. Yesterday, 27 years of age, he's got a little bit more experience than Joaquin, but Neiman is the Wonderkind from Chile. And the Wonderkind from Australia, maybe not so much anymore. Cam Smith, too old to be Wonderkind. <laughs> well, he, he was an Aussie junior and a champion. He's taken every possible step in the game up. Very proud of him back home in Australia. He's a famous rugby league player called Cameron Smith and he was so good he was sort of the Tom Brady of Australian Rugby League uh, won so many times but this Cam Smith become so good that Cam Smith now looks up to this Cam Smith <laughs> very cool now Spieth at 13 He's a recovery artist, isn't he? Yep, he sure is. Spent so many times trying to get out of trouble, he's become an expert at <laughs> doing that. And now Tiger Woods. Just watch his body movement. Let's see if he can get any purchase out of that right leg. That's the leg that's closest to your screen. Tiger really, really needs to get this one up and down if he wants to be playing this weekend. Oh, man. So fun to watch him shape it. He needs that putt. Position from McElroy for his third shot here to the par five. And has that for Birdie to pull within three. Zalatoris seeming to be running away from the field. 
Tiger Woods struggling to get to the cut line. Mito Pereira showing the world what he's all about. Justin Thomas, 67 for the second consecutive day in the row. Shot that this morning, had the lead when he finished, but not anymore. At the 17th, Alex Noren, his second shot, just ran through the fairway, making this one a little trickier than it should be. Well done. Well done for Alex Noren. Back to the ninth, Oliver Becker, South African golfer. Been able to get the drive so far up this green, it's just a little pitch on. At the 17th, this is McIntyre for birdie. Right. Oh, look at him. So locked in. Sort of the poster child of European golf now that most of the big names have moved over to the United States. He's the highest ranked player on that tour. Really? And uh, he said, no, I don't want to take the big money on offer to go play in that Saudi back league. I want to stay on this tour and make it what I can because we're all getting paid handsomely to do such. Very admirable stance. Similar thing to the days of Bernhard Langer, Seve Ballesteros, when they kept the European tour. Made sure they had enough appearances there to keep that tour viable in the days when it was struggling. And look what it's become. Now Stuart Sink. Got his son Regan on the bag. He made a hole in one on 16 at Augusta National there on Sunday on Regan's birthday. Love it. May have been the last time Stuart Sink plays at Augusta National. If he keeps playing the way he is here, you never know. Now they're off the ball for par at the first, his 10th hole of the day. Not out of it yet. Yeah, uh, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, 13 <laughs> over. It's uh, beyond him now. Hovland now second and 14. I wonder if there's a little bit of extra pressure and expectations on him coming back to Oklahoma. Want to do his best in front of his home fans. A look at the 18th flag stick. Flag breeze starting to pick back up. Zalatoris leads by one over Mito Pereira. Justin Thomas's lead seems safe much of the day. Then the winds calmed down. The scores followed, and Zalatoris and Pereira leapfrogged him. Let's go over to 13, the par five. And each of these players had longer birdie putts than I think they imagined they would. We saw Cam Smith putt from this position, the group in front, and it leaks to the right late. And Rory. Was able to capitalize and make his first boot of the day back at 12. Can he go back to back? Just make sure get a little of that frustration out to 14. Well, that'll do. Yeah. Okay. Do still leading at eight under par. Well, I don't want to oversell it, Andy, but if Tiger wants to play on the weekend. This is critical, absolutely. It's, it's and it's one of those that's just going to slide to the right. Got to be absolutely perfect with the line. Get it started where you want it, and and just let the slope of the green take over. <laughs> Hold steady there. It's, Come on. This is the world we occupy, huh? Have to do a little editing maybe tonight.
got a hundred videos of their phone they'll never watch again, but that guy right there is going to watch that one. Right, it might trim down some of the fat at the beginning. That's awesome. Great to see. Well, and it meant a lot to Tiger. Yes, it did. As you guys point out. All right, from our cameras. The impressive thing, even playing injured about Tiger is doing exactly what he knows he needs to do. Just had to have it. This is Pereira to tie Zalatoris again on the sixth. Another good putt from Mito Pereira. He's five under today. To the third. Answers third. That's very oh, nice right there. Wow. Goodness gracious, what a touch. But even those shots are a little easier today because of the oh, lack sure. of those. You know, you don't have to deal with it anymore, but that wonderful touch. Now we're 15, Terrell Hatton second. Flag stick all the way back left. There you go, the top tracer by Rolex. Great shot. And left just below the hole even better. The 12. Another good look for Bubba Watson. To pull within four. So it'll be for four in a row. So a tap in par for Bubba Watson breaks the birdie streak, but he is at three under par and got six birdies on the card today. Shooting his way back in it. Cam Smith here for par. Yeah, it came up right at about four feet with the birdie up. I think he's had a little trouble adjusting to the slower greens today, David. The necessity for to get the round in today with the concern of the ball blowing around, but you're absolutely right. They're already slower than they're typically used to, and to come out when you've been practicing for days, playing the first competitive round, and then that much slower. But given that win, that you had to, you, you had, had to. to to err on the side of caution absolutely. here, just to give yourself an opportunity to complete the round. Molinari's second to ten. Has a chance. Open champ. Battling Tiger Carnoustie. That's a magnificent shot to 15. Val Torres on the tee, just laying up. Bunker 278 from the tee. Well, and that is just a beautiful strike, Curtis. I mean, that ball didn't even wiggle. You know, he looks much like he did two years ago at the Masters. Much in control on the big stage. And looks like the best striker of the ball in the field right, right now. Right now, yeah. Looks incredibly comfortable. It's interesting though, he's 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 still rail thin, but he's definitely put packed on a bit more muscle. Uh, I mean he's well he's worked at it, yes. He's worked at it. All right, to 14. Tiger off that birdie, Andy. 228. The wind is probably five, six miles an hour behind him. It plays a little bit downhill. He's grabbed a five. Anything short front middle of this green is a really good shot. Just landed somewhere on the green and it should release back toward the hole location. Remember he birdied this hole yesterday which got him a two under. That was early in his round. Now birdie would really help. All right it caught the so green and it's not going to stay is it. No it isn't. Oh. But not bad. No, he'll be able to be pretty aggressive coming up the hill there. To 15. Cam Smith also laying up. Probably a four medal. Yeah, I'm just trying to position it. Hole has a lot of character. It does. I like the hole, Curtis. Yep. All about positioning off the tee, then left with a, eh, you know, short iron into this green that slopes a lot from back to front. 
McElroy now on the tee here at 14 four under. Rory a little bit deeper than Tiger and stays on the green. Over the other part three on the side. Yeah, barely anyone here to watch this side of the draw. Gary Woodland quietly going about his work. It's pretty handy, this one. Good, sure. Right at it. Look at that. The pitch mark. Wow. He judged his distance properly. They're all able to feast on Southern Hills right now. He couldn't yeah. have dreamt of a better side of the draw. That's what happens when the wind lays down. It's been humid, so there's some moisture in the greens as well. So Will Zalatoris, we know he's relatively young, just a handful of majors. Mito Pereira is playing in his second ever major. He missed the cut, the 2019 US Open at Pebble Beach. This is breathtaking from the Chilean. Salatoris is second major. He finished tied for sixth, 2020 U.S. Open. Next start in the major for him is third. Runner-up at the Masters. A top 10 then at the PGA Championship this one last year. Missed the cut at last year's U.S. Open. Withdrew from the Open Championship after being in contention. Had a little twinge hitting out of deep rough and had to withdraw to the first round. Then tied for sixth in the Masters this year. And he's just getting it done. We see all these players even par or better in the 104th PGA Championship. Good to see Ricky Fowler through to the weekend. Lucas Herbert, who had a great afternoon yesterday. These guys all played in the tough of the conditions. So all these scores of completed rounds, you've got to be impressed by them because they absolutely got the worst of it. John Rahm at two over after a one under par 69 today. Jordan Speed trying to stay inside that cut line, which is currently four over par. He's a couple shots clear right now. Deku Matsuyama's got three holes remaining, and he's one inside the cut line. Jay Day. Yeah, a couple of my countrymen, Leishman and Dave, through to the weekend. Both of them not near their best at the moment, but they'll be pleased to get 36 more holes and see if they can advance their position on the leaderboard. Great international field here at the PGA Championship. The cut is four. Tiger Woods is on that number with Adam Hadwin, Colin Morikawa as well. Tiger's got five holes to work deeper inside the cut line. It won't go to three. And, and you feel like the crowd just wants to pick him up, put him on their shoulders and carry him all the way up to the clubhouse. Just get him in at that number. But I'm not sure if 36 more holes is going to help his cause in terms of his body. It looks like he needs a lot of rest. Indeed. See four players out on the golf course. Five, six, including Tiger, that are at plus four. But you need more than just those six to go to plus five for the cut line to move to five. You need some of those at three to move as well. So it seems like it's pretty solid at four over as Alex Noren has this second at number 18. Effectively has to hold it to make the cut. Mm -hmm. Took dead aim. This is Chris Kirk at number seven for birdie. And he makes it gets back to red number start of the day. Two under he's one over on his round. Good smile from his caddy. Mm. Just a couple holes remaining. Good spot to be Terrell Hatton. And quietly moving right into the thick of it. This for a tie for fourth right now. Look at that, four in a row. What a run. That's what Rory did in those holes yesterday. 30, 12, 3, 15. A couple difficult holes in those final three, though. Arno now at 17 for par. And this is the hole that's the easiest among those closers. Yeah. Well done. Everyone else, he is a fiery guy and a good player when he's on. Look at that. Under the one blemish, it was the opening hole of the day. Back to the fifth hole. This is Rikuyo Hoshino. Third shot at the par five. 
a little longer than he would have liked into this green. But safely on the surface. One thing I like about this golf course is they haven't changed any par fives to par fours. Typically par fives have smaller greens for lesser clubs to be hit in. This is a... Yeah, this is Colin Inglis. His sister Caroline played in the Women's LPGA Championship. So the brother-sister duo getting to enjoy playing major championship golf. Now back to leaders, Alec Torres. And his caddy, Will, uh, Ryan Goble. Uh, I was telling this story in the break. We'll get back to him in a moment. As we check out Tiger Woods, his second shot at this par 3 14th. Uh, Ooh. Caught it heavy. Look at them. They're all just trying to Still win. Still gets the cheers. Yeah. Yeah, Ryan Goble is uh, Will Zalatoris' caddy. He hits this shot. Lovely, nice. So Ryan Goble's been cutting out on tour for 10 years. He was sleeping on the floor in people's hotel rooms. He was sleeping on friends' couches, just trying to get by in life. And then he finally picked up the bag of Will Zalatoris, and now he owns his own home. It's amazing how he's changed more than his own life, Will Zalatoris. And more changing as he leads this PGA Championship. Rory McIlroy with a great putt. Does not drop, but tremendous. At number seven, Nito Pereira. One back of the leader. And another man who is really swinging well. Yeah, and the approach here now with that wind gone has become oh. incredibly, yep. incredibly much easier. He'll have that to tie with the lead. Meanwhile, the Tiger has this to stay on the right side of the line. Another must make. Pours it right in. Woods, after birdie on 13, makes par on 14. Opportune moment to share a programming note. ESPN Plus has coverage on Saturday morning early round coverage of those that make the cut of, of whom right, Tiger right might, there. Might, might be there. Huh. And there's Spieth sorting that out for par on 14 as well. But following up on that double that Tiger made on the 11th think of how he is executed on 12 13 and 14. He's been his exactly. M.O. forever yep. and a grind for the best score he can make to 13. Playing. Taking full advantage of the scoring conditions. Riley at three under par. Another good look right from the middle of the fairway at 12. Boy, this hole has changed as much as any. And he'll have about 12 feet to try to pull within four. the fourth Abraham answer should be moving left and that has been the miss yes wind or no wind, wind David no on wind. this hole that yep. has been the miss they're just not seeing that break are they fifteen Cameron Smith awkward lie in the bunker club face wide open and just went right underneath of it and came right back at him to five. Matt Kuchar for birdie here on the par five. Got to hammer this to get it up the hill. And Matt Kuchar. Rolls in another birdie put. Five off the lead. To 15. Tee shot for Tiger. Just anywhere short of the left bunker, and it's 278. And he's headed down the left-hand side. 
She needs to hang there. It's good. Big wide fairway, 37 paces wide where the tee shots land. So now back Cam Smith. Got a chance to save five. Now Roy on the tee. Players could try to drive it off this tee. They can carry the bunker, but it slopes so severely from left to right and becomes very tight. This is the percentage play. Now over at seven, Mito Pereira. This for birdie and co-leader. Wow, what a round he has going. Mito in his first year on the PGA Tour. A bit more perspective on Mito, 27-year-old. Folks down in Lubbock are familiar with him. He's played collegiate golf at Texas Tech. Does have three top tens on the PGA Tour. and First PGA championship appearance, his second major. Of course, grew up playing with Joaquin Neiman. And Looks very comfortable on this stage, as does this man. Salad Torres for Birdie to go to nine under. It's like Velcro. Well, it's a putt you can be aggressive on, but it's it's hard to get it in the computer, Curtis. Well, you just heard him say it's like Velcro. It's just they didn't cut the greens this morning because the forecast of high winds uphill. They're extremely slow this afternoon. Players know it, though. You just got to tell yourself to hit it. They know it, Curtis, but it's so difficult. I mean, they're so oh, uniform no. week in, week oh. out. <laughs> Bubba Watson for birdie. Best round in his PGA Championship career, a 68. Yeah. He's on track to blow that out of the water. He's six under for the day and four under overall for the tournament. Tied with Mito. So Bubba Watson, Mito Pereira, Will Zalatoris, and right now just about everybody making birdies without all the wind at Southern Hills. A slight bit more breeze. I wouldn't say no wind anymore. I would say this is starting to pick up just a little tiny bit. Some of those flags starting to stand up, but nothing anywhere like what we've had the first couple of days. No, it's more just for the players' comfort. It's just a light enough breeze to take the heat out of the day. It is ideal conditions. See who came for birdie at three now. His 12th hole of the day. Not enough to get there. To the 18th, Alex Noren for par. You know, he'll keep grinding until the day is done. He will. And it is. So officially out of the cut, and the Swede has done this week. 76 today as we go to 17. Kalkanjana is Adam. This for par. Yeah, good make. A couple of memories to take home with him. So Adam is now two over on his round but unless he holds a tee shot he's not playing the weekend at the ninth Y E Yang his third shot uh, so it's just slipped out of his fingers chance to make the cut would have been a lovely achievement into his 50s still he's fared better than most would have anticipated he would you always have that attachment to him. Chasing Tiger down to win a major. Always. Now Kevin Na, third shot at the par 5, 13th.
Couple over on his round today. Three bogeys and a birdie. Back to the tee at six. The par three, Cameron Davis. Well, he's grinding to make the cut. He made the cut on the number at Augusta. It's a big deal for him. Looks to be on a tremendous line. Just gonna hang out a little bit, right side. Just didn't quite give it enough. Now Tiger, second and 15. Trying to will this 9 on from 155 yards. That'd typically be a wedge for him. Oh, baby. Yeah, he's got, sadly, he's got nothing left. It's all just over the top, just trying to trap it. And that is so hard from there. So hard. Not much green to work with. He's going to 14. Again, tied for the low round on the golf course today. Bubba Watson, six under thus far. Huh. That was definitely not what I saw. The confusion is we got a McElroy is second and 15. It went. Trying to make sure it stays up on that right shelf. I would have thought these were Rory McElroy type conditions. I know what he did in the wind yesterday. Look at the drive by Jordan Spieth. Wow. That hit a sprinkler head. How'd he get up there? That far. <laughs> It's amazing. But Rory would have taken it like deep usually on a day like today. Nice shot from Jordan. Could have a chance to go one under today, one over for the championship. Co leader, Zala Torres on the tee at 16. As Curtis said, totally different win, totally different tee shot here. You can take it right at the bunker, not worry about it getting there, and that is perfect. Although way back compared to where we saw players hitting it earlier, I guess if there was one hole they'd want to turn the wind machine back on to what we had earlier today, That's it. it would be 16. We saw John Rahm and others hitting close to 400, if not over 400-yard drives on that hole. The PGA Junior League provides fun team golf experiences with expert coaching from PGA professionals. Find your team and sign up today at PGAJuniorLeague.com. Speaking of our co-leader, on the other side of the golf course, Vito Pereira. On the tee at the equally difficult par 3 eighth. And that is going to travel over into the rough just long. Not too bad, though. Because, again, only about 40% of the field has hit this green in regulation today. Now, Curtis. Tiger at 15 from the back bunker, and this has to be some shot. Yeah, just a little bit of green to work with. You can throw it maybe up the hill a little bit to kill it. Pretty yeah. right. good. What would you give that one, Curtis? Oh, eight and a half, eight and a half or nine? nine? Yes. Yeah, yes, that's pretty good. Yeah, I, I'd say reports of his demise on this hole were greatly exaggerated. <laughs> <laughs> he is just—he is, he hasn't necessarily hit all the greatest shots, but he has done exactly what he's needed to do ever since that double on 11. I'm here to analyze, and my analysis there was that he was dead. That's first right. Shot. Well, well, we saw Cam Smith in there, right? I can't. Is it, is I it can't Easter help it, because he has risen. I can't help it if he has a whole lot more talent than everybody in this compound. <laughs> now, Rory. Yeah, talk about a big dog leg putt. This is it. Throw it out there, six, eight, ten feet to the right, and just let it whiz on down the hill. This, we've, we've seen a lot of guys misjudge this and come up short. This green and 
16, 15 have as much slope as any others in the golf course. He remains at minus four. Plus one for the day. Now Jordan Spieth after that spectacular tee shot, very aggressive line, wonderful bump, bump and run in here. Can you take advantage? That was a pretty cool little second shot that he played in here, Curtis. You know, it's just great imagination for those who have great short games. This should swing from right to left. Keep your speed up. Yes, sir. Good tee shot. Genius second. He capped it off with a solid putt. Gets him back to plus one. It's a little aggressive play like that off of the tee that could get him going in the right direction. Maybe make another birdie or two coming to the house. And the but that, that's how it should be. You take a little bit of risk uh -huh. off the tee. He should be rewarded. But he still had to execute a hell of Hell of a uh, approach shot there. Sure, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, that's a good look at Tiger's putt. It's going to come, hey, you know, right edge, maybe a little bit outside the right edge. Just depends on how hard he wants to hit it. Or is it? It looks like his lines, maybe just outside the hole on his golf ball. Right edge. Great up and in. Great up and in. That keeps him at plus four. These players move over to the. 16th. Right. Up ahead at the green, Terrell Hatton for par at 16. So he'll give one back. At least one. It's not in yet. Bubba from the bunker on 14, huge swing. Wafts it up in the air and he'll have that. Just a six under in his round and four under for the championship ahead to the co-leader. Manhattan did end up converting his bogey putt. So now from 225, our co-leader, Will Zalatoris. Back into the wind. That's a four and a good one, I might add. I mean, that, that's, that's a great shot. That's an incredible shot. I mean, did that carry past the flag, Dave? Did to it, the back of the green. I know, I, I know where it ended up. Did it carry it past, carried the, past flag? the flag? Holy smokes, was that hit on the mouth. So Spieth, McElroy, and Woods have to wait as Hovland is next. Same club, three yards closer. And oh. Allison peeling off to the right. He has not been sharp with the irons today. Just a few paces closer. Yeah, 217, and it seems like the more difficult the iron shot, the better he responds. Also a four. But not this time. Way left. That is right in between the two greens. He certainly has plenty of green to work with coming back, but now plenty. over the green, we've got our co-leader Mito Pereira at the eighth. Needs to settle. 
Not too bad. Now Watson. Keep this round together. Yeah. That was very wishful. Yeah. Well put. He was flummoxed what happened off the tee and after quite a run from the fourth hole to here drops a shot still three under to 16 T. So now the fairway is clear Jordan Spieth and it, it is right back into the wind. It's it's blown probably 10 12 miles an hour now and it is left but in short grass. So Tiger Woods next to play. You know, this is a ridge that runs across this fairway about 25 yards short of that bunker. If you don't carry that ridge, it will stop dead. So, and it's right about where his best drive will land. So, let's see what happens. It'll be the difference of probably 15, 20 yards. Got up and over that little ridge there. Now reachable in two now. It's a very strong par five into the fan, and this is the wind the players will deal with over the next two days, albeit a little stronger. That bunker's still in play for him. It sure is. So this is the last into the wind hole for Tiger. If he can get through this one, part of the last two, he'll make the weekend. <laughs> Tiger looks to be striding there. He does. Still a little kimpy on that right side, though. Yeah, that gate's going to be with him for the rest of his life. But the, the fact that he's walking with a little bit of enthusiasm. Now Pereira. the eighth so if he gets this and then piles the last he's shot a 64 am I right amazing phenomenal performance best round yesterday was Rory 65 past 70 of course right in the center Very nice putt going to the ninth hole. Yeah, well, they can booty the last to tie the championship record. How about that? 13th, Davis Riley's third. Continuing to stay in the fight. Five year old. Born in Mississippi, played for the University of Alabama, and that will get him to four under. Put him just four back of the leaders. <laughs> In great position for a late starting time tomorrow. Peter Pereira. Will Zalatoris currently eight under par. Unless there's calamity there. Those two will play in the final pairing tomorrow. The third round of the 104th PGA Championship. At 14, Patrick Reed for par. He's a couple over on his round. And ensures he doesn't drop another one. Big save. Big save for the man whose best experiences with the PGA of America happened in the Ryder Cup. <laughs> How about that match he played against wow. Rory there at uh, Hazeltine in 2016? I thought that was going to get away from civility <laughs> until Rory <laughs> turned around and you saw Rory was having fun with it. Right. It was over the top, but Rory McElroy is the one who brought that one back. What were they, eight under each on it that first nine holes? It was incredible. Incredible. Let's go to 17. Second shot here for Danny McCarthy. Last man in the field. The withdrawal of Bryson DeChambeau ensured that Denny McCarthy got a start. And He'll keep going. Yeah, he's going to get two more days here the way he's headed. Two under on his round. Four 
four birdies, a couple bogeys today. Oh, you got a bit of good fortune <laughs> there too. Indeed. Makes that even par. Handy. Overer number nine, birdie putt for Dean Burmester. Unfortunately, won't have an impact on his weekend aspirations, but to finish on a high note. Had it going there for a while. It was on the first page of the leaderboard for most of day one. And on the easier of the two days, he puts up a big number. 78. Look at all those bogeys. Wow. Seven in an eight hole stretch. We go to 17 fairway. Max home a second. And in the state of Oklahoma, why wouldn't Max Homer have a good day? He would. Should. Got the last name for it. Feels right at Homer. <laughs> Good win there in DC. He likes to win on strong golf courses. Indeed. Now we've got a Hovland for par at the 16th. Just to say at even. Even for the championship, even for this second round. Now Zalatoris at the 16th. And this was a moment ago. That blistering four iron. Beyond the hole. A little defensive, but you can't blame him. Over 13, this is Sam Burns to pull within five of the leaders, and he does. If you can win a couple of times around Innersbrook's Copperhead course, you can play tough golf courses, and this man's full of talent. Now top 10 player out of LSU. Now it's 16, Cam Smith. He's looked shaky over these all day. He chipped it up to here from almost left of the 13th green. Important one to make here. Well done. You don't want to give up too many shots to the leaders heading into the weekend here. History has stated that you aren't tied for the lead through 36 holes. You're not going to win the PGA at Southern Hills. Now at 13, Davis Riley for his birdie. Third of the day. Good position, four under, just four back. Back at the 16th, Zalatoris. Straight down the hill, though. And he stays perfect inside of 10 feet. He is now 16 for 16 inside of 10 feet with the putter. And if there's an Achilles heel to his game, that would be hit, but he's been flawless. And there he is, the top of the leaderboard. A lot more freedom in the stroke than we've seen. Chris Kirk looking to finish with a birdie. Get back to two under par, which is where he began this round. Pours that in beautifully. Good solid day. Right back to two under. Be first or second page heading to the weekend. And there's an answer for par on five. That expression <laughs> understood. You only get two shots at it. Par five out here and unable to capitalize on that one. We approach six o'clock here. Tulsa check back in on the 16th. And Jordan Spieth has already played just out short right of the green. Now Tiger from 211 back into some breeze. Playing every bit of it. This has got taken a really nice line. Wow. What a shot.
We've been talking over and over again, Andy, about how much more difficult the 16th has been now with the wind shifting than it's been at any point the first two days. And Tiger just took it apart. Yeah, I believe that was a foreign. What a beautiful play. Now, Rory, really, really dangerous. Really dangerous. He's looked at this about four different times, called in and out of the bunker. I don't believe he can get it to the green. Looks like he's trying to go left of the highest part of the lip and hit a big cut. It's a brazen play here by Rory McElroy. But he handles it. The first part at least. And comes up about 30 yards short. That shot from Tiger Woods, that was brilliant. Talk about him, the exact shot at the exact right time. Still, he's a dozen shots back at the leaders. Mito Pereira, Will Zalatoris. As we head towards the halfway point, currently 78 players are at four over or better. Looks like that's where the cut line will rest here at the 104th PGA Championship. You mentioned that the shot was brilliant. What made it so brilliant? Well, obviously the circumstance. It's the toughest shot he's going to face left on this golf course, given the 17, 18 are playing downwind. Um, the cut lines in question and what was it? 211 into the fan, probably playing 220. That's a, a maxed out five iron given his leg and he just hit it on the button. It was the hardest shot left on the course for him, I felt. And he actually hit a four. There you go, there you go. But yeah, hardest point. shot left. As we take a look at the PGA Championships, all those who have won more than two. We've got Hagen and Nicholas have each won five. Tigers won four, not going to get his fifth this week, sorry to say. Sarazen and Sneed both at three. Who knows? McElroy could join that group. Mm. Absolutely. But you know, we're talking about five of the all time greats mm -hmm. of the game. Hagen won all of his at match play. Mm -hmm. Same with Sarazen. Exactly. And it was right after uh, Hagen helped form the PGA of America. Right. Sarazen, the first of six or five men to win the career slam. Tiger was the last back in 2000 when he picked up the claret jug at the old course at St Andrews. That's why he's so desperate to get back to the 150th Open Championship this uh, July. But every year, Jordan Spieth comes here with a chance to add his name and by winning a PGA. But Arnold Palmer never won a PGA. Sam Snead, Byron Nelson. I'm going to, I've got some qualms with the first man to win the career slam. He won the second Masters. It, 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 it wasn't he, a major at the time. Well, but he was so much not a major that he hadn't even shown up at the first Masters. Oh, wow. He had, some, he had an exhibition he was paid more to go to. Yeah, lovely shot there by Kramer Hickok. At the eighth, this is Kevin Streelman for birdie. Mm. This would be nice, give him a little breathing room, coming to number nine, his final hole of the day. Ah, drops. He knows how important that was. And he's got the short par four ninth left. That was big. Lots of up and downs in his round today. One over on his round total. To 18, Matsuyama's third shot. Oh. Delicate. Two putts from there to make the cut. Now the tee at 17, Zalatoris. Oh, there's a creek down there. Be careful. Oh, that's even worse. It's caught the limbs, knocked it down in the long raft. That's the first error he's made all day. And a pretty big one. As we go to the ninth, his co-leader, Pereira, Second shot. Well, he gets this up and down. He might have a two-shot lead going into the final, uh, third round. Two-shot lead. Still playing the same pairing as Zalatoris. Unless Zalatoris has a bogey-bogey finish. Up at the 15th, Bubba Watson to go seven under today. Yes. 
comeback after the bogey at the 14th. Another birdie at 15. Continues this great round of golf. It's been quiet of late and really doesn't have a very good PGA Championship record. Nope. This is a whole lot better. So now Jordan Spieth with a tester here, Andy, for par at 16. Yeah. Yeah, this is not easy. Obviously, anything down the hill, sliding left to right, those are tough putts. Well done. Nice four. Adam Scott earlier today, the only player in the field to get it closer at 16 than Tiger Woods. This will most certainly be a thunderous roar. <laughs> Should Tiger make this? He could knock this one in, pick up a birdie on the short 17th. And even with the wind helping for two thirds of the day today. 16's the third hardest hole on the course. It's got to slide a little right. Yeah. And there is the roar that always seems to follow a Tiger Woods birdie. The ninth of the day at 16. And Tiger back to plus three. And he's got a couple of holes to negotiate to make the weekend. A little wiggle room there. And obviously, Andy, this was while we were away a very nice pitch from short of this green at 16 for Rory McIlroy. You could go back and look. I bet there's been, not been a lot of groups play this hole one under. And even with a downwind early on. Now, two fours and three. That's pretty sporty. That's a great up and down as well. To get stuck in that bunker 200 yards from the green and make a four. Well done for Rory McIlroy as this group will go to the very interesting 17th. Speaking of interesting, Billy, we heard Will Zalatoris himself was at his worst shot of the day, worst swing of the day. I would agree. But he did catch a little bit of a bald spot over here in this right rough. 128 to the hole, but 106 to the front edge. Going up and over. Needs to land this, what, 35 feet short of the hole? At least, David, but I guess when you're... Look at this. Oh, man. When you're hot, you just play the hand out. <laughs> what a shot. I think it's because he was in that bald spot that he was able to do something with it. It was a short slump for Will. <laughs> this for 63. Just a little outside the right lip, maybe. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, oh, my goodness. That would have been the third 63 here. Raymond Floyd did it in 82, Tiger Woods in 2007. That's the bit of history, but the history here at Southern Hills there have been seven major championships played, and every single winner has either led or had a share of the lead after Friday, which is remarkable. It just speaks to just how difficult it is to make up ground make up here ground. on this golf course. Regardless, a beautiful round for Pereira to six. Birdie try for Abraham Answer. Just misses to the left. So he'll stay four shots off the lead. Very much in the mix. All pars on his second nine. Tiger waiting for a chance. 
and maybe looking to buy a little insurance to make sure he can play on the weekend on a hole that really right now with the conditions is playing as a true birdie hole. It all starts with the tee shot in the short grass. Ideally down the left center would be nice. Tiger usually lays back with about a four iron on this hole. If he can get it in the fairway, Andy, then we get to see that great wedge game. Well, Joey, Joey Lacava, as he walked by me at 60, I just keep my man having any short irons in his hand. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so is this like a seven iron, six iron hole? If you told him he had to play it that way, he could pull it off. All right, just something, something in the fairway. All he's looking at here. Just a tad down breeze right now. There's going to be a tree in his way, I think. Yeah. Over there on the right hand side. I don't think he quite yeah. stung that the way no. he usually does. No, that was a. That might have been a little on the toe or didn't get all the momentum. I'm sorry. For me? Position for Jordan. Just don't want that little awkward ball below your feet position, though. That's a concern on a slight down slope there. Okay. A yardage you like. Proximity of these two tees. We've talked about it all week so far. Well, there was some talk that we're going <clears> to <throat> play this hole up, excuse me, and uh, make it a absolutely reachable hole. Maybe they'll do it on the weekend or tomorrow. We'll see be fun because the green disastrously hard to hold with a long club. Be a lot of fun to see. My name's Harding Park and Morikawa. Or a little bit further right than he would have liked. A little hunt down towards the creek there. He'd be a little nervous. Mm. It's really hard to stop that. That it will be. So McElroy just four shots back of Pereira and Zalatoris. Pereira so close to shoot 63 here in this second round. Six under par, still low round of the day, though Bubba Watson could surpass that. He's currently six with three holes remaining. A moment ago, Matsuyama for par. At the 18th. Remember, he just chunked his chip down to here, trying to leak it into the house. And he's going to get there at plus four, right on the number. So it's not going to be a, a chance to win on the weekend, but at least he gets to play it. To 17, Victor Hovland has a par putt. Just firm, straight up the hill. Just like that, but uh, well done. He's going to spend 36 holes not moving from even par. Still Lucas Glover on the 15th, his second shot. Right on the cut line. And the statistic where the 36-hole leader has won all the major championships held here. Let's just remember who those people were. Right, right. I mean, Dave Stockton at that point hadn't won a major, but he was in a zone. Mm -hmm. That was 1970, the first PGA yeah, he, Championship. He held off Arnold Palmer. He did, mm -hmm. in the same grouping. Arnold never could close out that career slam as Casey Pine has a par putt here at the third hole. 
Casey, one of the team of 20 PGA professionals in this field out of the Stanwich Club in Connecticut. Look, I know where you're going because it was Raymond Floyd after that. Goosen, Nick Price at his peak of his powers. Right. Tiger Woods, guys who hold on to 36 all leads. Right, I get it. Still a great, uh, great statistic. Lonto Griffin for par at 12. And seven for seven. I mean, that's... Mm. Yeah, the only guy not in the Hall of Fame is Dave Stockton. Is Bolt in the Hall of Fame? I think, yeah. I think yeah, you're yeah. right. So Stockton should be. A couple of uh, PGA championships, a bunch of majors over the age of 50. Ryder Cup captain, double-digit wins. Ryan Harmon now, fifth shot at the par 5, 13th. This could affect the cut line. I wonder if he hit it in the water. He had to have if he's had to have four. Oh, then he just overcooked his approach, but he doesn't want to spend any more than a shot here. Ooh. Almost hooped it there. I, I get it. Um, look, Will Zalatoris, he might go on to have one of the great careers, but Good. he isn't the number one player in the world right now, and he hasn't got a career resume like a, mm -hmm. a, a Rory McIlroy or a Justin Thomas. I Nor does Mito Pereira. Well, yeah. <laughs> Both of our 36 all leaders. 100%. Streelman now for birdie at the ninth. Does he, doesn't really need it, but... He, he, he would have made a couple of back-to-back -back nice parts, but he's in the house, so he's uh, going to get the weekend to play more and improve a position. He keeps fighting hard, Kevin Strillman. He was famous for making seven straight birdies to close out that tournament there in Connecticut. Record mm -hmm. on the tour. Couple over today, three over for the championship. He'll play the weekend. But that early starting time, Danny McCarthy on the fairway at number 18, his second shot. Superb effort. That's such a tough shot. Ball blow your feet playing up the hill. Go! He's going to get it done too, so well done, Denny McCarthy. So it's back the 17th, just the right there. That big tree canopy that you see will play a factor in Tiger's second shot. We'll see in a moment. Cameron Young, this is a great story. Uh, really has just stepped right up onto the big stage. His father is the director of golf at Sleepy Hollow. It's a superb golf course there. And look at this, Cameron Young. Wow. Just puts another two on his card. Gets to minus two. Yeah, Sleepy Hollow. Uh, talk about an old world gem. Seth Rayner, CB McDonald. Beautiful, right on the Hudson River. Magic. And Gil Hance redesigned, uh, restored that as well. Now Will Zalatoris for the outright lead. He doesn't miss these when he needs them. What a day. What a day he's having. What a break he got back there. They talk about luck when players go on to win majors. You need a little bit of luck. He got that off that tee shot. That was a huge three. He could shoot 64 if he buries the final hole. Back one hole to 17. Or actually, this is back to 17. We've yeah. got McElroy, Speed, and Woods. And look at the apex there. Um, they're, they're all going up the elevator. A couple of flights extra higher for. Speed the uh, woods and then look at Rory McElroy floating one in nice and high. A better chance to control your ball. His ball's actually down near the creek there on the right hand it side. The tiger, he's got a line. Trees maybe not hurting it. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Little pull. Yeah. Doesn't hurt him too badly. Now Bubba Watson. You got a ball? And Bubba drains another one. He's had a day, hasn't he? Look at that. Eight booties on his card today alone. Just take something that would get him into the weekend that builds momentum off it. And he's a long way from the lead, but he could put on a bit of a move tomorrow. Now Salatoris on T at 18. Perfect. Absolutely perfect.
leads the fill in strokes gain putting. He's in top 10 strokes gained approach. He's driving it well. He's doing everything very nicely so far. Just a great hold on. That's going to be uncomfortable. Remember, that's into the grain, that grass. So it's going to be a tough little chip. Over to seven, Abraham answers second shot. This is making me nervous. And now Cam Smith on the tee at 18. Even part of the day. Out of sorts today, you can quite have his best stuff. There's going to be some measure of trouble over there, it could be very bad. Now, McElroy at 17, his third shot. Not easy. Made it look pretty simple. You have to catch such clean contact on this grainy Bermuda growing off the sides of the greens. One last tee shot from this group for Victor Hovland. That should be good as well, Scotty. Actually, he's driven the ball well today. The iron play just a little off. And that's unusual. Doesn't happen too often. All that. Fortunate to avoid that divot there. All right. It's a 17. Tiger. And we'll have that for par. Well, Will Zalatoris, another birdie at 17. So he's at nine under, five under round with the win laying down on his second nine, Mito Pereira. What a round of 64. Justin Thomas, hard to express how well he played with the win howling. That was a round of the day in a lot of ways. Now Tiger for par. He's been grinding for about an hour and a half on every single shot, every putt. Needs this one. Needed it and got six, it. Six one putts in a row, guys. Wow. Every hole since his double bogey on 11, he's one putted. Put himself behind the eight ball and has entirely responded. Not going down without a fight. Guys, I wouldn't even make him putt this one. <laughs> I mean, seriously. If this was if this was playing for a few dollars, you'd just be walking back toward the 18th seat. He's playing for a few more dollars. Absolutely. What a beautiful wedge he played in here. Such a great wedge player. It's just a beauty to watch. Back to even. One hole to go. Shouldn't be a problem for Rory to finish up for his par.
Those three head to the T at 18. We're forward at the fairway at 18. Will Zalatoris second shot leading by one. Down in two from there, he'll have the 36 hole lead. And Zalatoris five under on his round today, Bubba Watson. Six under on his round. Birdie birdie finish. Bubba could shoot 62 in this PGA. The 16th third shot for Daniel Von Tonner. Wow, difficult stance. As if the game isn't hard enough as right. it is. Hands all the way down on the steel. A lot of ways to play this. Either the baseball shot, which is difficult to do, hands down on the steel as you're tilting out over the, or go lefty, or go back to the hole, right handed. None the of them way. sound good. None of them sound good. No. This is the option I think the I best like. One. Yeah, I like this. Just grip down as low as you can, take half a stance. Even if you fall back into the bunker, it's the best of the option. And you'll make YouTube. Oh, to the right. <laughs> at the hole. I'm not sure how to take in that line. Well, I don't think he intended that line. It just sort of fluffed out high, mm -hmm. didn't it? Well. Over to the 13th. Lonto Griffin's third. These are the private battles that you don't see out on the golf course outside of the marquee groupings. Players just doing everything they can to get inside the cut line. Only their family and friends are following them out there at the moment. And all those at five over. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be making the cut. They won't be. They could get their flights home now. <laughs> At the 15th, Francesco Molinari. Lots well, changed in the last four years since he lifted the Claret Jug. Had that dream summer of 2018. They held off Tiger. There are Carnoustie to win. Since then, he's dropped well outside the top 150 in the world. Moved his family to Los Angeles now. Trying to make a bit of a resurgence. How much of that precipitous drop do you think? Stems back to those two golf balls in the water back night in Augusta when he had the lead. In 2019, when Tiger took advantage, I imagine that hurt him a lot, but I think what he's trying to achieve is getting into that Ryder Cup team in Italy next year. Huge. Gee, how does this look? What a shot from Cameron Smith. Best shot of the day. Wow. Could be. Tremendous shot from Cameron Smith. Make that shoot one under today. Abraham answer at seven for par to stay at four under his 16th hole of the day. Well done. That's a good save, isn't it? Keeps the momentum on his side. Up and down. First nine. All pars in the second nine. Now Jordan Spieth on the tee at 17. On the last here with a bit of moxie too. He's thinking of birdie. In red figures going to the weekend. Jordan, what are you doing? That's the creek down Trouble there. over there. Get so lucky. I mean, so lucky. Not going to happen. Just when he'd done all the work to get back to even par. Now Hoshino from the fairway bunker at number nine, trying to make the cut, needs to get up and down from here. It would be heroic if he did. Oh, heroic <laughs> indeed. My okay, that's the word. best shot of the day. 
when he needed it. When he absolutely needed it. Tiger on the tee at 18. Can't let it squeeze to the right. Didn't let it squeeze to the right. It's been all heart. You don't want to lord him too much because look, he's well outside contending for this championship, but that's just pure guts to make the cut from there. It is. Now Zala Torres at the green at 18. Two putts for the outright lead at the end of 36 holes. And what a beautiful first. So this pulls up short. So he's going to have the feel of sleeping on the lead at a major now. Different than his usual pursuits as McElroy has it. Iron in his hand on 18T. Uh, go, go. Oh, Real heavy. Yeah, turned it over too, so chase down there. Oh, yeah. Beautiful area around this clubhouse, Southern Hills Country Club. They're all waiting to see the Tiger group come up the last. A little bit more pleasant than what they were yesterday. It's going to get awfully cool tomorrow morning. We're talking about temperatures in uh, you know, under 50, which would be 10 or 11 degrees Celsius. It's going to be really chilly in the morning. Cam Smith for birdie to get to three under. That sums up his day. He was just a little off. Haven't got any real momentum, and it's going to be even past 70. Still tied for 10th currently. Relatively late starting time. Leaders within your eyesight, though. Good bounce back after the disappointment at Augusta National. Well, let's take a look here at Bubba Watson on 17. If you can birdie here, he'll get the seven under on his round. He can hold it. Awesome. So he's going to have a look at the equal championship record of 63. Maybe even go lower. Could be. 18's not yielding too many birdies. Isn't it amazing, though, how creative golf courses, great golf courses like this, brings out the creativeness in great players like a Bubba Watson? He's thriving in these conditions right now. Really is. Hovland now to stay even par. Now, I'm pretty sure Perry Maxwell didn't imagine that this played 7,500 when he designed it in terms of length, but the, 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 all the <clears throat> integrity of his design has been restored by Gil Hansen. That has helped. Victor's always got that lovely smile always. on his face. Just so endearing. Mm. Right hand green you see is the 18th. Will Zalatoris standing over his par putt. He will sleep on the outright lead after a second round 65. 66 65 great first two rounds for Will Zalatoris. Yeah well, it's been near flawless hasn't it. Uh, hits most of his greens. When he's hit it close he's made the putts. Made a couple of bombs when he's had some pressure putts he's made them. He's got it. an opportunity to become one of those rare players whose first victory is a major championship. Jack Nicklaus among those. saw the wonderful second shot from the bunker to make the cut. Hoshino at nine and he does. Well done. Well done. How big is that? <laughs> Rikuya Hoshino. Stunning stuff at the last. He makes a point. birdie out of there. Look at him. He's stoked. <laughs> That's awesome. It had to be the exact opposite feeling after bogeying his 17th hole but now McElroy second at 18. He one-armed it out to the right. 
It's in that second bunker. Yes, it is. Check the math and he walks Alatoros up. Sign the card. Get ready for the late tee time on Saturday. Leading here at Southern Hills. Now Tiger. 211 yards. 200 yards would be just perfect. That would land in the front third of the green. Looks like he's trying to hit a low cut up there. That's a proper shot. Just enjoyable to watch. Ever since he started on the 12th tee, how he's managed his game, done everything he's needed to do, put himself in some bad positions as well, but fought right out of it. Now the third for Spieth. We saw Scheffler make an insane four here on Thursday. Spieth will try to match it. It's got to be a giant slice. He's not getting much help with the wind right now. Oh, but he's wonderful shot. Going to have an opportunity to save the four after he found the creek off the tee. It's great fans rewarded for the long wait to see this group work its way to 18. Two thousand seven Woods was a man at the peak of his powers. One here. Now battling all those injuries. Woods looking to make it two for two in events played and cuts made. First the Masters and now here at the PGA Championship, where Zalatoris is the story of the moment. Trying to do what Tiger did in 07. That's win this championship. Three players at the top of the leaderboard have looked flawless through two rounds. Justin Thomas most certainly had the worst of the conditions, well, by, not by, even close. By miles, by miles. His golf has been just as good as Pereira and Zalatoris. I wonder if he'll derive any freedom from that, knowing that he certainly had the raw end of it and is right there in the championship after he's done throwing the remotes at the TV. Pretty straightforward here, Andy? Yeah, absolutely. Now, plenty of green. Obviously, it's a fairly deep bunker, but that's not a big deal for, for Rory. A shot from where he began the day, but still at four under. Five off the lead with 36 to go. Seventeen. Patrick Reed for Birdie. That was earlier, so Patrick gets to one under par. Now Bubba after that great shot looking for another birdie. He got it. Bubba could shoot 63 if he could make a par at the 18th.
18th is going to be nothing more than a long iron and a seven iron for Bubba too. So it's been so difficult throughout the course of yesterday and today into the wind. Now there's no wind, maybe slightly downwind. It's be potentially a birdie hole with the tee up. 16 gave a great illustration <laughs> of how a hole can play more difficult in these right. conditions, right? But 18 is an entirely different hole now, absent the wind. Not easy by any stretch. No, but. not easy. And, and, and the committee moved the tee box up, a tee box, because of the conditions they had. Here's the putt for Tiger. Andy? Well, can you finish a 7-1 putt in a row? We're about to find out. He's got to hit it. He's got to hit it. He's got to hit it. Terrific coming. That was quite professional out of him today. Double on 11 and needed to make something happen. Wasn't always in position A off of the tee or even after his approach shots. But Tiger Woods with birdies on 13 and 16 shoots 69 and will play the weekend here at Southern Hills in the PGA Championship. There's Bubba off the tee with an iron. Oh, you kind of oh, hitting. Hoping to get lucky. And it should stop. It will. Oh, he's going to have to hit some big sweeping hook up against the rough. Well, he's got the imagination to pull it off. This for par for Spieth. Good. Boy, what a four this would be, Andy. Sorry. Yeah, great read off of Tigers. He's got a little bit more speed going. Yes. So, oh. Just a little easier, it probably would have gone in. Race by a bit. He's got five feet left, though, now all of a sudden. for Spieth to get in at one over halfway through. So the tee shot costs him a stroke, but it's a round of 69 for Jordan Spieth. Massively gutsy. You can't underestimate the courage it took to do that with all the pain. He was gone at the, after that double and 11, and he's through to the weekend. Massive achievement. And now McElroy for his par. Should be a great up and down, and he does. So he shoots 65 on day one in much tougher conditions. 71 today. It's now five off the lead. How quickly it changes. Still have a pretty late starting time in fifth place currently, and the first of the fours to get into the house. So could end up going. Zalatoris 65, 64 for Mito Pereira. Can Bubba birdie? He'd shoot 62. Casey Pine at the fifth hole. One of the PGA professionals in the field. Sandwich, a great club outside of New York, Greenwich, Connecticut. He's a PGA assistant professional. Very hard golf course. It is. At the 17th, Kevin Na, his second. Well. 
He was ready to snap a club over his knee a couple of holes back, but this one was brilliant. At the 18th, this is second shot of Kramer Hickok. Eighth hole, excuse me. Yeah, just looking to get up and down after missing the green right. Plenty of work left to do. Back at nine, Padraig Harrington for his par. Won't match the heroics of what he did last year at the Ocean Course at Kiwa Island, tying fourth, but still back playing in another major. He'll always be the 08 PGA champion. So he'll always be able to tee it up in this championship. Until he's 60, he'll be able to, or until he's up and past the 60th year, mm -hmm. he'll be able to play in the Open Championship. Now at 17, Lucas Glover for birdie. Lucas, the 2009 U.S. Open champion. And he'll defend in the Quad Cities in June. Uh, the John Deere Classic, he got uh, his first victory in some nine years last summer. Uh, big, big grind to get back to that position. He just double bogeyed 16, though. Yeah, he left uh, one in the bunker, had two shots in the bunker there and turned it into a double, and now he's on the outside looking in, so he may have cost himself the weekend here. Big putt for him right here. And Lucas Glover gets back to four over inside the cut line. Double made a little easier by the two birdies on either side of it as we go to 18. Justin Rose, second shot. JR will play the weekend. He's looking to get back to level for the championship. And that will give him a chance. Sure will. At the 15th, Brian Harmon, his third shot just off the green. Reasonable par putt for him coming up. As we go back to the 18, Patrick Reed has a second shot. Now with his shape, you can see he's aiming well right. Try and draw one up the hill. He doesn't mind it. Just short of that tier. You know, he makes his own clubs. Does he? He owns the brand that he uses, and he puts them all together. He's got that old pro vibe about him. In some ways. Now Harmon for par at 15. Quit. Born grinder. Tiger Woods walking out of the scoring. Trailer will do some television duties, looks like. Interview for ESPN here in the U.S. Let's take another look at that second at 17 for Kevin Na. Well, watch how close this goes to hopping into the hole. It had a chance to... Right there. Oh. I mean, that's a ball away from going right into the cup. <laughs> what does he shake his head at? Probably wondering how it missed. So here's where things stand. Very late in the day. Second round of the 104th PGA Championship. Will Zalatoris shot 65, leads by a shot of Mito Pereira, one of the great rounds of PGA Championship history. Six under par, 64. He's at eight under, one back. That will be your final pairing tomorrow. So it looks like Zalatoris will play with Pereira. Justin Thomas with Bubba Watson, depending upon what Bubba does on 18. If not Bubba, it would end up being Rory McIlroy in that second to last pairing. Terrell Haddon with a 68 today. Nice round from him. We got Cameron Young, Sam Burns, 
Gary Woodland and Brendan Steele all out on the golf course still. Bernd Fiesberger with a 67. Good one from the Austrian. I would say anyone who's under par would be delighted with their work through two days. And still looking, seeing that they're nine shots back, eight back of second place. That's some great playing from those on top. Jordan well, Spieth one under today. Again, you've got to keep looking at this as it's basically been two different tournaments. Those who played late, early in that wave, they've had a, I'm going to say, six shot harder golf course to play so far. Those who played early, late, they've had the dream draw. With the handicap, that puts Justin Thomas three shots clear. Yeah. So he's yeah. played very well, even though he trails by three. He had the worst part of the draw. You see Tiger Woods moving on to the weekend. Brooks Kepka as well. Jason Day, Mark Leishman, your countryman. You've got Sepp Straka. A number of Americans as well. Again, the cut line is not going to move off of four over par. These players, a dozen shots back. Let's have a little look and see how many players are at plus four or better. Currently 79. There you go, the top 70 in ties, so that'll do it. On the cut line, Matsuyama, Morikawa, Simpson, who's tasting? Big names on the cut line, like Schwartzel. Cam Davis fought for another cut. Lucas Glover, if he can par his 18th hole of the day. He'll make it to the weekend. And Rakuya Hashino, that was phenomenal. Wasn't it? At the 18th, Patrick Reed. This for birdie. When the greens are like this, it's quite late in the day. The grass is a lot longer. Didn't get to cut it overnight. Really got to give it a big hit up that tier. And you saw how hard he hammered it and did not reach the hole. It's, it's so hard to tell yourself that I've got to hit it an extra four feet harder. And your last major was the Masters, where mm. never do you have to hammer it anywhere on the golf course, except some tee balls. Uh, so what's Bubba got here? You're concerned he might not even have a stance. Yeah, sorry, he's up near the green already, isn't he? That's right. I think so. I don't think we saw his second shot. Mm -hmm. He's marking it. He's on the green, so. Okay, so here we go. If he can hold this, he'll match Brandon Grace's effort. It's Brandon Grace's 34th birthday today, by the way. Happy birthday to the only man who shot 62 in a major championship, that at the Open Championship. PGA Championship, 17 times they've shot 63. Brooks Kepka, the most recent, that three years ago. If you want to go back to the second round in 2007, Tiger Woods horseshoed his putt for 62 on this very green. He did. This for 62. The championship record. Never online. Still a mighty day. Deserves a lot of praise, Bubba. 1863 in PGA Championship history. Yeah, the crowd showing their appreciation. So we've still only had one man to ever shoot 62 in a major, but. As you said, that's an equal championship record. So maybe that was a birthday present from Watson to uh, Brandon <laughs> Grace. Keep your 62 as the only guy to do so. I argue that Bubba Watson's hit the greatest shot in the history of major championship golf. I know people might say that Jack's one iron against the flag stick at 17 at Pebble Keep and going. Tiger's chip in and Keep 16 going. at Augusta National. Keep going. There are so many all-time great shots. but Bubba's There's only one, but go ahead. I just think Bubba's shot out of the trees on 10 in the playoff against Louis Eustace in 2012. Just, it's the most least talked about greatest shot of all time. It's the least talked about greatest shot of all time. I'll agree with that. If he had made it to win the tournament, like Larry Mize did, I've just got to go with Larry Mize in a playoff against two Hall of Fame members. Just, just keep crushing my <laughs> Australian heart, will you? Now Justin Rose, unable to make his birdie putt. Mm. Okay, so you put Larry Myers as number one. That's fair enough. Bob Twig has to get a conversation going with his hole out from the bunker there and the PGA as well, if you want to talk about walk-off wins. Mm -hmm. But Bubba's shot, everyone makes that pilgrimage to Augusta National and one of the first things everyone. they do, they walk down to that right side of 10 there and just stand in amazement of how he managed to get it on the green, let alone to within about six to eight feet. 
And if you find the right spot, mm. you stand there and say, I must be in the wrong place. Yes, because you cannot hit this ball on the green. Mm. The fact that Mize grew up in right. Augusta, the fact that he asked for an early leaderboard when he's old enough to work the tournament so he could go out and watch his favorite player, Jack Nicklaus, play, and that Jack Nicklaus put the, the green jacket on Larry Mize all helps the aura of the greatest shot in major championship history, but that's mine. Fair enough. But you made a fair point. The most underrated great shot in major championship history. So, Baba has played his way right into contention here. His mid 40s, can I a third major title? Patrick Reed. Who won the 2018 Masters has this to stay in red figures. So Patrick shoots an even par round, stays one under for the championship. Some great venues coming up for PGA Championships. Tulsa, Oklahoma hosts this year. Rochester, New York, or outside of it, Pittsburgh, for Oak Hill next year. What a great venue that is. Valhalla, who will ever forget. Tiger Woods' win there. Quail Hollow, where Justin... Uh, Rose, first. yeah, he won that... Uh, what was it, the playoff event to get to world number one? Right, Justin mm -hmm. Thomas, though, won his, his PGA Championship the Quail Hollow, yeah. You've got Gary Player, at Aronimink, PGA Frisco as well, all run by one of the greatest associations in the game, the PGA of America. I'm Kathy Kim, and I turned my passion into a profession. Being a PGA coach allows me to make a career out of what I love the most. I love the game of golf. You know, growing up, everyone always says, do what you love, and I chose a career in golf because of my passion for it. I'm excited to go to work every day. Whether I'm in my office, you know, whether I'm on the golf course, I'm getting paid to bring people into the game of golf. How can you not love that? That's what it's all about. Join the nearly 28,000 PJ professionals who love and lead the game of golf. Leading the game of golf in this, the Southwest section, the PGA of America, visits all the 41 sections in their major championships, what a great host Tulsa has been. The PGA professionals protect and grow the game of golf, merchandise the game of golf, teach you the game, and dress you for the game. They do all those things and play in the PGA Professional Championship, which gives them the opportunity to qualify for this PGA Championship. Matthew Borchert had an opportunity to make the cut. He was just five over with three holes remaining. Two bogeys in his final three holes means no PGA professional will make their way through to weekend play here at the PGA Championship. But who can blame them? They end up playing that PGA Professional Championship in Austin, Texas, then coming here, and the four weeks in between, three or four weeks, they're giving lessons, they're restocking their pro shops, they're getting ready to open their pro shops and their mm -hmm. facilities. It's, it's their second job out here, and they, they quit themselves so well, represent the association so well as we go back out to the golf course. Yeah, beautifully said, Dave. I wholeheartedly agree. Most people are playing the game because of PGA professionals and they just give so much of their time and energy into helping others enjoy this wonderful sport. Now this putt here from Riley. Ooh. Could have gotten a shot closer to the top of the leaderboard at 500. He thought he'd made it. He sure did. Also thought he'd made the putt there on the 72nd green in Tampa when he had a chance to win. It'll have been a first victory on the big tour for Young Davis Riley. Lost that playoff to Sam Burns. But look back to the PGA of America. True, they made their way here to the PGA Championship. And you talk about what they do. We've talked about what they do in terms of teaching the game, the impact everyone's had in the game. There's been some kind of a touch from a PGA of America professional but it's become very difficult. I mean, the professional side of being a PGA uh, club professional is just so advanced nowadays with all the agronomics involved, the economics from running the business, it's a, a true business. And the education they all go through is mind boggling. They've got uh, university programs to do such. So to become a PGA professional, it's a long way to get there, but it gives you a tremendous 
career. Mm -hmm. If we take a look at Tiger Woods, he was shaped by PGA professionals such as Butch Harmon. If we take a look here at Tiger having shot 69 today, one under par. He's won this championship four times, as we mentioned earlier on today. No other players won it only four times. Two have won it as five times. That's Jack Nicklaus, Walter Hagen. And after his round of 69, he caught up with Michael Eaves for a conversation. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Uh, Tiger, you could tell you were frustrated yesterday with the way you finished the second nine yesterday, came in here today, but you were grinding hard those last eight, seven holes as well. What went into that light final stretch to make sure you did play the weekend here? Well, I knew what the number was, okay. and I just didn't need to go out there and do it. And uh, start off the back nine exactly where I wanted to, made birdie at 10, then uh, almost whip hooked it on there and on 11 and made double. And uh, next thing you know, I'm outside the cut line. So, um, I had to grind and go to work, and uh, I did, and uh, made it. And uh, hopefully this weekend I can get a hot weekend with some tough conditions, and uh, you never know. You were saying yesterday that your right leg, you can't really load on it. How is that manifesting itself in your golf swing in terms of what it's not allowing you to do? <laughs> There's a lot of things, uh, but it's just the way it is. You know, I've, uh, you know, luckily I've, I've, over the course of my career, I've, Use my hands, you know, quite well, and um, got to rely on feel and hit shots. And when you're out there, and you know, it's just about hitting the ball the right number and, and getting it done. And um, I know it wasn't exactly the way I wanted it to be. It wasn't, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't like what you saw what Bubba's doing out there right now. It wasn't that. But um, you know, hopefully, I can do that this weekend. Unfortunately, you've had a career of playing through injuries, and you've played well in that, and that's the expectation you take to the golf course. But indulge us mere mortals for a second. How are you able to always tap into that mental side where you're able to ignore what's going on physically and still perform at a high level? Oh, well, there's a mission. The mission is to go ahead and win this thing somehow. And uh, I know it sometimes it doesn't exactly feel well, uh, but hey, that's just the way it is. That's, that's life, that's sports. You know, where we, uh, we, we, we push it. and. Um, you know, sometimes it breaks, and then, uh, but that's okay. You know, you know, get back on, get back on there, and that's why I got a great PT staff, and they, you know, I'm, I'm really good at breaking things, and really good at fixing things. So it's a great relationship. All right, do you want Bubba to break this record or not? Oh hell yeah! Okay. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, we're gonna see. He's got the putt for 62. Tiger and Raymond Floyd 63. Good luck right. this weekend. Thanks, Mike. See you, buddy. And that just before Bubba missed his birdie putt at 18, as we go to Stuart Sink for his birdie at the ninth, his final hole of the day. Yeah, he said that through, uh, you know, sarcastic teeth, didn't he? He was not trying to will bad luck on him, but he's glad he shares the record. So Zalatoris and Samita Pereira will play together in the final pairing tomorrow. Right ahead of them, Justin Thomas and Bubba Watson. Bubba 63 ties a championship record. Out at the 17th, second shot for Gary Woodland. Going out of the rough, not an easy way to be able to hold the green. And, uh, I hope for his sake he caught the front bunker. If he's airmailed the green, that is brutally tough to get it up and down. Yes, it is. So in that comment, uh, interview with Tiger Woods, he's mentioning that there's still a chance he could win this thing. He just doesn't ever stop thinking it's possible. Uh, but he's going to go in, it's what, 12 shots behind Will Zalatoris with two rounds to play and a, a leg that just won't cooperate. Not going to happen for him tomorrow as Lee Westwood has his second here at 18, 17, excuse me. I always thought Lee Westwood would win a major championship. Right, now at 49, obviously those hopes appear dashed. As to his hopes to make the cut here as Lucas Glover has a birdie putt at 18. So he'll have that left to play the weekend. Did not sneak right at all. Thought it would. Over 17, Francesca Molinari second. Francesco Molinari, that's his game. When he's on, that's automatic. Up at the 18th, Daniel Vatander for par. Kind of a moot point. Yeah. Cut by a wide margin. What a shame for him. 
they all had that desire. And look, finished, I said, four over the last six that blew him out of the cut line. And that's his wife who's on the bag. Love and support. This is Bob Huston on the eighth, excuse me. He bury it. And this is a part of the game that very rarely gets touched on this Friday afternoon. Mm -hmm. The big shows just left the stage with the Tiger and Marquee grouping. There's no one out on the course in terms of spectators. It's just personal grind, trying to make the cut, trying to make a difference. Very important times for those players who are out there as Brian Harmon has a birdie putt. You know, he's going to be toiling. We love a little breathing room. Ooh. You know, in boxing, yeah, they talk about pound for pound, the best player or the best boxer, the best fighter. Pound for pound, he gives all he's got, Brian Harmon. That he does, even on his round today. That double at 13 did not help. As we go to 17, where Gary Woodland has his third shot, did find that bunker. Okay, so that's fortunate. Plenty of room to work with here. This should an easy up and down for him. So if you're just tuning in, the grain in these bunkers are a lot coarser, it's a lot heavier. And it makes it almost impossible to spin the ball out of the bunker. It releases like that. And the reason for that thick, heavy, coarse type sand is so it doesn't blow out in the strong winds here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're expecting winds 40 miles per hour today. It basically laid flat from 3 p.m. onwards. And the, the sand is so coarse that some of the players are finding the face of their wedges being worn down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost like sandpaper, isn't it? They need to practice in the, in the bunker, so they brought, some have brought new wedges in just for this week. What a win at the U.S. Open, Pebble Beach. <laughs> Gary Woodland. How about that? There was three moments in that final round. The second shot into 14 with the three wood. That uh, chip on the green on 17, 17 to inches to confirm the par and then to hold a bomb for birdie on the last. Does it get any better? Especially not at that venue. Now Westwood for his birdie. Birdie birdie to make the weekend. Mm. Looks like it'll be a short week for Lee Westwood. He'll have to do what Colin Montgomery did win his majors over the age of 50 on the Champions Tour. Will Zalatoris with a 65 today, following up his 66 yesterday. Leads by a shot playing in the final pairing tomorrow with Mito Pereira, his 64. It was a great round, low round of the day until Bubba Watson came on strong, had a putt for 62. That would have been the first 62 in the history of the PGA Championship. Missed it at 18, but shot 63. Only 17 others have shot 63 in a PGA Championship. So Oklahoma hosting this 104th PGA Championship, fifth time they've had this a PGA Championship in Tulsa. Each one has been just spectacular for one degree or another. With the now as a par putt here at 17. Yeah, there's a reason why they keep coming back to this venue. It is a special place, uh, obviously steeped in history, an old world gem that's recently been restored by Gil Hans and uh, Jim Wagner. They've done a tremendous job getting Perry Maxwell's original vision back to what it should be. And it's just played superbly through two days. And the PGA of America likes to bring its championship to different parts of the country where you don't necessarily see U.S. Opens. Typically won't see U.S. Opens, though you've seen them here a couple of times. And the 41 sections of the PGA of America appreciate that. All the different PGA professionals 
from around the country having the opportunity to host the championship. Well, it's their big event, isn't it? Right. Yes, I know they own a piece of the Ryder Cup, but this is their Super Bowl, if you will, and by sharing around the entire regions, well, everyone gets to feed off it. Right. Everyone benefits, and uh, we had Jim Richardson, the pe president of the PGA of America, on set today talking about that and how important it is that everyone who is part of the organisation, some, what, 28,000 members, gets to understand that the PGA of America is for everyone. As we go to Sam Burns, second shot here at 18. Some will confuse the PGA of America with the PGA Tour. PGA Tour represents some 300 or 400 touring professionals on different tours around the world. PGA of America is again the 28,000 PGA professionals who then teach the rest of us how to play the game and again run all of our events, sell the clubs, and the things that make us look good. You better than me. Well, the best way I describe it is that the 300 plus players on the PGA Tour were taught to play by PGA exactly. professionals. That's how, you know, that's how they're there. Uh, you do not make it on the elite stage with the exception of Bubba Watson without having some PGA professional teach you how to get it done. And it's been that way for more than a century. They really taught, brought the game here to the country. As we go to number nine, Siwoo Kim, second shot. We just saw Francesco Molinari after that great second end up missing his birdie putt. I know, Dave, you've been indelibly linked with the game, your father, the history, everything involved. Uh, you can't speak highly enough about them because they nurture the game and they just grow the game and that's a nice smoke by Lanto Griffin. Brings it even on the day. They do, they nurture the game and um, they work tirelessly. You know, 60, 70 hour weeks is just a casual week for them. They put so many hours in. And also try and take the most complicated parts of the sport, those things that are, are difficult to do in terms of growing the sport, trying to bring more women, more juniors involved in the game, making it a more diverse game as well, focusing on uh, wounded warriors mm -hmm. and those who mm -hmm. are patriots for this country to yeah, the bring them into the game and help with their therapy as well, as Young has this second shot at 18. His father is a PGA club <laughs> professional. Uh, uh, look at that. She's a view court. Number of champions this championship and fathers who were PGA professionals. Sebastian Munoz on the tee at eight. Justin Thomas is currently in third place. The most father recent, Mike, yeah. Most recent grandfather as well was a PGA professional. Rich Beam was very quick to praise his father when he won 20 years ago. And my dad had won in 65. He was the second. His cousin, Jack Burke Jr., was the first son of a PGA professional to win this championship. Jack Burke Sr. taught spoke about the game with Ben Hogan, but taught Jack Grout, taught Harvey Penick, taught some great players in the mm. game. That's the thing about PGA professionals. They share what they know. They, yeah. they don't hold it to try and be the best teacher in the world. Share their knowledge so the game gets better. People get better. All of us get better in the game. It's a wonderful ob observation, Dave. At 17, Oliver Becker, one of those 20 PGA professionals in the field. Ron Vermeer, too knocking one close. Look at the ninth. Look how far Bo Hoss is. He can throw it on from there. Two great shots. Looking to finish with a birdie. Put himself in good position to do so. You talk about a collaborative industry, the PGA, of, uh, PGA professionals, the sharing of knowledge and passing down through the generations. It's one of the important things. They've all been mentored by someone. They all try to look to mentor someone else yeah. or a number of others. One of the great badges of honor for a PGA professional, a head professional, is how many of your assistants who want to be head professionals themselves. How well were you able to train them and help them take the next step? It's really great to see. At nine, Tom Hoagie's third. Yeah, he was at four under at one stage, so he's uh, let it slip here. 
late in the second round. Awesome. That'll ensure he gets in the house at even par. He got a 2-5 under at one point. He was four to start. He got to five under through six holes as we go to 18. And Cameron Young, but he wasted all those shots coming in. How good's that touch? Wonderful Special. hands. He hits the ball so far that he's born for the, the big tours, but uh, to have that kind of touch as well, exquisite. Siwoo Kim for birdie at nine. Two putts from there to play the weekend. Now to 16. Second shot for Lanto Griffin. Sat pretty quickly. The birdie buddies. We've got an 18. This is Davis Riley. If he makes this, he gets to 500. He'll go out in that penultimate pairing because, I beg your pardon, he'll stay there in that third pairing. Still, beautiful position through two rounds. Right. by Bo Hostler now to get to even. That's well done. Let's play some good golf. Contended down in San Antonio in the mix for that one. Good Mal there. Sorry. Problem. Brian Harmon down that slope, chipped up top. He's talking to himself a little bit. I mean, these are big shots for Brian Harmon. He's at four over. Kim stays at three. Good enough to play 36 more here. There's Cam Young. That's a nice up and down. Is he going to be the rookie of the year? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he and his Wake Forest teammate, Will Zalatoris, the only bogey free rounds of the day. Wow. To 16. Lanto Griffin trying to pay off that approach for birdie at 16. Get it. Perfect. Ah! Talk about matching the line and the speed. Back to back birdies at 15 and 16. And plus one. And who knows? Hoagie for par on nine. Wait, Dave. to finish as well. That is a talented group of young stars. So Burns here at 18 to finish at two under for the championship of 67 in his second round. Nice job. 34 going out. 33 coming in. Three consecutive birdies helped early in his second night. All those players should be very pleased with their work. How about this team of junior Ryder Cup players? Cameron Young, Sam Burns, Davis Riley. Great deal they do the junior Ryder Cup. Knocked out by COVID-19 last year. But a great early indicator of what talent is coming through and there they are playing together and all playing very well all under par all in the middle of this championship to the eighth Sebastian Munoz for birdie and there's just six groups left out on the course 
really now the only focus is of those who will make the cut. The cut will be four over, which is where we find Brian Harmon. This for par, so he needs it. He will go to 18, needing a par there as well to play the weekend. Thank you. So of those out on the golf course, try and take a look at those who are around four over. We've got Brian Harmon with this one hole remaining. 18th, uh, this is Gary Woodland, his second shot. Yeah, hit a stinger off the tee. The thing barely got off the ground. There he goes, rips a shot from 210 yards. It won't stay up on that top shelf, but terrific effort. Next play is going to be Molinari. Ideal position off the tee here. And a couple over. Try and ride the wind up onto that top tier. If he dies, he dies! Sounds like a few people have been out there enjoying their day today. I suppose so. the other side eighth hole Munoz for his par and a plus three this is a must make now he's on the cut line so he's got work to do and he knows it got himself some breathing room at seven gave it right back at eight going to the ninth which has not been the most difficult hole on the golf course no but he needs to keep his head he doesn't want to mm -hmm. it's right the play his way out of it exactly like Lee Westwood poorly go late. Nice job. He needed to hold that to make the cut. It makes birdie. Go on for the weekend. There'll be a lot of focus on Lee here in the next couple of weeks when the rival tour starts up. He was very vocal that he was happy to go across and play in it. Whether there's bands handed out for doing that, we'll have to wait and see. It will be interesting. This is a third shot at number nine for Fox. You well, know, one under par. He's had a good day again today. Yeah. Splash his way up the last. I wouldn't be surprised if he drove it in there because he hits it so far. But, uh, he's marching quickly over to it. That bunker that he was in is actually the 18th greenside bunker. This Bubba Watson. At number 11 today, yeah. Bubba gave us a show. Yeah, all part of the round of the day. The 63 matched the equal low in the championship, and he just hit golf shot after golf shot. This is approaching the par 5 13th. Yes, we know the wind's laid down. It made Southern Hills more gettable, but you've still got to hit the shots. At number 15 for birdie, that put him six under on the day. I think it was this shot in the 17. Just working the hands. Just got over the lip. <laughs> did. Makes the birdie putt. Gets to seven under with one hole remaining. If he could make a birdie at 18, he would be the first ever to shoot 62 in a PGA Championship. Unable to do that. Becomes the 18th 63 ever shot in a PGA. 31 on the second nine. That's uh, that's a plan. How about a day with nine birdies on yeah. the card? Awesome. At, at, at mid 40, still giving. He's spoken so honestly and openly about his struggles with mental health and his insecurities out there. But he'll be forever a two-time Masters champion, and now he's got a chance to win a PGA. After had almost a, winning in 2010. Exactly. Had a better chance. Mm. After 72 holes, no one had beaten him, but he was tied with Keimer. 
Dustin Johnson might have been in that playoff as well as we go back to the ninth second shot for Lori Cantor. Excuse me, this is 17. The Englishman going along nicely. A couple over. It's not the angle you want to be coming and, and the lie, but even if this just sneaks over the back, it won't be too bad. Knock it off to the right there, land in the front, run it on up, have a putter in his hand. You know, that really was very well measured, very, very smart play. Take all the trouble out and just knock it to 50 feet. No need to get mm. aggressive. Find yourself with a double. Now you're on the cut line. Next to play will be Lanto Griffin. You know, it's one thing to play badly, but if you think badly, that's even worse. And he was very proud of that effort. And that's the thing about Tiger Woods, isn't it? I mean, he he's never thought that. It is it has put him in position time and time again. Does never shoots himself out of tournaments, competition, positions he wants to be in. Oh, Lando wow. Griffin gets a piece of the hole. It did, didn't it? Oh, they've had a red hot run at 12 here today, haven't they? Well, and he's had a pretty good run, Bernie. Uh, last 17, two holes. Sorry, Here we go. Look at this. Second I'm sure one. Does it catches. hit? Oh, so close. Looks like he caught that uh, left edge, didn't it? It did, did. There's been some talk about Willie Wilcox, uh, his battle with the drug addiction. Willie's trying to make a comeback to competitive golf as we watch Derek Newman play his shot into 17. Uh, Willie Wilcox had Lanto Griffin sleep. Uh, in his spare room at his house, rent free, so he could try and make it as a golf professional. Wow. And now Lanto's out there doing the biz on the PGA Tour. And Willie's talked about how much of a support Lanto Griffin was. He said, if Lanto didn't live with me, I'd be dead. There's the stories you hear in this game. PGA assistant professional right there, Dylan Newman, Brayburn Country Club, purchased New York. Engaged to a PGA professional as well as we got a number eight bio Kim. Just playing out the string, won't be playing on the weekend. Yeah, but look at that, it's frozen right. What a shot. Really nice. Get down, sit down. Deserve better than that as we go to 18. Gary Woodland for Birdie. To finish up at 300, that would be a nice spot. Yeah, inside the top 10. Chase. Mm. Looks like he'll shoot 68 today. It's still two under is inside the top 10 as well. This is it. This is the grind that people don't see in all these shots that matter and make a difference. Extended coverage, ensuring that every player that's in this championship gets covered right through to the completion of their second round. So Gary goes out even par, two under par in his second nine. Two under for the round, two under for the championship. This is wild. Lee Westwood for birdie. Here at 18 to finish agonizingly one shot on the wrong side of the cut line. Westwood hit it home. Tough day today, especially that opening nine, 39 in the front, double, three bogeys and a birdie. Now Molinari for par. You'll begin the weekend 11 back. Back to 17. Lori Cantor saw that recovery shot. This for Birdie. Keep rolling out. If it had, mm. had a chance. So he thought smartly, takes pressure off any effort to make a four, and that's how it's done. So he'll go to the final hole, his final hole of the day at least. Two shots clear of the cut line. 
all pars on this nine. And they are all aware exactly where that cut line is at, which is right here. Brian Harmon is on the cut line at four over his second shot at 18. A little heavy. Get up there. Get up there. Gonna run. Chunk and run up there. Yeah, he's gonna get that up and down to play the weekend. He does. His fellow playing competitors, Ryan Vermeer and Oliver Becker, they won't be. Up to number nine, Yuki Inamori. And when we saw him earlier, he's inside the cut line, so he's let it slip here to finish his championship. But still a wonderful effort to, to qualify. Double the second bogey at number eight. He might finish with a birdie. Would be nice. This is Ryan Vermeer. The only PGA professional playing in this PGA championship that's made a cut at a PGA championship before that in 2019. Yeah, that's an accomplishment in its own right. It's almost like the low amateur when you know, it at, is. The, at the Masters or at an Open. Except in 2019, there was a lower PGA professional, Rob LeBritz, that year. Mm. Rob's played in about half a dozen yes, of these, hasn't he? Yeah. Played him well. Unable to play now because he's playing on the PGA Tour Champions. He'd have to win the Senior PGA to qualify. He's ineligible to play in the PGA Professional Championship as Ryan is disappointed with that shot. Ryan's father's a PGA Professional as well. Wasn't that an emotional moment when Rob got his Champions Tour card and, and, and calling his wife after all those years? I've realized a dream. I've done it. And he didn't just get his card. He won the qualifying tournament. He beat major champions. He beat current PGA champions players trying to get better position in the qualifying. It was a tremendous performance, but you're right. So emotional when he did it. Now again, another PGA professional, Dylan Newman. And the PGA of America really does celebrate their team of 20. Really does show how important these 20 players are. <laughs> Two pars on the front, three pars on the back. <laughs> it's been all over the ballpark for Dylan. But a lively scorecard is having a go. Good on him. Now Munoz, final hole of the day for him. Yeah, he's just thinking down in two. Exactly. This is for birdie. Two putts and a play tomorrow. Mm. Maybe only needs the one. Oh, boy. It bobbled through there, didn't it? You thought, it hang did. on, this might be three, four feet short, but enough to cover it down the slope. So he wasn't saying very nice things to himself walking off the penultimate green, but there he is. And even past 70 on day two, and at plus four, the Colombian is playing the weekend. Let's take a look at some leaderboards wherever you might be. You see that flags on the left-hand side. You can be in a foreign land. You can be on a cruise. Listening to our coverage of the 104th PGA Championship from Tulsa, Oklahoma, where Will Zalatoris shot 65 today. Leads by one over Mito Pereira, who shot 64. And Justin Thomas, who completed his round some six hours ago, has had to sit here and watch players come from well behind him to well in front of him. I'd still like to think that he's the favourite going into the weekend, even though he's going to give three shots up because he's played the best through two days because he's played in by far the tougher of the conditions. He's also understood what it means to sleep on a lead, to be up at the top of the leaderboard. Guys like Will Zalatoris and Mito Pereira have not experienced that before. Zalatoris has been around the lead, but leading going into the final round, difficult. Look at Mito Pereira and his day. Yes, at 64, he shot we here at 10. The 27-year-old is the lesser known of the Chileans out on the tour because that honor belongs to Joaquin Neiman, but it was Pereira who really grabbed the limelight. Number of birdie looks that he calmly rolled in. That one at 11. Bunch of pars then till he reached 16. This for birdie. Not too many people walk away with a three from this green. Tiger Woods managed it and so That's did right. Rito. 
three more pars until he reached number two. This for birdie. And there's a lot of that mid-range putt, 10 to 15 footers going in. You've got to have a good putting day if you're going to put 64 on the board. But he hit a lot of great shots too. If you get in this many looks, the irons are in red hot form. Another birdie, and he's four under on his round. Back and forth with the share of the lead. One shot back, here he is for birdie at five. This was also for a share of the lead to go five under on his round. And it dropped. Remember, this is just his second major appearance. He played in the US Open at Pebble Beach in 2019. So it's not like he's had this kind of exposure very often. He would par six, then this birdie at seven. Again, for a share of the lead, Zozella Torres would go ahead and take the lead. This is the eighth now, an important par putt to stay at eight under, and he makes it. He put it beautifully, didn't he? He did, kept that 63 in the works, kept it alive though he would par his final hole to shoot 64, and again, 31 on the second nine, so front nine of the golf course, his second nine, Mito Pereira, eight under par. Well, his life changed in the middle of last year when he won back-to-back -back events on the secondary tour, got himself a, a, a promotion onto the PGA Tour, and he's trying to make the most of it here. Yes, he is, halfway home. Now Brian Harmon, right on the cut line, his third shot here at the home hole, his final of the day, up and down to play the weekend. Well, he's from the University of Georgia. They're known as the Bulldogs. He's got that Bulldog he spirit, does. doesn't he? I'm going to back him in here. This is where he comes to the fore. He's got such a crafty short game. The big thing that you can't quite see because the, the television doesn't pronounce it as much, but there's quite a slope up there, so it's actually quite slow up the tier. He's got to be really positive with this, or can he fly it all the way onto the top shelf? Mm. That's twice he's backed off now. Difficult shot here, made more difficult by the failure to commit to what you want to do here. How good's that? Takes care of business. That left for his par. Such a fighter. That would give the regular golf of Fitz. He's, he'd be standing there <laughs> thinking, I just don't knife this. I'd be putting it, to be honest. The nerves would be frayed, but that's why he's out there doing this for a living. And it looks like he would be the final player in the field, the last of the four overs. So he'll get an early starting time. So he has the par putt. Oliver Becker, who he's playing alongside, has this birdie putt. Though Oliver at 10 over, birdied 17. Still, though, won't play the weekend. Bad day for Oliver, shoots 672. But the drama here is all about the next man to play. And that is Brian Harmon. Becker with the most top tens on the DP World Tour this year. Right. Right, and, and you know, it gets overshadowed because it's not done on US, U.S. soil, but right now, this is the moment in the championship. The last player who can make the weekend has a three-footer to do such. Got the last couple of holes for Brian Harmon. He'll be playing early tomorrow, but he will be playing the weekend of the 104th PGA Championship. This is Ryan Vermeer. 
There you go. Great achievement, simply qualifying for this championship. We talk about it all the time with the team of 20, just simply making it into the PGA. That is the win. Anything beyond that's a bonus. Sure, they want to play better than they have, but it's still an outstanding achievement. And that is the truth. Will Zalatoris, 65 today. Mino Pereira, 64. Let's talk about Rory McIlroy, though. His one over par, 71, I think might be that round you have to get out of, your, out of the way and may have uh, a little sprint here in the weekend. Your yeah. thoughts? Yeah, uh, it's just a little disappointing. He never really had it today, did he? It was the benign conditions, which in his prime, he would have chewed it up and gone and put a 64 on the board and he'd be leading by four or five. But here he is now having to chase. And after that round of 71, he caught up with Michael Eaves. All right, here with Roy McElroy. And Roy, 71 today, following what you did yesterday. Disappointment, I would assume, would be the emotion you're feeling right now? Uh, disappointed with the score, I guess, but um, maybe not disappointed with where I found myself uh, after a few holes. And then, you know, I, I had to get it up and down um, on 16, 17, and 18 for par. So, you know, those those three par savers I thought were were key in just sort of keeping me just that little bit closer to the lead. Um, you know, if I had a dropped one or two those last three holes, um, I would have felt like I, I had a, a larger mountain to climb. But you know, 36 holes. Um, there's a lot of golf to play, and I, I feel like those uh, those saves on 16, 17, 18 were, were important. Clearly, this golf course changes with the wind conditions. But what else have you learned about this golf course in the last two days that you couldn't learn in the practice rounds alone? Yeah, I mean, you 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 know, we've encountered a few pin positions out there that um, I certainly didn't think were uh, going to be put in those positions. Um, so it was. I think there's, you know, it's it's just it's there's a lot of nuance to this golf course. I think Gill's done a really good job with that around the greens, um, and there's just some there's some greens you can't miss it on certain sides and others, and the only way you can find that out is by playing a competitive you know competitive rounds and, and really thinking about what you're doing. So uh, it's a great golf course. It's a great test, and you know I'm excited to play it again for another 36 over the weekend. You know the fans were excited of your grouping with Tiger and Jordan. Uh, now that it's done, going into the weekend, how much fun was it for you guys being in that while you're still trying to compete for a major championship? Yeah, I mean, it's always fun to be a part of those groups. Um, you know, I've, I've played in the Tiger group three of the last five times here at the PGA. Um, they like put me with them, and uh, I enjoy it. Like, I, I love getting out there. There's a real buzz. Um, you can really feed off the energy of the crowd, and um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss them tomorrow. But... <laughs> You know, hopefully we both play well, and um, we'll see over the weekend. But, you know, it was great to be a part of. Warrior, appreciate the time. Good luck over the weekend. Thank you. He's going to miss him because he's seven shots higher than Tiger Woods, or seven shots closer to the top of the leaderboard than Tiger Woods is. If you take a look at where he started, had those two bogeys on the front, made a birdie on the back nine. So not a whole lot of circles. That's the stat for me, the greens, the greens in regulation. An 11 of an 18 in, in such soft conditions comparatively. Uh, he just had an off-ball striking day, and he, he was just on the wrong side of right, thus the 71. Fairways hit. Also not a stellar number, 6 of 14, as we take a look at Dylan Newman. Final grouping on the golf course. Do you think he gets a couple of phone calls from his mates? Hello, Newman. <laughs> All the time. You've got to know that. If you're a Seinfeld fan, you'll know exactly what I was well, referring and, to. And his club is in Purchase, New York, about five seconds from Manhattan. So. Right. <laughs> uh, you, you got that a bit thin. And if you hit a bad shot, do you say, Newman? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, it's turned out all right, hasn't it? it? That's the joy of the game. Not every bad shot gets punished. In this final walk, big smiles, regardless of what your score is. If you're a PGA professional, you have made your way to the PGA Championship and represented your association very well. And here's another one here, and, and it infuriates me when you hear other people go, well, why is this person here? Why are they in the championship? You're like, this guy is 10 shots better at golf than anyone you've ever played with or who you know. Don't rubbish this player. They are very, very handy. As is Casey Pine, who's also in the Metropolitan section, a PGA professional, as you mentioned, out of the Stanwich Club. And there used to be 40 PGA mm -hmm. professionals that were uh, qualified for this championship. It's reduced down to 20. I'm fine with that 20. This guy has been 
on the golf course. Number of turtles out on the golf course. Maybe a little slow play from him. You're not suggesting we've got shots. a pace of play issue, do you? Could be. I could, this was this morning. It's a, it's a great look. They, they're all around with that lovely creek that goes right through the place. There's plenty of spots where they can hang out. Up. Oh, here's the penalty. Pick, pick him up. Keep him away from your body, though. Keep, uh, there's. What's he got in his other hand? Is that a. That's a sprinkler head or something? A sprinkler head. I don't know. A sprinkler happening here now. He might want to stay away. Yet yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's turn the tap off the poor guy. <laughs> I'd be nervous too. And I'd be that nervous. Yeah. I just want to get back to my, my swimming hole. And we're helping you get there. He was going up the hill. I'm not sure where he was trying to get to. But clearly not properly credentialed to be up by the clubhouse. So back into the creek. Okay. So here we are. Uh, Dave, we've got just this final group to finish off both here and uh, and at the ninth hole your thoughts on who the favorite is now as we head into the last two days justin thomas he's the other two again haven't held the lead now we have will zalatoris who's been chasing at major championships shown how he can try and chase down the leaders mm. he's now the leader does the mindset change it shouldn't you've got to keep that same mindset but it's hard to do to be as aggressive as you as you are leading as you were trailing. I think Mito Pereira is in rarefied. Second major championship start. I'm hoping he shoots 70 tomorrow. 69 maybe. And put himself in decent position. So what you've you're got saying Justin is Thomas. That, okay. Yeah. I, like that's what I, yeah. But you, you're, so you're saying that history is going to be rewritten here at Southern Hills because no one has gone on to win the four previous PGA championships without having at least a share of the 36 hole lead. I am. I like the way you think. I'm with you on Justin Thomas. He's played supremely in by far the harder conditions. Uh, of course, you'd, not to overshadow what Will Zalatoris has done through 36 holes, but he got the much easier side of the draw. And if you, I think, look at the scoring average between the early, late and late early waves, uh, by default, Justin Thomas should be leading this championship. I'm with you, Rory McIlroy, maybe as well. I just saw a great shot of Caddy Gary Tilson. He has a twin brother who's a caddy. Gary and Guy, the Tilson, both been on the European Tour, now the DP World Tour, for three decades carrying bags. Yeah, so Laurie Cantor, more just trotting home, isn't he? He's just trying to get it into the house. Uh, the I see what you saw there. Yeah, the speed is a thoroughbred, though. The speed of which these greens have rolled out today has been the real challenge for a lot of players. Over to the ninth, last hole for Casey Pine. It's been nice to finish on a big note. I will say I interviewed Casey right after the PGA Professional Championship. He's got a great mustache. Ginger mustache, very full, wide. He looks like he could be an accountant or a detective, <laughs> doesn't he? He could be any number of things. He's got a great personality as well. Mm -hmm. Good going, Casey. The big smiles. Finished 17 over. You see the big smile right there? Was he leading? You can't tell. He played the PGA Championship. That's what matters. Monto Griffin now at 18. Long birdie putt. Big swinger from left to right. This one is on the top shelf. So, well, he's got about a couple of paces before he's completely on the flat portion up there. Gave it a run, didn't he? He really did. And that is the danger. That's why you've seen a lot of putts come up short because you give it a two bit of a hit and it's six to eight feet past and you're working hard to make the comebacker. So at plus one, there's no damage of missing the cut, but you don't want to drop shots when you don't need to. People may say, what? what does it really matter? You don't really have a great shot to win the tournament. You're not going to miss the cut. But every position, dollars to begin with but also world ranking points things along those lines trying to stay in a position to be eligible for major championships in the future well, you, you don't become a successful professional golfer if you're happy to spend shots really nearly <laughs> exactly now dylan well if this rolls in can you give us a hello newman <laughs> call i'd love to see this guy i would too now it's up to dylan newman Fiance Carly Peters, the PGA professional, assistant professional in the Met section as well. At Quaker Ridge, 
What about that place? place? Oh, right next door to Winged Foot, that is a special golf course too. Sure is. Is that a Tillinghast? It is. Mm. Hello. Mm. You early called him. I did. Uh, we bumped into Carly in the in the clubhouse just after lunch, or just at lunchtime, and again, just the sheer joy in her voice getting to watch her fellow go around here in the PGA Championship. That's the stuff. It's the it's the shared journeys. She knows as a club professional herself what it takes. And you're treated just like Tiger Woods. You go uh, courtesy car. You're on the practice tee wherever you want to be, free golf balls, everything you would experience if you were number one in the world. That's what the PGA professionals who are in that team of 20 experience at the PGA Championship. If they see how well their colleagues run this championship. Boy, do they do a good job. Canter now for par. Well done. Good job. That, that shot into 17, very mature. Made a good, good par there. Look at that, just straight pars into the house after the turn. Well played by the Englishman. Look, little wink and nod from his caddy. Mm -hmm. Appreciated the effort. So is that guy or is that Gary? Could be either with the twins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Either way, he's going to get a better check to on Sunday night. Now, here we go. Alonzo Griffin made that run at the birdie putt, but left himself this much. Just inside right, nice speed. Putting slightly back up the hill. Got it. Well done, clutch putt. Yeah. He knew it too. Look at that. Four birdies on his inward half. Got himself back inside the cut line. Important. And the last putt for this side of the draw, those who teed off the first hole in the afternoon wave will be struck by a PGA professional, Dylan Newman. Come on now, D. Let's finish with a par. Good job. And again, the big smiles. That's it. 156 players in the championship will now be cut down. The first two rounds are done. Plus four was the cut line. Will be 79 or 80 players in the end? In the end, let me check over here. It looks like we had 79 players. Okay. Will be making the cut at the top of that leaderboard is Will Zalatoris sitting on a major championship lead halfway through, as you mentioned. Uh, uneasy or heavy holds the head of the crown, who <laughs> is at the lead of the 36 holes at a Tulsa, Oklahoma Southern Hills PGA Championship or major championship. They've all gone on to win. Tulsa has been a great host thus far. Those will be going home of the 79. Got close to 80 who are going home. 77 will be going home. But we're going to be wrapping up our second round coverage right now the 104th PGA Championship, a record setting round by Bubba Watson. Third round action coming your way again tomorrow as the most competitive major of the year heads towards its conclusion. The dream remains intact for 79 players. For all of us here at Southern Hills Country Club, thanks for watching our coverage of this PGA Championship and so long from Tulsa, Oklahoma.